it's been an absolute thorn in the side of Bournemouth. Oh, we've got some. We have got some offers. Danny Binks says he'd pay for lurid pics of me. Uh, Adam would pay to watch DJ Jan stick Lego up his ass. Jacob just wants you to look enthused. Who looks? Oh, Dan Trees. Yeah, Dan. 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 Yeah. I am enthused. Can you try to look hey, enthused? Big game here. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Big How does game that here. look? Top of the playing top of the league at home. Um, I'm a bit frightened of Forrest. They've conceded seven goals in 19 games. Bloody hell. Plus 27. Although our goal difference is plus 26. Look how many goals we've scored. <laughs> <laughs> That's absolutely I enjoyed your mental. voice a lot, then. <laughs> Look how many goals we've scored. <laughs> oh, we scored 48 goals. Oh, God. He scored so many goals. With, with, re, with regards to looking in, with regards to looking enthused, I am uh, with, <laughs> and um, I am attempting to feed a child at the same time by making his tea. So apologies uh, if I'm a bit distracted. Rich and Katie, we didn't really get anybody to punish. We couldn't sign Belushki. We couldn't sign Gary Monk. Um, so we're just having um, like beef with Warnock. It's mainly our main our main distraction. Um, Andy Gould's asking, can we have a look, a look for Kiko Casilla again? We did, we tried Espanol, that. Espanol B, no? Yeah, we tried that, it didn't come up. And Kevin O'Connor, who found him, said he'd loaded up specifically the Spanish like data pack. So that's probably right. what did it. We think he's, uh, he's just a little ah. bit too obscure. We did try. But we can always get a keeper who keeps his mouth shut, can't we? Yeah. I don't even remember how many keepers are turning up on the 1st of January. I think there's going to be like a crowd of them, all with the, the suitcases in hand. Yeah, who is it? Um, uh, Bobby Wilson has also said, we need to clear a few out. It's making his teeth itch. And what about being a goal down the forest? Fine, we'll score. Mm-hmm. We looked for. Uh, could we find Antonucci? I, I keep forgetting why we didn't sign Antonucci. I don't think we bothered with Dakara or Bianchi, though. Oh, we got a penalty. Go on, Mianja. Yes! Come on. I should concentrate on this game. And yeah, Jordan's pointed out that if we sign Kiko, we're, we're in the same league as Charlton, so we're asking for trouble. Michael, you've gone very quiet. Is it the tension? I've muted or is it, your I? microphone muted broken? Microphone. Uh, because I had a pizza. Why? Uh, I'm not sure. What yet. pizza is it? See, Joe Gamble's picked it out. And yeah, Alan, that was our second penalty as far as I'm aware. Both scored so, by Mendieta. That's quite nice. You flash Pot. bastards. Ah. Uh, King of Ponty fracked you. Yeah, exactly. Wander around town in this <laughs> Churit, so in Ponty frack. I've had it shipped in from Castleford. <laughs> right. Yeah, Johnny, we... that, Johnny Dent, I think, is right that we've scored in every game. Uh, I think we have a nil-nil. I think we had a... I think we had a let me just check it. Oh, was it a cup match, though? We drew in the cup. And yeah, Berardi's turning up on the 1st of January. 18-year-old Berardi. Imagine. Just saying the words I need to... Put some different trousers on. Oh, yeah, but yeah, it was nil nil against Exeter in the cup. But we did put our scratch side, didn't we, that day? Yeah, and then we beat them five nil with the same team. Moscow, have you eaten yet? No, not yet. And you probably should. Yeah, I keep thinking about it. <laughs> Just because uh, it's getting quite late in the day to not have had any food. I have ideas of uh, of ordering a Calvin special from old uh, Harpo's, but I think it's going to be a bit complicated. <laughs> Is it a flying pizza? Yes. And also, what does Ken think of the pizza? It'll, it'll let you know once he's tried some. Well, it's nearly Christmas, by the way. Oh, Merry Christmas, everyone. No, nearly, nearly. But we should probably have uh, some kind of address. Joe, I will eat something, I promise. 
we've seen you before when you don't eat when we've been like on trips to the awards and stuff as has uh, joe joe gamble who is the one yeah. who's begging me to eat something it will be fine right. joe Just, well, it doesn't end well but i'm always served like a, a three-course meal with free wine at the same time so it's a very i do eat and that's probably where it goes wrong but no, I've got some kind of, uh, I've got a manky Sainsbury's pizza that does not have chorizo on it. So I'll sort that out in a bit. The dog is back, by the way. He's, he's getting interested a lot. Hey, there he is. Good old Teddy. It is Teddy, isn't it? It is, yes. Yes. Still 1-1 one, one in the, uh, the, big, the big game of the season that we're ignoring. Fine, we'll win it. And I think if we'll, don't take win it, we'll draw it. Yeah, we'll take a take a draw against these. Good result, that. Yeah, I sympathise. Yeah, yeah. I'll say I'm pleased. Yeah, it's a, it's a good result. They're obviously the best team in the league, aren't they? They're storming it so far. Oh, we're in the playoffs now. That must have been our game in hand. Wow. Well, we're going up. So, Thirty-one points, so we're nine points off the. Uh, off the we've already, we've already knocked off 15, haven't we? So People are asking for a proper look at Teddy, Moylan. It's just a bit awkward because I don't have a lot of space here. Uh, lift him. Size of him. <laughs> lift him. <laughs> are you talking to Teddy or, the, Teddy or Danny? I, can find him. <laughs> I know he's about 15 stone, but get him lifted. Teddy Gray, as Wald's White calls him. Let's have a look. Uh, Got a picture of him in the woods. Oh, no. There, there he is. He's a good lad and a big lad. He might fit into that t-shirt. <laughs> this pizza. It's not a, nothing like as good as food you'd get maybe at Howard's restaurant. We go down there. Mm. Open, I think, Thursday to Saturday. Mm, go in the car park from the south end. Yeah. It's just them. All clad in marble. You'll probably find me in Shoe Centre in there. Enjoying a beef Wellington. Mm, very nice in his shoe. If, you, if I see you having your tap water, I'll come over and um, I'll come over and explain how you, you, you're an enemy of the club. Mm, you should be buying some proper drinks. Buying some expensive. Maybe a bit of champagne. Mm, something, mm, or maybe a... Maybe a shed on earth to pep. Something like that. Maybe much nicer. <laughs> so, what, what, what we're going to say is, I'm going to turn the tie off now. I'm just going to lick in my lips a bit because of the pizza. Um, you can look at it if you want, Moscow. Look at me licking my lips. It's lovely, isn't it? You like that, don't you? Hmm? Fortunately, it's very small <laughs> on my screen, so. This is the only fans channel that's starting there, is it? <laughs> is there a niche in, in Ken Bates talking dirty to people? I think so. That's one way of finding out. Tune in between midnight and four. <laughs> You're not doing it for four hours. Christ, we've got another game already. Mm, Northampton, right. You still sound a little bit like Ken. Because... If you, you need to... Uh... Sorry, it's because I've got a mouthful of food. Um, right. Oh, that's the, 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 the boys past the beeping. Back in a minute. Okay. Right. Is he cooking pasta in the microwave? No, no, it's the oven timer. Oh, okay. I just say it, timing. So I didn't forget. It's Bradford. Back in it's Bradford, isn't it? Cool. Yeah. Right, I'm going to put Sick Pot in the team and give Mendieta a rest because I think he's looking a bit tired. He's moaning about the effort it takes to cook it. It was his son who went and shoplifted it. <laughs> right. The kill. Northampton. I expect you to win this game. No more, no more of this pissing around with draws. Come on, Snoddy. Lucas suggests you could send birthday messages as Ken. There's a little money spinner. Mm -hmm. I'm happy to do that. F fire the requests over. More Ken. I think the problem is Moscow looks like he wants to die when I do Ken. <laughs> I think he might be Just... physically sick. Yeah, don't worry about me. I'm having a big mouthful of food. It is the best, the ideal food to eat to do Ken if you're if anyone's trying it is like a load of uh, maum or something that really generates a lot mm. of saliva, and you don't swallow them. You just got to hold them in your, you chew them up and then you just hold them in your mouth. 
in your training. I remember the, oh. the glory. The podcast used to be absolutely uh, used Malm as fuel, didn't it? Just it, stacks of it, and it was possibly the worst thing we could possibly try. Yeah, get very claggy mouth. Dave Whitehead uh, keeps saying we should look at McPhail. Oh, okay, yeah. And he's damn right. Oh, Matt Heath just uh, missed a corner then. Drop him. He's rubbish. Jason Crow into Akin Fenworth. Jesus. <sighs> That's rough. I'm sure we've been. We can't lose to Northampton. Beckford's got, Are we on top? Beckford's got a hat trick there. It's fairly even, actually. Eight and. 11, 50, 50 possession. Right, we'll, we'll get into them at half-time. That's your favourite thing, though, isn't it? Nothing less than a win. Beckford. Good. Yeah. Angry. But not a angry. He Who was offside for that goal? Angry. It was Promes. Disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> right, come on. You see, they're the dining out on these... Uh, uh, Forest performance. Matt Heath hasn't done anything since. Oh, they should have scored again then. Matt Heath hasn't done anything since we were playing Bournemouth, has he? Nope. He's like kryptonite to Bournemouth, though. Just keep him for those games. Ah, oh, they should have scored then. What is going on? Why are Northampton hammering us? Right, he's my golden boy, but Bonanotte is coming off. Ambrose on. Some of the fitness levels as well. Beckford's not looking great. Right, Beckford. So, we've got we've got Lewandowski on the bench. He can come on. Yeah, we should probably remember that. It's these bloody cup games that we didn't want. Yeah, tiring us out. Question about whether Gary McSheffrey is knocking about <laughs> for us as well. I think we're missing Mendieta in midfield as well. But why, why isn't he playing? Just not very fit. They've got some combat master playing for them. It's Jamie McMaster. Not Jamie. It's Jamie McMaster. Is it? There he is. How dare he betray us? Still only 25 years old. How dare he betray us? What happened to our bid for David Summer? Someone said Crow looks like an addition at right back. Could have been. Yeah. Didn't he have hair when he played for us? He did. What happened? Did he have replacement? <laughs> I think he's still got it there. I think he's just he's just cut it back, hasn't he, I think. Right, and back. What's... Uh... Oh, we're losing. Yeah, it's in good. Boo! Daniels Jamie. out! Daniels out! You are Daniels, yes. you madhead. There we go. It'll be a bum One Mike then. Daniels. There's only one Mike Daniels. In bizarre fashion, Promes has scored. Had to go at my half time, didn't I? Said he was disappointed. Oh, yeah. Pot's injured now. Right, Mendieta can come on for the last little uh, two minutes or so. What happened to our bid for Sommer? We he went for him, didn't we? Didn't <sighs> want to be involved. Ah, oh, another draw. It's the it's the glitch, isn't it? This mm -hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna be disappointed with them because I don't think it's good enough. Is this about the time we had a glitch in real life? Christmas. We were, when we top at did we get to top at Christmas in this league in this season? Oh, I can't remember. Apparently, that was Tony Pulis's son in midfield. Yeah, he, he was, he's got lived such a charmed life as that boy. If you look at his Wikipedia, he's basically just gone around clubs where. Tony Pulis has had some involvement and got a contract. Apparently our, our goal shouldn't have been disallowed. Unbelievable. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna... to... I just hope they realise the decision cost us, yeah. What? We're not taking it on the chin. Touchline We're going to make... Touchline bam. Dickhead. <sighs> the Leeds board are furious. <laughs> to be fair, we did um, get a bit like, chippy earlier in the season, didn't we? NS Leeds says we were top on Boxing Day at Hartlepool. Ah. And apparently the club Facebook account is trying to trump us by streaming the Viduka 4-3 game. Surely that's about the 10th time that game's been shown since this lockdown started. The we thing can't is, just keep watching the, that. With those with those streaming games, great idea, but we know how they turn out. We don't know how this turns out. Exactly. This is all about the mystery. And unless you stick with us until 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, you're not going to be able to find out. And Dandy Moore says that Matt Heath used to go to a CrossFit in Poplington. So now we know. And he thinks he's a teacher these days in New York. 
Oh yes, because we were saying before that he's he might be at an agricultural college. Yeah, Ask and mm. Brian, wasn't it? There's Ask yeah. There's Ask and Richard as well, isn't there? And uh, just Ask in the uh, Brian. in the news, the way through there on the 25th of December, it said that uh, Danny Weber is unhappy at whatever club he's at. He's taken he time delighted. out time out on Christmas Day as Danny Weber to say he's unhappy with his uh, his lot. Do we want to do um? Take a moment here to wish David Proton a happy birthday. Yeah, I think so. He's not very happy, so no. we should cheer him up. Let's, let's offer him some clubs for <laughs> for twenty thousand pounds. That might cheer him up. Is he not any good? Nah, not really. We've got Gaik Mendieta for God's sake. Yeah, but Mendieta's tired, isn't he? And he's, only on, and he's only on loan as well. Well, that's true. But Bradley Johnson's not even played a game yet, has he? Why don't we sell him? Yeah, could, I suppose, couldn't we? Or a mill. <laughs> Although we have got three million in the bank, so... Let's see if anyone wants him for 250 grand. Uh, okay. Let's look at the rest of the squad. If, if, if we are giving... just, tune... just tell people, if we are just tuning in, um, we went to the board to ask for more money when we had a non left, and Ken Bates incredibly gave us three million pounds. <laughs> yep. Oh, we're not, it's, we can't make any tactical changes because of... The bloody oh, football it's fine, man. The football league's corrupt. The football so we can't even change the team nope. before the match. Nope, we can't do anything. You've just got to sit and watch. I've this. never heard of a touchline ban like just this. Sit and watch this. Well, I'm not gonna. <laughs> Are you going to turn right. your back on it? No, yeah, look, actually, given we can't do anything, I'm going to go to the toilet. <laughs> yes, this is a touchline ban. Fuck it. <laughs> I'll look after it then, seeing as no one else is. Oh, it's God. Good. Two nil. Hey, thanks to Rev A Moll, who, um, who just tweeted us saying, this is incredibly addictive, dropping in and out every 30 minutes to find they've played no games, but I've been searching for players called Minge. We've stopped that now, as Phil Hay was uh, making us look for rude names, and he's gone now. We're, we're all being very grown up. Although, if you have just tuned in for this one, we are serving a touchline ban at the minute for this game, so we can't actually do anything. Seems to be going fine at the minute, though. 3-0. If you do want to donate, by the way, go to the squareball.net forward slash food bank and um, drop a couple of quid in for the uh, the LUFC Trust Leeds Fans Food Bank. We're raising money for them today. Sponsor a player. Let us know um, which player it is that you're sponsoring or what you want them to do. Uh, like not play or score goals or appearances, anything like that. All donations are much appreciated. 3-1 Moscow as we come round to half-time. We were 3-0 up. Okay, Chris Moore saying that Lewandowski and Kenton in the same team is a work of art. Hang on, we're 3-1 up. <laughs> it's going all right, isn't it? <laughs> we were 3-0 up, though, so you'll be you'll be all doom and gloom, Michael. You know what you're like. It's either the touchline ban or it's that I'm now wearing shorts. <laughs> I know you think it's something of a sex symbol now, but this is too far. Right. Oh, we can't do anything, can we? Fucking hell. Right, I'm going to get a drink. Uh, crowd chanting, can you ban him every week? <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, three, two. You see? Maybe me and him should go away. We were fine until you came back. Yeah. All right, here we are. Anchor grin there again, though. Oh, straight from kickoff, four two, Bosch. Oh, 
Five two. Yes, Slow's better when we're not in charge. You did. We do miles better when you're not there. in charge. I said. Unbelievable. I, well, I'm I'm in charge. I'm sat here <laughs> watching it. It's that little turncoat wanker doing back. Got a... Watching us win five two. New shirt, by the way. What is it? Is it oh, half yeah. and half? Is it? Yeah. I want to point out as well, these are the authentic shorts. I am full 93, 94 kit. Could you do you some... Socks, um, socks on. Get the socks on. Could you do some warm-ups? <laughs> <laughs> this is disturbing. Please get oh, down. Oh, Jesus. Please get down. Warm-ups. 6-2, by the way. 6-2, unbelievable. Best game of the season. We're not even there to enjoy it. Well, we are there. We're just up in the east stand, aren't we? Sat near Bates. What do you think Bates is saying? Uh, Alex Petley said uh, the 15 quid that he owes you, Michael, from 2008, he'll donate it to the food bank. I don't want it to Does that mean anything to you? It's fucking my money, that. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you very much. I'm sure he's paid me that money about 15 times over. It's just it's, it's <laughs> Six, an ongoing, three. It's an ongoing joke we have. Uh, how come every time... I sit down, South End score. I don't have any shin pads, sorry. Nine, nine goal thriller, this one. <laughs> and it's a Wednesday. We can still oh, lose Ten this. goals. Hmm. Ten goals. No, no, it's, it's all right. Will Hoskins oh. offside. Oh, it's Tom... Boxing Day, this. Or a Boxing Day thriller, if it had been 6-4, then it was sake, almost it's just... ten goals. Now they have scored. Oh, my God. We're going to lose this. Tom says a donation for every piece of clothing I remove. There you go. There's a sock we'll double off, it. We'll double it if you leave it on. We'll double There's it if you leave off. it on. Well, 6-4. On Boxing Day. It's like a reverse of the Preston uh, game. Will Hoskins with a hat-trick. Oh, and Gary Hooper. Gary Hooper. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the sick Scaring away the investors. Will Hoskins. Oh, look at that hair. Jesus. Oh, man. Was it Rotherham? It's, yeah, it was at Rotherham. Yeah. I have memories of him being decent. Yeah, uh, got a big move in. Tom's putting in a tenner for that sock. What about the other one? That's not the sock that normally lives under your bed, is it, Moscow? Oh, come on. Keep it clean. Phil's what? not here. There's no reason to lower the tone, is there? My wife just demanded that I shut the kitchen door, by the way. No, I can't get rid of any of our shit players. And just if uh, if Tom is donating, if it's a tenner for a sock, shorts are off. <laughs> Go on, how much is that worth to a food bank? Come on. Well, you can hear as well. Look at that for uh, it's a classic bit of design. Did you buy the shirt and shorts together, or did you have to buy them separately? No, I don't even. I can't even remember where I picked the shirt. I think I might have got the shorts in a charity shop. Have you ever heard David Pleat saying "short shirt shorts"? <laughs> yes, I have. It's quite good. And none of those, none of those words are what he was trying to say, were they? In the shorts, the short, short, <laughs> short, short shirt shorts. It's good. Luton are trying to buy Gary Monk. Look at his horrible face. Mm. It's, oh, it's terrible, isn't uh, it? Yeah, Bielsa is uh, Chile manager. Uh, Paul says uh, on the um, the match report, did it just say a sturdy defence was the basis of that victory? <laughs> uh, that's a good point. We're we playing fucking Millwall next, aren't we? Can we go back? Uh, Martin suggested that we uh, we need a touchline ban for every game. Controversy in the Leeds game. Uh, don't know where it was. Moscow's going to be working at silks before the end of this. <laughs> <laughs> right, away at Millwall. This is a, a problematic game for us, always. Um, is Neil Harris playing? He will be, won't he? A little rap. Inevitable. Look at our squad. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's ludicrous. 
<laughs> None more so ludicrous than Sir Michael Whitlow. I tell you what, since he's been out of the team, we've been conceding a bucket load of games. Alan says we haven't had a clean sheet in the league since game 11. And I say, Alan, are you actually keeping stats on this? God bless him. Thank Where you. Where are we in the league? Fourth? Oh, we're fourth now. Just have a look at the table. Yeah, yeah Harry's asked for, after a table check. Here we are. So, so I like, 35 uh, points. I like Dean Brooks' plans to sign Gary Monk and release him immediately with no plan B. <laughs> He's looking pretty good, though. So 35 points. So what, nine Nine points off Swansea, half the season done. So we've made up a lot of points there. We what? We've closed that gap substantially. We'll do it easy. We should actually be six points clear of third. But we're being robbed, don't we? Yeah. yeah. It looks like Forest running away with it. They look too good, don't they? But we yeah. are better. Paul points out that Gary Monk's picture makes him look like he's still recovering from the training in 2001 too. <laughs> <laughs> if you're a subscriber to the extra ball, that'll make sense. Yeah. Uh, right, I think. Yeah, and, and as Jason points out, the incoming at T minus three days. Mm. That'll be a game changer. And plus a whole gaggle of goalkeepers. <laughs> Simon Mignolet and someone else <laughs> whose name we forget. Right. Are we even going to play him? I suppose we are conceding a lot, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, we have scored uh, 56 goals. Do we want to maybe look at getting a centre-half uh, in the January window? Well, I mean, as Ben Levine points out, we've played half a season in 10 hours. So, messing about with the transfer window. We don't want to be dicking about with the transfers, do we? No, we'll be, we'll be quicker now. It, was always, yeah. it always takes longer at the first bit. We had a lot of players who wanted to get in. I'm hoping a lot I'm, of players are out I'm, of contract in summer because Christ, I'm, we've got a lot. And we've got them all. <laughs> oh, who's playing for Millwall? Let's check that. Yeah. Oh, Lewis Graben. Oh, Zach Whitney Friday. as well. Do you remember him? Yeah, he's troublesome. He's the little yeah. prick who went down in the playoff. We were right on top of him in the playoffs and he went down with like a pretend head injury and I've not forgotten it's Zach Whitbread. <laughs> he completely, probably... completely killed their momentum. Bobby says, will you put the bloody transfer listed players in the reserves? That squad's making my team itch. Well, David, if you're going to keep complaining, I will pull more players out of the reserves into the first team. David's going to donate a tenner if we win at Millwall. That's good. Oh, we've got Jay Simpson up front. They've got quite a good team, actually, on loan from Arsenal. Should we play this game? Just, oh, Marcus Bignot. Do you remember uh, Fantasy Football? They once said a big hello to Marcus Bignot. They did. Go. Oh. Oh, what are you doing here, Moylan? I was just checking that the streams are both up because somebody's lost it, but I'm just making sure that we are up. That's all. Okay. Is it in? Are we? Looks like it. Good. I'm going to up my offer if you say Lebo Hang Mokawena from £20 to £50 to the food bank. Oh, I forgot that it was actually for charity. <laughs> Where we were trying to sign him and then lost interest. Uh, Kiznobos... I'm trying to shrink my, my shrink my screen down, Michael. I've gone I'm over I'm overlapping the game window. Constantly doing this. I told you I'll ring you back if you no, want. I don't want to mess anything up. I'm comfortable with just you just mildly messing things up because I'm I'm used to it. <laughs> Half time. Right. Surely it can only get better. Look at that, we had 11 shots, only what, what a dreadful game. 11 shots, one on target, they've had five and none on target. Oh, I'm just going to give a few, let's give a few bollockings out and that should do the job. You love a bollocking you, don't you? This is your favourite part of the game. Right, we're off again. Oh, they nearly scored. Come on. Has anybody taken click on loan from us yet? No. Oh, we scored. Yes. Have that Millwall you scored. Bickford. David Camish is the one who's uh, donating. What a finish from there. Jason points out that in the next transfer window, we have incoming every player that's ever been transfer listed. A fact. I think he is right. 
but they're putting loads of crosses and it's making me very nervous. Ah, oh, you see, you jinxed it. I could just see it coming. Uh, it's almost as if someone should have done something about it. Right, <laughs> one or can come off for uh, Ambrose. He's not playing well. Myland, do you know you're muted? Yes, I just didn't want to overlap on the on the game if I start playing back the streams just to make sure. Oh, okay, working. that's cool. Mendieta was looking a bit a bit tired, so Alan Thompson's come on. I brought on the sprightly Alan Thompson. Yes, we are running on both YouTube and Periscope, so that's good. Oh, Ambrose should have scored then. Come on. Oof. Would we take a point from this? Uh, we no, to... because there's a tenner for charity. Oh, I didn't. I missed that. <sighs> David Camish. How have we not won that? 19 shots. I mean, they had 11. That's Millwall taking the food out of the mouths of people who need it. <laughs> Typical. Absolute scum. Family club of the year. Yeah, now look at them. How many families have got to go hungry because of them? Oh, I'm going to sympathise with the team. They, they didn't deserve that. Whatever happened to Jay Simpson? He was kind of he was highly rated for a time, wasn't he? A young Arsenal player. I'm sure he went out on loan a few places. I've just had a bit of info as we uh, as we head into 2008. Apparently, this is the year that WhoScored.com was founded. So we could get a thank you, Michael, for letting me know this. We could have a um, an extra tactical edge. Matt Heath's going to be suspended for a game. Picked up too many bookings because he's too good. Oh, Brentford not only want Anthony Elding, they want Gary Monk. The absolute idiots. What, what kind of team are they building? A toxic bag of shit. Prottenmont's first team football. I, mean, I can't, David. <laughs> if he can be patient, Mendieta's not going to last forever, is he? It's just being his birthday. It's only five days after his birthday as well. Oh, I mean, look at his face. He's got a lovely face. Yeah, and he's so happy, look. I hope, I hope we haven't uh, put a frown on that big smile. Jay Simpson currently playing in Greece. I presume that's about Jay Simpson. How's Sheen doing? Sheen's doing all right. He's our first choice left back. Look at not been sent off yet, has nope. he? Right. The league one goals, by the way. We've scored fifty-seven goals so far. Oh, interesting contract stuff going Probably on. Issues a public apology. That's R- good. Hubco wants first team football. He can keep it. Del Vecchio wants a new contract. Yeah, yeah, I think we'll let Del Vecchio go. Uh, yeah, that's quietly he'd let that one. Patrick Berger. Oh, Don Matteo's contract's expiring. He's not that good, though, is he? No, no, you passed over Patrick Berger very quickly to get to him. <laughs> yeah. He remains old fiercely Hamburg, loyal to Aston Villa, though. Old. 13 grand a week, yeah, too. I'm not interested. Why did you kill to oh, be 34? Monk? Monk, nah. Thompson, he can go. Even just to punish him? What about this one? Oh, well, that needs renewing. Let's get a report nope. on him. Yes. No. Well, you were getting a report. And yes, Richard, you did see Lewandowski. Best uh, as a central defender. There's no real future at the club. Rubbish. He's just worried about Eddie his own Gray, job. Eddie Gray believes Sir Michael Whitlow to be a very slow player. <laughs> he's just worried he's, about his he's, job. And he's slow off the mark and it impedes his overall speed. Of which he's he a coach. Been. He's a coach. What do you expect from a 39-year-old? Well... Not to be Let's playing. See. Just re- renew. As a yeah. player coach? Player coach, no. though. Yeah, renew his contract as oh. player coach. One no. more year. Yes. One more year. Remember, we're dealing with higher forces than just his ability. We know this. Adriano needs a new oh, contract. He's 34. Nah. As E.T. points out, he is like a racing car going into turbo, is, is Whitlow. He's like a racing car going into turbo. Uh, Richard Keogh's contract's expiring. Oh, yeah, we want 30 him. Grand, little 30, 30 grand offer to get him early? Yeah, do it. Darren Mowbray. Who's Darren Mowbray? A coach. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll lead him. He can run down. I'm not bothered. 
Oh, yeah. MLB raises a good point. Can we ask Sir Michael Whitlow for a a report on Sir Michael Whitlow? (laughs) Yes, do. Yes. Um, Oh, sure you can, actually. Can we request a... How did you get the report from Gray? I just went on to his... um... Maybe it's too soon after we got the... uh... The last report. Uh, I'll see what Harvey Sharman's saying about him. Okay. A medical miracle, <laughs> is I imagine. What I imagine he'll say. And then you just clicked off the report. You ignored it. He replied and you ignored it. Oh. So is, injury uh, prone, 39 year old with no value, can't run. He's, he's slow a as well. Run. He's inspirational. Should we ask him again? <laughs> no. Do you really think that? This time we've asked him with, with Whitlow stood right next to us. Right. No, look, Eddie Gray's got a, a big, important list of dates. Look. No. Yeah. So, Robert Bailey's loan is going to finish. Elding's going to Brentford. Douglas is going to Barnsley. Judron's coming. Parati's coming. Mignolet. Um, I'm sure we had another. Oh, is that the other keeper? Yeah, Judron. And then, I, I don't know why he's bothering us with Leeds reserves at Darling and... Right, he says, uh, go to the same place as Eddie Gray's report and then top right, click. Uh, you can select the coach. Oh, okay. Um... So where was Eddie Gray's report? So it's in the news section. Come on. Christ. So Mike Willows, right, so... It was there. It's not. You can't click on it anymore. Okay. It's down here, wasn't it? We'll give it a while. He'll have his new contract, and then we'll find out. He's, he's fine to stay. As a, he's only on two hundred seventy-five quid a week. Yeah, and plus, as we know from Soccer Supremo, we don't mess with Whitlow. All right. So Minulo's joined. Let's have the report. He's he's a goalkeeper. Some way off the start. standard of Casper Ankergren. That's not what I wanted to hear. Oh, and you see the top corner where it says Eddie Gray General. That's what we were looking for with Whitlow. For future refs. Um, Judron, Jodron, how Jodron, how are we saying? Jeffrey. Big Jeff. Um, Big Jeff. Oh, he's not, he's not, he's not far from the standard of Casper Ankergren. Okay. Berardi. Yes. He's a, a decent, got the potential to be a decent player. Oh, he's not. He's also injured, and he's nowhere near the standard of our best right back. Hmm. Better than Simon. Well, Madden. That's okay. In your face, Simon Madden. We have him with uh, Andy Hughes at the club at the same time. It's a great combo. Um, apparently, it's uh, Whitlow's fortieth birthday in a fortnight. Can you have a look at what the actual date is? Uh. So Michael 13, 13th of Jan right, 13th of Jan 40 year old Mike Whitlow um, Right I feel like Feels like squad needs thinning out a bit more <laughs> <laughs> What are you talking about We've only just signed four players <laughs> Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna move some more players to the reserves. We did look at Hockaday, Luca. We couldn't get him away from Southampton's youth team, unfortunately. Although it might be a blessing. I like the way we're just hiding these players in the reserves as if they don't exist. <laughs> when Ken, no, we never. When Ken comes around, we never we'll, signed we'll them. Just, uh, we'll just say we never happened. Right, okay. oh. Who who are these people? We've still got Seb Carroll who? for God's sake. Bobby's getting Lisa. desperate. <laughs> Just Please release him. release him. That's not a carol. Christmas carol, you see. Very good. Yeah. Uh, oh, should, oh, it, it is January. I'll be honest, I wish I hadn't signed Daryl Murphy. Should we, trans- Didn't should we transfer he, list him? He scored, a, he got a goal and an assist in two games. Yeah. He's got decent no, no, decent numbers They'd as well. Bombed him out, he we? might actually be good. I suppose given Marco Del Vecchio was on his way out, maybe we swap them two on the bench. It... Jamie uh, 
Butterfield shares his birthday with Sir Michael Whitlow. Wow. What a privilege, she says. Oh, Naylor signs a new deal at Ipswich. Full. What's uh, what's Ken got to say? Um, to summarise, the board are satisfied with your management of the team. And you kept to a coquito. Your defence believed to be an extremely good sign. It's been particularly pleasing. However, the board are very disappointed with the team's performance in the Johnson's Paint Trophy. And last month, the club made a profit of £464,000, which, of course, all goes towards um, your pot, your £3 million pot, which I've given you very generously. I don't know why I've had a personality transplant in this. I should really be insisting you sell Beckford and Coquito because he's proved himself to be very worthwhile. This is, uh, this is unrelated to the game, but Andrew Brayton's just re- replied to a tweet that we put out on January the 28th saying, are you taking the blame for this then, lads? The tweet that we wrote on January the 28th <laughs> says that in the event that we somehow get promoted at the end of this, Elland Road will be empty for the Charlton game. We will all be dead. Someone's just pointed out, I need to get the hat off. It's not December anymore. I feel like that kind of puts Phil Hay and his uh, nailed on for the playoffs into <laughs> quite a lot of context. Right, let's just check everyone's fit. Sheehan's a bit tired. Let's give let's give Scott Goldborn a run. Uh, you know what, should we give Daryl Murphy a go at left midfield? Uh, yeah, I mean, we've, yeah, he's looking decent. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Promise has played a lot of games. I feel like this time this time Could of we year. Play... Is this the JP team? No, this is the league. Oh, okay. This is the uh, the first day fixture reversed, isn't it? This one. It is indeed. Oh yeah. Ooh. Long way to go on New Year's Day, isn't it? This one with no public transport. There's snow on the pitch as well. Oh, Yeovil could clear that up, couldn't they? Disgrace. Ken will have strong words about that on Yorkshire Radio Uncovered, in the week. Uncovered away end as well for the snow. Oh, for Christ's sake. Oh, it's going to be a cold day. A cold day to lose. The Welsh with the goal. The whole country. Oh, look at what, what's Anchor Grin doing Feels a little there? bit unfair. <laughs> well, we've, we've signed... Know. Three keepers to replace him. Why is he playing? That's a good point. <laughs> he won't be next game. Ah, oh, straight back. Beckford. Well, why is he playing it's in this one? Just, they, 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 they only arrived at the club today. You're not Bielsa. On the 1st of January. This is quarter to eight on the 1st of January. Give him a chance. <laughs> We're at the club less than 12 hours. What more do they need? Give the kids. Come on. We've got a degree. In. And think of this New, Year, New Year's Day and it's an evening match. We're going to be so light back. Mm. And I bet it's about 30 degrees as well, isn't it? Beckford. <laughs> if, if, if you missed this earlier on in the season, we noticed all the temperatures in August were mid to high 20s in Leeds. Even the night matches, which felt a little bit unrealistic. Well. Yeah, it was that game in September that was about 25 degrees at 9 o'clock. <laughs> Ailing is in Arsenal's youth team, team, Matt. He's 14, though, so we couldn't sign him. We could. Yeah, we're not doing child trafficking, just child trafficking. We could actually have made an approach to signing, but I think Arsenal would have been due about 300 grand in compensation. Oh, yeah, yeah. And we're not paying 300 grand for a a 14 year old. I really do want us to play this for the next month. Leave that to the royal family. (laughs) Is that that one, Pass? Yeah, move on. Is that the libel bell? Yes. Yeah. Levi's solicitors.co.uk forward slash the square ball. It's minus five. Alan's pointed out the temperature is minus five. We've plunged from uh, 30 degrees in September. (sighs) Minus five. I feel like we've lost a bit of momentum. Oh, penalty. Yes. No, it's yeah. someone else. Coquito. Oh, he's fucking oh. missed. Put it straight up the middle. <laughs> I don't want to see a replay of it, no. <laughs> I know what happened. Why couldn't we have signed? We've got this. We've, 
We've got this. Why couldn't we have signed a 21-year-old Mangetta? Because we're on minus 15 points in League One. That's one reason, yes, but why else? And time tra- travel isn't possible, as far as we know. Even though we've got a huge squad, I don't really like any of our options off the bench. <laughs> Is Whitlow on the bench? Uh, no. We need Matt Heath to come up with a goal from a corner here. Is that what we're reduced to? We've got Mangetta, we've got Lewandowski, and yet we're pinning all our hopes on Matt Heath from a corner. Right, what can we change? Snodgrass isn't playing well. Uh, Why don't we bring in Lewandowski on when we need a corner? Too late, it's still Del Vecchio. Right, Lewandowski's coming on the right wing. It's a very Blackwell move, but I'm going to do it anyway. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. No, no more drop points. Look at that. We've battered him as well. 16 shots. 12 on target. They're 9 and 3. Now that the uh, uh, transfer window's open, people keep asking us about Alexis Sanchez. I dismiss him out of sight because he plays for Scum, but. Well, he didn't then, though, did he? No. So we could have a look. I'll have a look at it. It should be at Udinese. Oh, but on loan with River Plate. 19-year-old Udinese striker. <laughs> quite, a lot of, quite a lot of blue. Three million. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably not practical, is it? Oh, should have had... Are we going to get another, risk, risk another touchline ban? I was going to say, just no comment them. Yeah, to, we'll keep it quiet They're trying to go while. into another ban, aren't they? Although we did we did thump... Um, who was it in the last touchline ban? We scored five. South end, wasn't it? Mm, oh, let's see who else is available on loan. Cameron Jerome, get him. Shout. Benoit Asuokoto, he'd be a better left back. Oh, he's out for five months. Okay. <laughs> no, he wouldn't then. <laughs> oh, who who do we sign? What's the guy's name that we're signing to? Um, oh, Keith Tracy. Do, if uh, did you ever remember the picture? Was it Keith Tracy? Yeah, yeah. Picture of his anus. He did, yeah. He put a picture of his anus on uh, Twitter once. <laughs> if you want to find that on, uh, just Google Keith Tracy anus, and you'll probably find it. Adam, Alan. Adam Lallana. Have a look yeah, for we'll, it. Uh, Let's have a look for it. Alan, we'll try and get the results and put them on on Twitter at the end of each season. I think we'll screenshot what we've done. At the end of each season. So I'm assuming we're going to play more than one season by ten o'clock tomorrow. Yeah, probably. Well, Andy Hay is still uh, still wants us to go and get McQuayna. McQuayna, that's who I was trying to sign. It was him, wasn't it? So far, all Lee Lockheed, Tracy, yeah. just... Oh, I mean, anus. I don't need to see that now. <laughs> I'm just going to eat this um, delicious pizza. In fact, does the... If you've not seen the Keith, the Keith Tracy picture, it's a bit like... It's a bit like it, think the, look at the chorizo on there. It's kind of a similar. <laughs> it's kind of like that. It's what you're going to be seeing. It it, it was it was of a man splaying his cheeks, wasn't mm. it, with his legs in the air? Yeah. Right, FA Cup. Peter Taylor's coming to town. Do we just try and get out with this? No, I think I think um, I think Keith Tracy. What he's done is he's employed one of those internet cleanup companies. You know that force results mm. down the uh, down the search results. Moscow. What are we saying? Oh, good lad. That's a relief. It means we can still have a birthday party in a while. Lee Booth has put his future in doubt after he stubbed our latest contract offer. This guy, look at him. Turning down our contracts. I mean... He's hurt his foot as well. Get rid of why is, why is his foot so... Uh, his mouth so near his nose? Free, piss off. <laughs> oh, we've got a bid for Candle. Accept. doesn't even matter how much it was, does it? No, no. And yeah, uh, Christopher's making a good point. Let's change the keeper. Now, I can't find a picture of uh, Keith Tracy when he, he bared his ass. but if you just imagine, in your mind, what Phil Neville's face looks like, it's that. Well, speaking of unbearable faces, um, oh, <laughs> this is Richard, Richard Keogh. Keogh, they've come back, they want 45 grand for him. 
Should we? Should we? Should we get? Uh, yeah, let's do it. We need a whipping boy. Let's have Kenny Gray about him. I mean, he didn't rate Mike Whitlow, did he? Well, that's true. Well, QPR are going to want Dave Harrison as a scout, and we'll get fifty grand for him. I'm quite happy with that. Kidderminster can have Scott Gardner. Ironically enough, I'm just searching for Keith Tracy Arse and there is a picture of Richard Keogh just appeared. <laughs> <laughs> right, muck away now. He wants 14 grand. Signing on fee? For a week? Oh, we can't we do it. We got him 11. It was, 50 quid for, it was 50 quid for the food bank. We can only offer him 11. We'll try it. Can we sell him immediately? Oh, oh, there's bids going in for Spironi, but I mean, we've got loads of keepers. Oh, Eddie Gray think Eddie Gray thinks it would be a good signing. Eddie's on drugs. Right. Hey, Joe Underwood has founded Dan Chapman in Football Manager 2020. I assume he's wonderful. You, Moscow. Handsome. Uh, he's not. He looks weird. Oh, uh, yeah, man after my manager. Own. Hey. I'm going to have to put some uh, trousers on because I've ordered a pizza so I'm going to take care of that now are we going to get to see you walking off to the room in... are we going to get to see you wandering off to the room with boxer shorts on well I've put oh, the shorts okay. back on that's a shame well, I, can, I can give you a flash on the way past someone's saying Barcroft is better than Mokawena I mean Oh yeah, we were going to sign him earlier. Let's uh, 150 grand. Yeah, go on. Let's stick an offer in for him. Hmm. Big favourites in the cup. Never ideal. Uh. Right, we're going full reserves in this. Lads, I think I'm on this game. If I am, Simon, I'll donate a percentage of my wages to the food bank. <laughs> ben, ben Who's that? He is Stockport goalkeeper. <laughs> okay, you're worth nothing. You're worth nothing, He's Ben. Nothing. Uh, just go back to Ben. He's eccentric, I think it is. Oh, yeah. There he is, eccentricity, 16. His biggest quality is being eccentric. Presumably turns up in check trousers or something. Oh, Ruby Marquez wants out. That's good. See you later, Ruby. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for everything. Okay, right. Jordan, Jordren can play. Berardi can make his debut. Adriano. Whilst Moscow's not listening, can we get rid of He's just signed a new deal. Oh. Got him tied down for his best years. <laughs> what? <laughs> Middle age? Yep. Right, this is a... <laughs> this is a full reserve team we're playing here because I just want to be out of the bloody cup. In fact, I'm going to even, I'm going to even call people out from the reserves. Rutten and Kilkenny are in. Imagine if we'd really had Mendieta in the uh, in the minus fifteen season, <laughs> or at all under Bates. Only paying ten percent of his wages. That's a good deal. Davecchio, House and Saucer. What a team! This might be what we need, though, mate. It's just a rest for the players. Oh, 
Well, Brady's debut. Let's see. Good luck, lads. Berardi. Berardi can get a special team talk. Debut, innit? Faith it? in his ability. Go and chop someone in half. Oh. Well, not a bad start, is it? A minute in. Well, Sean says, check who's out of contract in six months. Get a few signings in for like next... Uh... Yeah, oh, your head's massive again, Dan. Why does your head keep getting bigger? Shrink you back down. Barad well, that's uh, ten hours. Ten hours elapsed on this now, by the way. <laughs> Barad's debut. Jesus. Yeah. Mm. Not been sent off yet. Oh, okay. Well, Somebody on the chat said red card for Barardi. Apparently, Moylan. Oh, penalty. Oh, he scored it this time. Oh. Mendieta. No, it's it's the FA Cup, so we've got a full reserve team out. Oh, okay. Oh, Adriano scored it, though. That's good. Big, chunky centre-back. Smashing one in. Two goals for him in the opening 11 minutes. Should have had Berardi on it, shouldn't we? That's a shame. Is, uh, is Moylan getting big again? Apparently his head's increased tenfold. No. I've shrunk it back down again. Okay. Couldn't see that for Dan's massive head. Sorry. <laughs> Where have you got your pizza from, Moscow? Someone's asking. Um... It's on its way from Harpo's. I've ordered a Calvin special. Mm. Apparently, his, Calvin special? I think his mum works there. Oh, Jesus, everything. I've ordered uh, jalapenos on it as well. Um, yeah, it's an absolutely ridiculous amount of just lots of things. I've been vegetarian for a while, but um, yeah, not when this is concerned. When you say for a while, for how long? Two years. I've seen you eat sausage rolls. Yeah, exactly. It's like just when I do stupid shit, but generally, like it has stopped eating meat. Mm. Fair enough. You need to put some lights on, Michael. Your head is shining, Declan says. <laughs> <laughs> you need to powder your head. Are you good? Get some talc on it. Not like Phil Hay now, are you? Try and... I tell you the glare. Try and get the balance right. That's all right, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Right, look at this. Great, what a great half. How's uh, Brad doing? Uh, worth saying we've got John Richardson on the way at nine thirty. He's joining us. Yeah, I better check my phone actually in case he's messaged. No. What well, uh, what position is Sir Michael Whitlow playing? Left back. Okay, it's just he's a long way uh, a long way down the squad list. He's there, look. Okay. And we found a good replacement for Ankergren in Jeffrey. Big Jeff. Oh, he's doing all right so far. I'm, I'm willing to leave him in the team. Whitlock got the number 68 shirt because that's the year he was born, of course. Well, it's his big 4 0 coming up soon. Yeah. You got anything planned for him? Uh, a little cry. I feel like we should have scored again by now. Oh, penalty. Uh, pause, pause. Oh, it's going to be too late, isn't it? I want... What are you going to do? Put Berardi on. Berardi to take the penalty. Uh, where is it? Is it? Under team instructions rather than... Penalty takers. It's takers. Penalty takers. <laughs> it's going to be too late, isn't it? Oscar says, where did my pretty beard go? What's wrong with this ah, beard? Ah, he's not good going to be Del Vecchio pogging it. What a dickhead. Disgraceful. <laughs> Get another penalty, someone. Everybody dive. Oh, Johnny Housen's playing. Yeah. Crikey, this really is a reserve, isn't it? Sounds like a good save there by Big Jeff. Well, we've done well there. Yeah, happy with that. Dark out now. Mm, I'm just I'm actually going to go and say night to my kids. <laughs> oh, so now you give a shit about Well, 
after ten hours of neglect. Check it in and that, aren't I? I'll, I'll see if they've eaten through the bread that I left for them earlier. Uh, Moscow. I like the way you you just accepted that bid for Rui Marquez without any consultation. We want rid, don't we? Let's be honest. <laughs> Oh, hang on a minute. Let's get Richard Keogh's contract. His face. I can't get over his face. Yeah, it's good signing, according to... Yeah, let's do it and then just start um, knocking him about. <laughs> just driving around in circles with him in the back seat. Villarreal one? No, not David Lucas. Oh, right, OK. <laughs> no. <laughs> right, that makes more sense. Right, I'm going to go. I'll be about two minutes, all right? OK. Yeah, don't give them any more affection. Do, do you two want? Should we just have like? A, should we say back here in like three or four minutes? Do you want to, you know, go to the toilet even if you don't need it? Just spin. Yeah. All right. I feel like I should go wash behind my ears before John Richardson gets here. <laughs> Something like that. Right. All right. I'll see here again, then, shall yeah, I? Yeah. Read your book. Sell some. Uh, I did that. Sell before. some books. Oh, sell some books. Somebody has bought one. I don't know who. I got the email through before, so well, somebody's bought the book. That is money. Right, I feel that's terrible that's now. Money you should donate to the food bank, you absolute scum. Yeah, it probably is, actually. I'll do that. Hi, everybody. It's just me again. I don't even have a dog to show you. I wish I did. Is everybody having fun? It's been... Uh, 10 hours? 10 plus, yeah, we started about 20 past 10 because Michael couldn't work the bloody thing. Um, yeah, and now it's just me and you. And you see, as soon as this happens, somebody wants the book reading to them. Josh is right. Um, I do feel bad. Favourite cheese? Um... Yeah, I'm on me on. They'll be back in two minutes, Stephen. Don't worry. Um, favorite cheese? I like feta, but halloumi's good. Um, I'm eating a lot of halloumi at the moment because it was quite um, easy to source when everybody was. Uh, I'm not dancing. Moscow is. We said before it's because I'm uh, um, signing up for. Yeah, if you can get Andy Hughes on the street on the stream. Um, when I signed up for the square ball forum about 20 years ago, uh, the pound there, uh, I don't want to be the new Mark, uh, uh, Goldbridge. No, there is not a woman in Moscow. So if you want to send, uh, send her over Adam, um, yeah, <laughs> do that. If she's dead set, get the good looking ones back. Yeah. Thanks Luke. Um, right, well, yeah, we're going to look at how much money we've made. That's a good thing to do to pass some time. We have made, ch -ch -ch -ch. well, the food bank has made. The food bank is now past 16 grand, 16,300. So we must have raised about 4,000, I think. Um, that's quite a lot. Uh, best joke I know was one that a cockney told me years ago outside a pub in Watford who came up out of nowhere and started saying um, uh, it's, it's a joke about David Beckham waking up in the morning and saying that he's oh yeah I'm looking good feeling good yeah well, all right me uh, uh, but, and then, but then Victoria said I said there's a weird smell around you David I don't know where he's oh weird and, uh, the, the punchline is Alex Ferguson calling him the C word it's too long and complicated to go into now. Um, but, yeah, that's one of the best jokes I know. Favourite Back to the Future movie? First one, plans for another book. Uh, if I had time to write one, yeah, that would be quite nice. Um, somebody says they have a little, a secret little love for Moscow. Thank you, Emu. Emu? Why do I feel like that's just aiming under a different uh, a different line? A fight between David Batty or Baradi. Oh, that would be tough because Batty just doesn't care. Um, Baradi, I think, is genuinely has temper. When you look at, you know, that clip that got shown around um, 
Batty versus Nicky Butt, where, where Nicky Butt kind of shoves him in the chest, and Batty, most people, if they grab you by the throat, it's kind of a holding position, but he drags, uh, he grabs Nicky Butt by the throat and sort of pulls him towards him. I think that says everything. When when Batty's on, he's like he takes it to another level where he's he's bringing it, you know. So I think uh, it would be difficult for Varadi to to stop Batty. So that's what I'm saying about that one. Gatavid Varati, yes, Matt. Imagine combining the two of them. Uh, was O'Leary actually pretty useless? Danny Mills says so. Um, he was slagging him off this week, but then Danny Mills just seems like he'll take any excuse to talk, as you'll see when he comes back on his camera in a minute after putting his children to bed. What else? The other two are slackers. I don't think they do have responsibilities. They just make it up. Um, ah, yeah, the fake nail. I think I lost the fake nail from the gantry, and then look at what's happened since. Um, it would be nice if Calvin took the number four. What should you call your son who's due in two weeks? Uh, Luciano. If not Michael after oh, Whitlow. Disappoint him. I thought you were gonna say after well, me then. No, why would anybody name anything after you? Unless it was for <laughs> shit. Many shits. If they look like you, which is all the time, yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, Joshua wants to know where we are in the league now, which is probably more relevant. Yeah, fair enough. God, that was painful. Thank you, everybody, for not leaving the stream while it was just me there. Oh, it drops out. Yeah, let's have a, a, a full update. Where are we now? There's 24 games. We in. dropped right out of the playoffs. We were fifth a while ago. We we're out in the ninth. And this, uh, yeah, but look how tight it is. As Neil points out, Michael, you have come back in that shirt full Danny Mills. <laughs> I, th I was meant to change the shirt, actually, but I'll do it next time. It'll be fine. Yeah. It'll be fine. When's Oddie <laughs> coming on? It's a big question from Luke. Mm. Oh, right. Oh, this is Ben Imerson. I can't remember who was here. Who's he? Um, he's watching the stream, and he says if we, right. if we sign him... He's not interested in a move to Leeds. Well, he said he's eccentric. Offering? Right, we'll, we'll give him like 600 quid a week. He said he'd donate if uh, if we signed him. But if you don't want to come, Ben, what can we do? I think you should donate anyway because we've tried. We'd offer you 600 pound a week. Imagine if you'd been offered 600 pound a week at 18, Ben. That would have been great, wouldn't it? Oh, I, can't lie. I mean, it's good enough just being on Football Manager. That's an achievement. That is very good. To be fair, we are. No, we're playing it. Mike, Mike, Mike Daniels, that's us. Oh, okay, fair enough. We're on it. Oh, Barcroft been, been rejected. He's very good, apparently, as this Barcroft character, so I'm going to... We are bidding a lot for him. Going to up the bids. I mean, he's 15. Phil Hay might be back, Stephen, uh, in the small hours. He was drinking a lot of whiskey this afternoon, so <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. And look at this. We're signing... We're signing Richard Keogh. Somebody we can bully. Look at his face. <laughs> My word. Okay. Keo signs. He can't wait for his debut. Wait. Ben Find apparently him. is accepting £600 a week from us. Oh, that's, thank you, Ben. We'll see if virtual... I mean, if you actually... I kind of hope we don't actually sign you now you've said you accept, because... I mean, we don't really need a fifth keeper, do we? Uh, you never know. He could be good. Not someone from and if he's eccentric. Stockpots under 18s. I mean, I don't have high hopes. Loads of people want Rui Marquez now. I don't know. Oh, well done, Huddersfield. You've won the JPT Northern Northern Semi. 
Oh, for it. A hollow victory, if ever there was one. Although I always wanted to win it when we were down there. See, I didn't. I didn't want that against our name. No, I wanted it that we would win it on while we were promoted and never defend it. Ah, uh, work permit turned down for Mokuena. That's we're appealing, obviously, but we'll but see. Josh says the uh, we can see the signing of Richard Keogh being a car crash. Hey, hey. very good. Thank you, Josh. Right, we've um, let's completely reevaluate the team now because we've signed some players. Are we happy with? Should we should we drop Casper altogether? Let me look at Jeffrey. Jeffrey's played one game and he was an eight. Yeah, that's good enough for me. On the bench. Big Jeff. Love Big Jeff. Okay, right back. We've got a choice between Richard Keogh. Oh, and well, Barad Kenton and Baradi was a bit unfit after that last game. Do we give Richard Keogh his debut? No. Are, are you mad? Give it to Darren. Stick with Kenton. Yeah. Oh, look at his face. I don't like Kenton's face. He looks. He looks very self-assured. I feel like he's coming on to me. Right. Andrew, hey, uh, give us more details. DM Michael. What? What's this about? Uh, if you use the TSB account to DM Andrew Hughes, apparently he'll Skype us. Okay. This is a job for one of you. Right, Dan, you do it because I've got control of the mouse. What am I doing? Sorry. <laughs> what am I doing? Tell him, Moscow. You're using the TSB account to DM Andrew Hughes. Yes. Don't forget to give him the instructions about settings on Skype, and he will Skype us. Oh, no, it's going to be dead awkward. We've bombed in at the reserves. Uh, <laughs> okay. I'm not sure how I do that, because it's not my call, is it? It's uh, Michael's call. No, just get his details and stuff, just to ask him. Yeah, just right. Just ask for his Skype, ask for his Skype address, and then don't say it on air. <laughs> don't read it out. John Richardson said that. So apparently Channel 4 accidentally broadcast his mobile number the other week. Oh, genius. Right. He was putting it into something on a, on a program and they, they just chose not to take it out. Um, yeah, oh, this is going to be awkward. If only Andy Hughes is going to be able to see he's only played one cup game all season. Put him back in the team. Put him in the team. We need a right back playing. Right, senior squad for Andy Hughes. Uh, we'll say he's been injured. That can be the line. He's been injured all season and we've been desperate to play him. Right, centre backs. Matt Heath, outstanding so far. Yeah, legend. Um, going to our left back then. Goldborn's been slightly better. Sheehan's played more games. Sheehan's fitter. He can go in. I don't know how Sheehan is surviving in this team. I mean, purely an average rate in Neil Kilkenny's doing well, but we can ignore that. Yeah. Promo's on the left. And yes, a centre mid. Oh, Kokito suspended. Mm. Um. I mean, maybe maybe Hughes. maybe we could play Andy Hughes. That's a good idea. Yeah, that's a good idea, isn't it? Andrew, 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 Andrew. Andrew Hughes. <laughs> I, I feel so, so. Oh, should we change his name? Should quit change his name. <laughs> uh, Beckford up front. Murphy and Lewandowski on the bench. Right. I can't wait for him to see our tactics. <laughs> and that he's playing alongside uh, Robert Lewandowski. And Mendieta. Expect them to win this game. We do need to get back to winning ways here. Another update from the Trust. Apparently, we're this has done 3,700 so far. Ah, oh, brilliant. Very good. Wow. That is good. Thank you, everybody. We might even finish a season. <laughs> by 10 no, pro no promises, though. No. And he uses giving a free kick away there. That's all right, though. That's all right, though. Yeah, it's brilliant. It's uh, it's what we wanted. We have no no problems with that whatsoever. Oh, giving the ball away again there is Andy Hughes, but I don't mind. That's good. No. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he could offer offer himself some tips or something if he get him if we get him on Skype. Thank you, Pete. By the way, yeah, he can uh, bring the best out of himself, especially now as a coach. Sounds like a euphemism, bringing the best out of yourself. <laughs> Behave. 
Right, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, gonna, oh, I'm gonna tell Hughes he can make the difference. I don't want to say I'm disappointed. Mm-hmm. Mendieta. It's almost like it's almost like. You, uh, all right, so hang on a second. Mister Hughes is saying to us, he hasn't Skype. Sorry, just Zoom or FaceTime. Uh, no, nah, not really. Can he phone in, or couldn't you just phone him and we'll get his uh, audio on? Yeah, uh, could do, I suppose. That could work. At least we get to have a chat with him. You, you do that because I'm, I'm in control of the mouse. Uh, well, you no have to idea. do it how do, from how do we Skype. Do it? You're in charge of this. Oh, you mean actually ring him in? Oh, I don't. Yeah, know. yeah. I know. I think you still have to be on Skype. Unless we bring an external number, but I need to put credit on an account and stuff to bring external wow. numbers. Man. Oh, in that, in that case, we'll take Andy Hughes off if he's not coming on. <laughs> 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 Daryl Murphy on. Yeah. If, uh... oh, he's doing all right, actually. It's Hughes. He can stay on. He can stay on. Amazing. Well, um, yeah, there's a lot of people hammering him, telling him to just install Skype, but it is uh, quite. A... One thing, if he can't come on, yes! uh, send him, send him the link to the live stream tweet and ask if he'll just retweet it. Actually, Michael, are you going through the roadcaster there? Yeah. You should be able to patch him into a phone via the roadcaster. Oh, I'll get all sorts of bloody loop feedback on it and stuff. Oh, yeah. All right, okay. I really don't want to break it. So I, uh, I'm replied to him because I don't know what to say. Uh... Send him a, a instructions to install Skype. Send him a link. The most passive aggressive thing you can Send him a link to Skype.com. <laughs> right. Oh, bless him. He's trying to help us all, isn't he? He is. Right. I'm delighted with the win anyway, and, and you in particular, Andy Hughes. Yes. Delighted with his role. Right, that's good. We needed a win. We did. Probably back in the playoffs now. I guess, maybe. Uh, let's have a look. Who have we got coming up, actually? Oh, back to fourth. 11 points off second now, though. They've dropped back a bit after that good push we had. Sorry, I was just trying to check some stuff on Skype and I was very worried about hanging up on everybody. Oh, Barcroft, he's, he's difficult to get. 850 grand for a 15 year old here. This is madness. Oh, Ben. I thought we, were, I thought, I thought we weren't getting into child trafficking. He's really good, apparently, and it's okay if that's the case. <laughs> it's Ben not having it. Yeah. Oh, it only wants a bonus. We can offer him that. Oh, okay. It's an appearance bonus. And he's never going to play, so we can... <laughs> can, can, can give, two grand. Give him two grand, he's not going to get it. Oh, all these people trying to get Milner on loan. I mean, Man City are after him, aren't they? Let's be honest. It's... This is probably why he rejected us, isn't it? We'll try again. Yeah. Realistically, can we get Aaron Corley in as a coach? Uh, I mean, it's just one option. Oh, someone's asked about Felipe de Costa. Yes, he's one of the many, many players rotting in our reserves because no one will take him off our hands. Uh, where is he? Well, maybe he's not in the reserves. Oh my god, we've got a big squad. There's Felipe, du- there's <laughs> Felipe de Costa. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Darren Kenton. I know it's a surprise to me as well. I didn't want to have to see him, to be honest, but there we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, Daryl Murphy's unhappy. Bloody hell. Sleep pops back. Oh, Zaliukas has had an injury blow for Hearts. Five months Zaliukas is out for. He's broken Oof. his leg. 
Did he fall out of a pub? It was a high stool he was on. Yeah. Ah. Ochoa, the keeper who was trying to sign, just signed a five-year deal worth £3 million. Mm. Yeah. It's tricky, this, isn't it? We are definitely in the oh, third Dan, division. Get, where's this going, Dan? I'm just looking at the little mixer I've got to see if there's a way to do it. Calling? With You could hold him up to the microphone. Ball ache, innit? No, not really. If you just ring him and hold him to the microphone and we just get a little hello. Oh, someone's just said, shit, don't pay that for Barcroft. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we, we, we won't. Could, could have had him for 50k two months ago. And for five months with liver cirrhosis. <laughs> Salucus. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. Right, Donny away. Let's have a look. Oh, Andy Hughes is a bit tired. I might have to drop Andy Hughes. <laughs> oh, Andrew, you just you don't drop, Andrew. You're just tired, and that's why you you're out of the team. You've uh, you're having some time out of the team to learn how to put Skype in <laughs> and yeah, install a simple app. Even though he's not got Skype, he might have YouTube or Twitter and be watching this. <laughs> in which case we should say that we have a lot of respect for him as a player a lot of respect for him as a person yeah, he was good as user. I did like him a lot less one well, of the best interviews we've done less for the summer special had a great time with him in Arrogate There he is. He's looking out the window just thinking about that course about technology for the elderly. Just hold that there. Hello, lads. It's Andy <laughs> here. Andrew, sorry, I'm online. Oh, hi, Andrew. Apparently he is watching the, twi- the stream. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> so I'll put this away. <laughs> Don't say for God's sake. We should oh, be no, glad. Hello, we'll Andrew. We've now, haven't we? And we've dropped him. You've just What's dropped him for this game. <laughs> It, we've rested him because we need him to be fully fit for running, is what's happened. Yeah, this is it. We've been resting him for most of the season. <laughs> it's like a coil spring. Well, oh, James Coppinger's injured, injured. That's good. He was always a thorn in our side, yeah. wasn't he? Who's the one that's still playing now for Donny? Is that Coppinger? They've got, they've got somebody yeah. who's about 90 playing for him, haven't they? I think it's him. I think it's Coppinger. There he is. I am, he says. Hi, Andrew. We are we are joined by Leeds United royalty. I'll, I'll just see if you're on the bench. Oh. <laughs> Quick, bring him on. Bring him on. Right. Uh, oh, well, it's, it's not even half time yet. I won't make any take, changes. Take Mendieta off. Yeah, you're not playing because we've got Mendieta. I'm sure you can understand. You, yeah, and it's no disgrace to be on a bench with Lewandowski, I don't think. Although we have got Darren Kenton playing it right back ahead of you, but you're not a right back in this game. It wasn't... Oh, there we go. 1-0. You didn't fully account for your flexibility. Right, coming up to half-time. Oh, they're going to... Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, come on. Who is it? That's not our Elliot, is it? Tom Elliot. Uh, he's still in our reserves. One of the many. Stuart Elliot. Never even heard of him. Wasn't he a little mouse? <laughs> Stuart Little, wasn't it? <laughs> well, whatever he was. Right. Oh, I bet you, I'll tell you what. We can win this. Right. right. A few people are getting told they're disappointing. Yeah. Fine saves. That's Big Jeff, isn't Big it? Jeff in that, yep. Yeah. All right, well, it's Beckford done score in the next 10 minutes. It's going to be... Oh, my God. What's happening? James Hater. Of course. Flashbacked. Oh, yeah. Heath gets a talking to him. We can't lose to these bombs. This is a problem when you start on minus 15. It's so tense. Right. Beckford's coming off. 
Lewandowski on. Mendieta off. Ambrose on. Buena Notte push back. Yeah, let's give that a go. I've no idea what you just did, but I like it. That was close, wasn't it? What was that? What, the noise? Oh, yeah. Me moving a can around. Oh. Adam's just asking what the fuck is going on. Oh, it can't be three. Boo! Do we resign? Look, look up! Oh my god! No. Look at the stats. We've absolutely, we've been absolutely trounced here. Jesus! What's happened? I don't know what's happened. That's, I mean, that's dreadful. And now Mikkel, and now Mikkel just uh, sent off. Really? This is this is teacups in the dressing room. This one afterwards. For fuck's sake! Right, I'll just I'll just do that for now. Don't matter, does it? I think this game is gone, but we have. Uh, what's different from from the last game that we won? Hmm? What big change did we make that we now perhaps regret? Andrew Hughes dropped. Anger at the team. All of them. Rested. Rested. All of them. Rested. 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 <laughs> <sighs> yeah, that might have been a mistake. Dennis, Donny away. I think he might have been in this season. They did batter us, but we won one nil due to a Sheen free kick. And Andrew has just said that on that note, he's going. But he does tell us to keep it going. Thank you for your support, Andrew. Thank you. We uh, we appreciate you dropping in. And we're we're sorry that we uh, we didn't play you for the one game that you came to see. Are we having a word with Mikulik for his for his? Uh, should we just warn him for his red card? Yeah, we don't need to give too uh, too serious doing. Was it a red? Oh, did that's. Did I say it was an easy victory for Doncaster? Well, it was, wasn't it? <sighs> we're shit and we're sick of it, says Harry Stockdale. <laughs> uh, I'll just, oh, quick, they, I don't, I don't want to turn. talk about it. I'm just going to say about this, the controversy. Are we, are we going to go on the attack against the fans in the press conference after this? <laughs> Saying they need to be more patient. Because you know Leeds fans always like being criticised, don't they? We need uh, the chairman to spring to oh, our defence. Ben Imerson signing. That's good news. Oh, oh Ben, he, well done. He likes the. Congratulations, uh, Ben. Welcome to the club. Yeah, click. Uh, Tom we should stress, out. by the way, we should stress about Ben. Ben is watching this stream. He's a <laughs> Stockport youth team goalkeeper. We don't need any more goalkeepers. We've got about 10, but he said he'd donate to the food bank if we signed him. So we've done Eddie that. Eddie Gray look, believes that we should look to offload him as soon as possible. <laughs> <laughs> Which I'm fine. Should we do that? This player yeah, before can we have we a, a very him. unpredictable style of goalkeeping at times. <laughs> Is that true, Ben? That is. He was described as eccentric before, wasn't that's he? It's very harsh, isn't it? He's got a very unpredictable style of goalkeeping. Yes, yes. It's not really what you want in a goalkeeper, is it? I presume part of the predictability is whether or not he will actually save the shots, and mainly doesn't. Oh well. Well, he's in the reserves, isn't he? He can be. Uh, he can. We won't put him in the under 18s That's only for Dave Lucas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is he still there? I think so. Uh, yeah, there he is. He's on. He's on oh, happy. Well, he would be. Should we try and get rid of him again? Yeah, I think it's probably the fairest thing to do. <laughs> it was always a shame Nathan Cartman never did more, wasn't it? <laughs> uh, Ross Wilkinson. I remember that name as well. Oh God! Ben remember says that, remember uh, that face. <laughs> Ben's saying this is a dream come true. To be in the reserves with, I mean, let's just have a look at who he's in the reserves with as well at Leeds. You're in there with uh, Fraser Richardson, Ben Parker, Fab Delph, Tom Lees, Seb Carroll, Matt Click. It's, it's glittering, it's, it's, glittering it's place. Good to, what contract length did we give him? 2009. He's got another year after this. I, I think we should keep Ben anyway. Because he's obviously a Leeds fan, so. Oh, Kieran Westwood. Well, was that his reward get, is to stay at Carlisle for longer? Yep. That's not a reward, is not it? Not really. Not in the conventional sense. Oh, we've been offered Patrick Berger for £24,000. 
That is a loud keyboard. It's not even my big one. So I go with the You've big one. Some like big yeah. mechanical thing, haven't you? Yeah, I've got a mechanical keyboard. Dust keyboard. Listen to that. Ben knows the club. It's just said. BKTS. There. God, I love oh. that keyboard. It needs a clean, though. <laughs> Disgusting. Oh, Patrick Thistle want David Lucas. Ooh. And Airdrie. He's got Scotland, is he? Okay. We've said about Scottish goalkeepers being shit, haven't we? And that's where he's going. Yeah. Oh, it's uh, 13th. Is it the 13th? It is. Happy birthday, Mike Whitlow. Oh, excellent. There he is. Happy birthday, 40. Sir Mike. 40 years old. Big 4 0. And still going strong, some might say. I'm sliding in there. Not a ball or an opponent to be seen. Is Edgar Charney on there? Can't... Did we look for... We've looked for him already, haven't we? We looked for him, yeah. Oh, is there, yeah. I don't... Look... You were so yeah. 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 He's right. expensive and on loan. So. No Elioski, unfortunately. We'll have a, a little tour of... Right, where are we now? Table on that. Uh, um, let's have a look. We are f- a legend. We're fifth. We're ready to play Millwall in the playoffs by the look of it. That's going to end well. 14-point gap to second, though. That's the, that's the <sighs> top thing. Bad, isn't it? Mm. There he is. Like a young Ian Curtis. <laughs> Dancing like one as well with his, his wrists going. She's lost control again. <laughs> Love leaves are falling apart again. There he is. Happy birthday, Mike. Mm. Farewell, Felipe de Costa. Is he gone? Got to Peterborough. That's an interesting move. Mm. Oh, David Nugent's available on loan. We don't need a striker, do we? feel if anything we need like a central midfielder a good one and oh I've needed a right back this guy's on loan from oh, let's see if we can get him on loan from Arsenal as a right back Moylan have a look at Slack by the way because I messaged you on there don't say that about Michael that's really mean <laughs> Mm, Felipe de Costa's Leeds hell at an end. He's going to pay. Leeds hell? Apparently so. It's strong. Chris Westwood thinks so. He should count himself. Look here, I mean, Ben's just called him his dream and he's not even getting close to the first team. We c- Although if he ever does, it's a, a thousand pounds. We can't stress that enough, Ben. You are not getting a game. <laughs> okay. I think Swansea is still going in the FA Cup. That's probably good for us. Oh, David Lucas is mm. gone. Yes. At last. Are you happy now? Good riddance. It does slightly thin out the... Uh, are we going to be okay for goalkeeper cover? Let's just have a look. Uh, yes. <laughs> How many keepers is that? I mean, admittedly, some of the, take out the under-18s. Okay, so we've got six mm. senior goalkeepers. Six senior <laughs> One of whom is Simon Minule, who I don't know when he will ever play. Yeah. I mean... Uh, kind of... <laughs> that face. <laughs> oh, ben doesn't have a picture, which is a shame. Mm. Neither does Casper, mm. which is a bit weird. The young players seem far more likely to have pictures on this. Yeah. And Speroni with that centre party. Look at that. Strong. We haven't um, poked Warnock for a while, have we? Mm. Maybe that's why the form's gone off a bit. Yeah. What? You're at Southampton now? Hey! When did this happen? He it... Oh, he's dropped down the division. One last challenge. Yeah, he had, you know, he had Palace at the bottom of the league. He's got sacked and he's gone to Southampton. 
Barclays. I thought I assumed Palace were in the Premier League. That's mad. Maybe it's he's gone to work with Hocker Day. Ah, possibly. Oh, well. Again, still disappointed at how things are going. Yeah, let's just launch into him again. It's been a while. Ooh, a lot of news. Yes, our girl Fox. Yes, what that report is not. Uh, is there an option to say we're bidding for him because his name's funny? He is just one of a number of players we are looking at who all have funny names. That's true. Mm. Moylan, thumbs up. Oh, Alan Martin's going to Derry. That'd be nice. Oh, he's got, oh look how many teams want, want Alan Martin. All of, yeah. Are we missing a trick? Jesus. We see the answer all along. I mean, none of them are very good clubs. But still, it does worry, it does worry me that so many teams want him. But, you know, we've got Simon. We, we paid about that for Simon Minule, didn't we? 22 grand? Uh, yeah, I think so. Q points out that Lund looks like the guy who failed to join Busted. Oh, sick pot's are happy now. He's been injured. Uh, yeah, we can't play him when he's injured. We may we may not have noticed that he's recovered, but that's a different thing. Fabi Jan. Uh, oh, Fabi Jan. I don't know what you were talking about then. I thought Patrick Berger, <laughs> who was devoted to Aston Villa half an hour ago, now got to Coventry. Yes, sir. See who's transfer listed, see if there's anyone. Yeah, we've not signed enough players lately, Scum have we? Saha. Not having him. Hello, Clinton in Australia. Thank you. Yeah, we're doing all right. And, I believe uh, they, say, they say good day, I believe. Don't they? Good day, mate. And then, man, uh, if you're waiting on your Street Fighter mug, um, you need to get in touch with Awesome Distro. But if you email support the squareball.net will point you in the right direction but they're doing it James they're really good at customer services so far well, so there's been there, there have been delays around the post as well due to coronavirus haven't they yeah they've had problems like staying open and things so they're doing they're doing the best but uh, they can check where it is right Luton next we will not steal your street fight on mug cash we promise faithful right Luton at bottom of the league Right, let's hammer them. Do you want to make any changes? Um, Sparadi worth a start? Actually, yeah, Darren Kenton's been getting in, hasn't he? All right, yeah, if you're in the, the US for your mug, it's probably going to take a while. We can go Baradi or we can go Richard Keogh. <sighs> I thought we only signed Keogh just to mock him. He's not that bad, though. <laughs> I mean, you can't, seri you can't seriously put that, that player in the uh, football field. <laughs> I'm going to put him on the bench because actually he's a bit more flexible than Paul Huntington. His knee's not. <laughs> well, I think it, it did show a great deal of flexibility within that incident. It just, just didn't fare well from it. Um, who have we got in there? Yeah. Coquito. Yeah, this is this is a full strength team. Oh, Mikalik's banned, isn't he? Of course he is. Idiot. Yeah, we're still trying to get Thomas Scaravi. We think he's going to, we'll get that over the line soon. Richard Keogh gets a squad number. 29, why not? Oh, yeah. Uh, Richard <laughs> Katie point out, it's a while since we saved. I think it didn't also save, but I'll, I'll do it, I'll do it mm. after this game. Mm. It, it saves once a month or something, doesn't it? Which is about three hours in this game. Yeah. <laughs> the way we're going. I'm just going to dish around a bit of uh, random praise and stuff. Someone without the username saying that their pizza's just arrived, cold beer out the fridge. I thought they were saying, that's it, they were going to uh, be logging out. But instead, no, here's where I bed in for the long haul. <laughs> yeah, there's only, uh, we're not even halfway, are we? My um, 11 hours nearly. One of the messages I had was from my mum saying my dad's watching and I should not drink too much and I should make sure I eat something. Good <laughs> She's advice. got strong parenting. How is Jeff? Is he all right? Yeah, I think so, yeah. 
Yeah, he's a bit Big Jeff, our goalkeeper. Big concern for me. He's, he's Jeff with the J's, my dad. Oh, okay. Like, uh, he's, he's a gee off, isn't he, our keeper? Yeah. Yeah. James says we can update auto saves every week. I'm not going into the settings. It broke it on the uh, Championship Manager <laughs> 1 or 2. I'm not risking that. And nothing changed in seven years between them, nope. did it? Don't trust it, these old games. It did take a bit of getting, trying to make this work, actually. It doesn't mm. really like it on a new computer. Oh, Paul Huntington. There we go. Did we bring him in for Mikulic? Yeah. Or has he been playing every week? No, league? he came in for Mikulic. You keep me updated on what we're actually doing. <laughs> I would if I knew myself. Last bit of pizza now. Someone pointed out you've been on that pizza for about two hours. Yeah, well, talking and stuff, aren't we? Mm. Mine should be here soon. Just some someone putting her hi, Jeff, in the comments. <laughs> From Spinksy. A friend of your dad's? Can be. Friend friend of your mum's is probably. Oh, come mom. on now. Probably question. Come on now. Yeah, he's been eating that pizza for years. It's on his right. Right, I'm going to say, uh, don't expect the performance to drop. Oh, should I say nothing again? You say it best. Yeah, I think there's some players in there like Big Jeff hasn't had the uh, uh, the harsh side of your tongue that was holding, <laughs> holding us back earlier in the think... season. No. Who's going to take it? Mendieta. Already scored it. Fair enough. Yeah, Berardi's not on the pitch, is he? Yep. He is, is he? yep. <laughs> Why isn't he on penalties? Because I made a change during the game, so it doesn't stick for the next uh, for the next match. Promis is injured. I'll bring Murphy on. Daryl Murphy is not an attacking left winger, is he? He's like a big shit house target man. But every time he comes on, he it's all about the assists and the goals. That was a big crunch. Moscow, have you eaten? Yeah, Pete. Have you, eat, have you got food coming? Yeah, it's due. Like the guys went to. It's being wrapped up at half past now. Fair enough. Matthew says when he started that pizza, the game was just released. <laughs> <laughs> and Pete's right that we let, a, we let a big lead slip to Luton before, so we can't let this drop, even though it is the 92nd minute now. He said that a while ago. Even I was... feel confident now. Mm, that's unusual for you. You'd be normally lumping on Luton at this point. There we go. Uh, That's what we needed. There is not a, there's not a documentary, a behind the scenes documentary about this, I don't think, but you will be able to watch it for all time on YouTube. Should you want yeah. to. I imagine the next eleven hours, thirteen hours even. Christ. <laughs> what are we doing? Mm. The behind the scenes was just, really just us for like half an hour not making things work this morning. Yeah. And failing to get in touch with Andrew Hughes, forgetting that Matt Abbott was supposed to be on. No. Uh, Christopher, it's going to be a, a Calvin special from Harpo's, which is named after Calvin Phillips. Right, that us. <coughs> so we're firmly back in the playoffs now. Oh, it's, it's going to be tasting the playoffs. Could be facing Carlisle, Huddersfield, Millwall, maybe. Why don't we just go up automatic? We can try. I mean, we are outscoring every other team, aren't we? Huddersfield want Gary Monk. They're absolute idiots. <laughs> What's that? Is, is David Wagner on this game, I wonder? Was he a player? He brings us... Uh, that brings Gary Monk near enough that we can just cruise down the M62 and smack him. <laughs> oh. Yeah, have a look for Wagner. We should have had um, Pusey back to tell us about him. No. Okay. There are more complaints about the size of Dan's head. Oh, it's little now, isn't it? Oh, I don't. I don't understand it. It's weird. Resize it though. 
Oh, it's not the size of the screen, just the size of his head. Okay. Thanks. Fairness, that... In fact, that hat I had uh, on earlier would complement this shirt brilliantly. I might... Uh, might dig it out. We have had a warning from the future from Paul on Twitter says... Uh, three of my friends did a championship manager all nighter over 20 years ago, and they were still arguing the toss about it yesterday. Look at this. Yeah, that could be our fate. That's nice, isn't it? Yeah, that's good. But yeah, this. What I like best. I like best about that is that the blues and yellows, none of them quite match mm. up. Ah, <laughs> oh, we've got a right back anyway. That's good. We're not paying anything for him. He's on loan from Arsenal. We're not paying his wages. Career Gilbert. <laughs> Never heard of him. Wonder what, wonder, wonder what ever became of him. Let's have a report. He's. Will be a decent sign for most Premier League teams. He's twice the player of Richard okay. Keogh. <laughs> I'm twice the player of Richard okay, Keogh. Maybe he's worth putting in. I mean, we've got. Bar got a working name. We'll have to drop Berardi. Oh, does he already play for us? We just signed him. Why? Because uh, I wanted another right back and he was free. Oh, why are we trying to loan Jermaine Pennant? What? How did this happen with me not watching? I just keep I just keep chucking bids in for players, really. I feel like I've been here the whole time. And somehow this happens. And now Speroni's gone to Doncaster. They've already got uh, Sullivan. Don Matteo. He's going to Grimsby. Let him go. Look at those wages. It's a joke. Looking up a Apparently, uh, Dan might be massive again now. Oh, he is, isn't he? Ridiculous. Why do I keep doing this? Such a strange it, thing. Uh, it's because it's because Michael can't do it right, isn't it? Again. Yeah. The only person who can find a setting to do the one thing that nobody wants to ever happen. <laughs> <laughs> I might just see if I can. Uh, I'm going to send you right to the. I'm going to move you to the bottom. So if, even if you get bigger, you'll just be behind the window. That'll work. Yeah, yeah. Speroni to Donny is a weird one, isn't it? It must be something to do with how OBS is taking the... Um... Yeah. Don't get technical. As, as has been pointed out, you just think you're bigger than the club. Big Ed. Kerio Gilbert was last seen at St Albans City. So he's had a good career. Look at the absolute neck of the next news item, though. The absolute Ooh. neck. Tell them. Tell them how much we want. We want 250 grand. 100 million. 100 million pounds. Yeah. yeah. Five, well, five million. See if they'll go for five. <laughs> those, cor those corners aren't going to score themselves. Because I would sell it for five. I just want to... Want to well, they want on Darren Kenson as well. Let's just accept that. We can have him. Oh, we're well, we going to play it right this, back in our This guy just signed from Arsenal. <laughs> Kyria Gilbert, of course. Named after the rugby balls. Oh, hang on. We've got another bid in here. Fraser Richardson. He can go. Oh, I think his pizza's there. This is exciting. Oh, yeah, see you, Darren. All the Scottish teams want our shit players. <laughs> just been sent a picture from my mate Neil who um, you know obviously now all the hairdressers and stuff are closed at the minute because of lockdown um, and we did it to my, my lad Sam we just like shaved his head not you know completely thuggish like yours Michael but like shaved his head the other day to keep it nice and short my mate Neil sent it to his son who's uh, he's three and he's been drawing a dinosaur on his face today <laughs> and he's inadvertently made him look like a Mexican prisoner <laughs> Yeah, facial tattoos. <laughs> but he doesn't finish his pizza. So is that from, is that end at me or or Moscow, Tom? We've just seen it in the. Uh... Oh, Jamie Butterfield has genuinely watched us since ten a.m. Can you do this every Saturday, please? Um, probably not. Though it has been more enjoyable than most of my other days in recent weeks. So. <laughs> I wish I could. I've been summoned. I need, I need to do a bedtime story or something in a minute. Unbelievable. I think. Oh, Millwall, Millwall aren't interested in Matt Heath anyway for five million. Which is a bit of a shame. 
Ah, uh, Moscow. But yeah, John, John, John Richardson should be on with us in about 20 minutes, shouldn't they? Speaking of Richardson. I think so. We just sold Fraser. That's a, yeah, a bit of a shame, isn't it? But not getting a game. Daryl Murphy wants to leave. Ah. Yeah, sell him. Good luck, Daryl. No one's going to want you. He's going to do, really do his confidence down. Make him think he's worthless. Kind of has taste. Three point seven million. I'll tell you what, we're not having. <laughs> is this the one where Bogdan Stanku is a wonder kid? Let's have a look at him. Uh, it's pretty good. 950 grand though. Oh, I'll add him to the shortlist. Not sure we can afford him just yet. Oh, Stephen, did you want a house? And... Hey, Sammy, are you going to come and say hi? On here. On our stream. This is a Spurs fan, by the way. It's not, it's not a Spurs fan, are you? you? You're just making your mind up. Oh, come here. Yeah. My boy. My it's boy. A good haircut. It's a good haircut you've given him. Giving the prisoners haircut, yeah. Alright, this is the FA Cup, which we just want out of. So, let's save the team. Right, Simon Mignolet is going to get his debut here. That'd be nice for him. Where's Moscow gone? Pizza. I have no idea, actually. I'll give Darren Kenton one last game to say goodbye. It'd be very emotional, all that one, I imagine. Be, what if he gets injured? Bit bad, Daz. No, he won't. He's, he's invincible. Promes. Oh, okay, Ambrose game. Seb Saucer. And Johnny Housen. Oh, I'll give Lewandowski a run out. Why not? Luciano can go on the bench. Ah, oh, Benny. Uh, oh, hang on. Might still have time. What's going on? Sorry, I was just reading tweets. Oh, it's too late. Someone suggested put be putting Ben in for the cup. That'd have been a good shout. Ah. Oh. Can I gotta change it? Ah, oh, I can't change it. Ah, oh, sorry, Ben. We'll give you. We'll give you your debut before the end of the season. I promise you. We'll bring you on in the playoff final, so you can take all the flack. You're ask, you nominated scapegoat. Uh, Felipe de Costa has been sold. <laughs> to, oh, bloody hell, we're in the lead already. First minute. Our reserves. Johnny Housen for Ambrose. Look at that. Here it is. Ah, oh. they've scored, but I'm not bothered. Kevin Thornton, who's in? Oh, I didn't realize we were in the fourth round. We've done all yeah, right. We've done pretty we? well. Who's playing for them? Oh, Scott Dan, J Tab, Julian. Did we know sign Julian Gray at one point? Oh, we're taking the lead again. We scored again. How many games have you lost, you bankers? Oh, we're, in the, we're in the. We're playing our reserves in the FA Cup, and we're leading against Coventry. Is Patrick Berger playing for them? That's a good point, actually. I don't think he is. No. Here, uh, should we do advertise a local business? Harpo's. This is a Calvin Phillips special. <laughs> With, uh, I've got extra jalapenos. That's nice. There it's been pointed out. But it's been pointed out by Mark F that we're going to have a right old um, remote do with Player of the Year awards. Uh, it's going to be a complete lottery because we've played about 65 players this season already. <laughs> I mean, I think it's be between Beckford and Coquito, I think, for me. Does he all have to buy tickets to come? <laughs> the pavilion was made just for this occasion. Yeah, the, we can't fit an audience in. 
Right. Talk amongst yourselves. I'll be busy for a while. It's been it's been bet on that you won't finish it. Oh, no, I'll be fine. Don't you worry. He only eats once a, a month. He's like a snake. This is... <laughs> Andrew Hughes is just through on gold, then. Bloody hell, we're, we're absolutely demolishing him here. Don't we want to be out of this competition? Yeah, we're trying our best. We've been, we've been trying our best to get out of it, haven't we? But our the, reserves are anxious to impress, though, aren't they? reserves in, but we're killing... I think I Coventry in the league above as well. I think they're, I'm certain they were a championship at Coventry. No, oh, well, they're back in it now. Just see how we're getting on with the food bank. Oh, it's up to, to 16,683. I think about three and a half to four grand of that is those, I think. About four grand, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's all right. Last update said 3,700 was us. Oh, okay. Oh, we, put a bit, we put another 100 quid or something on after that. Us. So. Just us. <laughs> right. I'm going to say, please, I don't, I don't really care if this. I bet we end up getting a bloody replay out of this, which we don't want. Simon Mignolet making his debut, by the way. Oh, yeah. As his career, Gilbert. We've got Richard Keogh on the bench to make his debut as well. You can't hear me chewing, can you? No. Okay. I don't want to horrify anybody. Turn your camera off, then. Oh, Mignolet with a good save there. Oh, he's oh, offside best. Calm down. <laughs> Is Leon Best worth signing? Not really. Mm. Looks really stu <coughs> really properly stupid on that picture goals. as well. <laughs> <laughs> Said uh, bring Keo on for a minute and sew him off. <laughs> I like that. Yep. Keo can well given we're gonna be subbing him off, we'll bring him on for Coventry Coventry playing Jay Housen. No, that's us. I don't even recognise half these players. Oh it is as well. <laughs> right, Keo's on and Keo is off. So just to be clear there, Richard Keogh's debut lasted uh, I don't know, work it out at the end. Two minutes, his debut. On and off. Rich and Katie say if Click gets another two games, we get another tenner. Okay, that seems fair. He can play in the next cup game for one. We started him twice and he's got injured both times. Ridiculous. <coughs> See, we're, we're racking up games in hand now because we're playing in the bloody FA Cup. 60 grand, though. Oh, some controversy. Oh, I, don't I think the official's got it right. Um, Andy, Green, um, Andy Greenway's just asking, did we make an offer for Belushi? We did, didn't we? What happened with that one? I think he rejected us. Did yeah. he, Belushi? Yeah. Oh, he did. Simon Mignolet had a good debut. I was very happy with Simon. I'll call him Simon. Simon's debut today, but there will be times over the coming months when things don't go so well for him. That's very dark, isn't it? Yeah, I'll go for that one. <laughs> gone for the emo style of management. Ah, oh, Robert Bailey's gone to Northampton with his plants. Seb Salter and Robert Lewandowski in the same team. We really are through the looking glass. Yeah, that's a fair point. I feel like that's what happened before midnight. It's quite special. Oh, 
well. Someone someone pointed out Bogdan Stanky was really good on this, but he's one point six million. I mean, we have got one point six million. Let's let's match their bid. See what happens. Cheltenham in League One next. We've not missed a cup draw, have we? No, not yet. That'll be after these games, won't it? Did Millwall come back about Matt Heath? Uh, they said they don't want him for five million. Fools. Just remind us of the table before we get into the next game. Alan Martin's gone. Bit of a shame. Um, so a fifth. So if we had the 15 points, we would be on 58 so be second. second. But we don't, unfortunately. And how many points are we behind? 14. Game in hand, though. Oh, no, we have, have, no, we haven't on Swansea, actually. We have scored a lot of goals. Been a very entertaining season. Look at Forest, boring bastards. Conceded 14, scored 47. Rubbish. Who wants that? <laughs> Hodgson. Uh, oh, I thought it was going to be Roy Hodgson. Hang on, Hodgson feels that bringing in this type of, of player is a gamble that could backfire on the manager, Alan Martin. Something against the uh, proboscis monkeys. Who is this Hodgson? No idea, David. Davy, he's the, he's the manager. <laughs> no. Oh no, he's a manager, he's not their manager. <laughs> no, he signed a player and then gone, oh, it's a bit rigorous bringing him in. That's what we've been doing. Oh, sick pot wants to transfer. What? Did you just say yes? How dare he? What's wrong with him? Yeah, fuck him. 31 as well. Yeah, best of luck. Did it say he was feuding with us? I'm not sure. Well, if you'd read the fucking news, I'd... Jesus Christ. <sighs> right. Uh... No, it didn't. Right, no. okay. Oh, Darlington's new sign in. Uh, it's hit back at fans who we'll believe he will be disruptive. North East Lois says he's just started a new job with his mate. So there's much disruption there. Yeah, what's it like? Is it doing what? We need to know what he's doing. Disrupting. Oh. Have we bought? He's like a tech startup. <laughs> we just signed someone called Nicholas Mazzola. Show me. He was a really cheap okay. signing. Um, yeah, or I coach, can. Coach reports, he's a decent player. He's always oh, some way off the, having the potential to be better than Daryl Murphy. That's not what ideal, does, is it? What does Whitlow think? Um, oh, there we go. So Mike Whitlow <laughs> thinks he's not far from having the potential to be as good as Daryl Murphy. Okay. See, but he thinks Daryl Murphy's the best striker we've got, does Whitlow. There you go. What does um, Whitlow think about Whitlow? I don't think, it, I don't think it'll show it, do it, will it? Didn't we look we were going to give it a try. Fucking hell, look where Monk's ended up. Hold on a minute. Um... No, you can't see Whitlow on Whitlow. Look and see what you oh, both okay. think. Tony Eboa thinks on, of uh, Whitlow. Um, he thinks he's the fifth best left back in the Leeds squad. Um, he notes that the player is slow off the mark and this fast fact does impede his overall speed. He's a very slow no. player. He's, he's like a he's, racing car going into turbo. You probably doesn't know what you're talking about. He's susceptible to injuries and as if things couldn't get any worse, he's declined as a footballer. He's got weaker. His advancing years mean he has no real future at the club. I'm ignoring all this. Alfie the pizza's a 10. Right, boys, I'm just going to duck out for five minutes and do bedtime stories. I'm eating. Do them here. What am I doing? Do you want me to read Harry Potter to you, to everybody? Yeah, don't yes. Have to do. Right, FA Cup fifth round draw, stay for this. We've got Barnsley away. I'll tell you what, we're going to win the FA Cup here. Barnsley away, we can, we can get through that. Anyway, you're free to go. Right, back in five. Well, I'll make uh, uh, doubles is clean sheet bonus if we win the FA Cup. Oh, Westlake is coming back. We've been approached by a national newspaper. How do you think the midfield will react to playing against his former club? 
I'm not I quite like the top one. Yeah. Quite that one as well. If I, I don't believe Westlake will cause us problems. If I thought he was a threat, I would have never let him leave the club. Mm. Now, let's just say we're not spending our time thinking about him. Get Ken to read the bedtime story. <laughs> Good God. Ashley Williams has got to stop. Uh, got to fall, Kirk. Oh, yes, Darren Kenton can go. You've got a lot of faith in that new right back. Well, it's only, it's only trying to replace Darren Kenton, bloody hell. How hard can it be? Team selections first. Who is playing it right back now? Brad, I mean, Brad has been doing pretty well there. 7.5, mm. do we leave him in? Yeah. He's a promise. Yeah. I'll sign Charlie Adam. Hmm. We know he ages well. <laughs> Ian Westlake committed a foul there. Yeah, he's fired up, isn't he? Idiot. Right, there we go. 1-0. One and not a cookie. To... What's Higgs doing there? He's run off his line to save a free kick. That's very unconventional. Well, we, uh, well, we get the chance. Let's just have another look at him. Mm. Gorgeous. Between that and this picture, I mean, heaven. <laughs> oh, we scored again. I was I was looking at the chat. Matt Heath with a big breaking ball forward. Buonanotte turns the defender. How's he scored from there? Ridiculous. Deflection. Don't do him down. <laughs> Oh, for f it's their first shot on target. I was just looking. That unbelievable. Ah, oh, Beckford should have scored then. Well, it's all going all right. I'll say. Agent Higgs. <laughs> yeah, I know we sold him Westlake. Um, I think we got a decent bit of money for Westlake. He's one of our biggest sales, I think, isn't mm. he? About hundred. Do we get hundred and twenty grand for him or something? Yeah, it's pretty good money. And the pre-match beef as well. Right. Let's give Lewandowski can have a. Go. We're living in his head for free. <laughs> Snoddy can go off as well. He's been booked. Can get out on the town early, Snoddy. <laughs> what has Jeff done there? He just booted it straight out of play. That was very uncouth. No! Oh. Six minutes of injury time. Surely there's not time for them. Yes, yeah, corner. Lovely stuff. Should have won by more, but overall, got to say that's pretty good. We'll take it. We'll take it. Look at the stats. Unbelievable. Should have won by a bigger margin. How much is he worth now? 1.2 mil. <laughs> Shane Higgs looks like he'd be called Jeremy and we'll run an insurance firm. And that's a bit harsh on Shane Higgs. I think he's... He'd run a modelling agency, wouldn't he? He's more handsome than that. How many yellows has Coquito got? Um, 11 overall. Yeah. Mm. Oh, one, booking every few games, that's not actually too bad. 
I thought it'd be a lot worse than that. I'm actually a bit disappointed in him. Oh, Diego is the first name on the team sheet as far as I'm concerned. Simp. Um, David, uh, Rob Wallace-Arnold points out Luciano's not had much game time. No. Not really had a chance. No. When we're next in the cup, next cup game. Okay, yeah. I mean, he's, he's he fantasy scored one goal. Yeah, we've got to use him. Let's see what people say. Oh, Gray believes we should offload him as soon as possible. Whitlow says the same. Hmm. Nah, he's only on loan, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, give him a chance. Yeah, we can we, do, we can play him in the cup. We've been trying to get out of that for ages. No, no. Don't be like that. Loads of transfer bids here. Darren Kenton, all of a sudden, quite popular. Anyone else we need rid of? Oh, someone wants Torren Drifflow. For God's sake, take him. Mm. No, no one's after Constantine, are they? Someone wants Andy Hughes? No, keep him. No, all right. But Addy actually is our right back now, isn't he? Good lad. Oh, no one wants him. Unbelievable. Who'd have thought people, players couldn't leave a Ken Bates Leeds United because we're paying them too much money? <laughs> Ridiculous. Sit over. Could we go into admin? <laughs> uh, I think I think you can on this game. I might be wrong, but I think I think our finances are actually amazingly good. Let's have a look. Because we've been in admin. Look at this. Look at this. Look at our uh, our chart going up through four million. Qu Amazing. Four million quid in the bank. We're clearly not spending enough on goalkeepers. <laughs> oh, God, what's going on here? Oh, transfer deadline's passed. Mm. Oh, so we've got we've not got Stanku. That's annoying. And Seb Carroll's... We've still got Seb Carroll. Jesus. <laughs> Oh, that is a disaster. Oh, hang on though, this might be a blessing. We were about to pay one about a million quid for this Bogdan Stanku. Is that we can actually sign him on a free? Okay, nice one. We'll have him. Buena Notte, Player of the Month. Second time he's won that. Nicky Maynard was well rated at one point, wasn't he? Mm. I've got one more. One more slice after this, and I'll stop just grunting at you. Oh, John Richardson is ready. Christ, I'm eating. <laughs> right, well, eat quickly. Come on. Okay, I'm doing my best. Right, I tell you what. Before you, before I start adding him in, I'm going to get another. You know, I'm going to get another drink. Don't just leave people watching me eat. What? You can't just leave people watching me eat. Oh. Well, all right, yeah, go on then. I'll stay for a little bit. <laughs> Let's see what's... Uh... Oh. You can bring John in while you're doing this. Taco Fred's there. Candle. I'm not spending my time thinking about Candle. I honestly think we've got what it takes to beat him. Right, I'll try and bring him in. Eleven hours thirty eight minutes this call's been going for, which means we're not even halfway <laughs> there. We'll be right. Hello. Hello, Hello there. I can't see you. Hello. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, there we go. There he is. Oh, he's in his pub. In the dog, live from the dog, and am I allowed to swear yeah, now? Yeah, we've been swearing throughout. Good, I heard. <laughs> yeah, live in the dog and bastard. Right, I'm just going to try and add your webcam to this. Okay. 
You've caught me mid pizza, me mid John. I'll right be right with you. It's fine. It's fine. What pizza are we looking at? Homemade? No, it's a Calvin special from Harpo's. What's on a Calvin special? Tons, all sorts. There's about 14 different kinds of meat. Lovely. And uh, Calvin's mum is involved somewhere. Oh, is she? Oh, good on her. I think she works for them, so. Excellent. The real star of that documentary, I thought, Calvin's mum and his, his gran. He's nan, yeah, what a woman. Yeah. What a woman man. You can tell why he's nice, can't you? You just know he's nice. You can, buy, you can tell by his face. Yeah. Can't you? I bet if you ever... There's a weird sort of uh, feeling at the moment that, oh, well, if he's not going now, maybe he'll never go. And I don't know if that's sensible. I bet if you saw Belushi's grand, she'd be a horrible old racist battle axe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you were discussing Belushi. I tuned in earlier to see sort of where you were at and what you're up to, and none of you were sat there, and um, Lewandowski had just scored away at Exeter. <laughs> That was the point I joined. Yeah, we've been a bit hands off sometimes in the approach. I think that that was the game we were banned for, though, wasn't it? We had a touchline yeah, we had ban. Touchline ban, so I think we all went to the toilet and stuff. Uh, we're doing pretty well. We're fourth in the league. Um, Scoring goals like nobody's points business. off second. So we're in with a chance. Is this still the third season? Yes. Yeah, yeah. So we're still Rush. in the minus fifteen season. I see. Um, yeah, it's going right. We've, got, we've signed some great players. We've got, we've got Mendieta. Wow. We've got um, yeah Lewandowski on the bench. Uh, who else have we? Who else have been playing? Some some bloke called Coquito is doing quite well. We signed Snoddy. We've got Beckford up front. He's doing pretty well. We've signed Richard Keogh. Look at Richard Keogh's face. Wow. And what was the uh, what was the logic behind signing Richard Keogh? Uh, his face. Right. His face. Okay. We're going to put him in the back of a car and just drive around. <laughs> yeah, footballers and cars, eh? Not the time. Right, so. Not the time. Uh, we're just about to face Trezor Candles Walsall because we've sold him there. Right, okay. Well, we should be all right. Oh, though, we've got uh, an 18 year old Berardi. Oh, 19 now. A 19 year old Berardi at fullback. Oh. Christ, can you imagine? So, oh, Dan. It makes you realise when you contemplate 18 year old Berardi, you realise we're looking at Berardi at the mature end of the spectrum. We're looking at the calm, <laughs> rational, older Berardi. Yeah, this is when he was. I, I mean, I imagine he couldn't even be put on a pitch at this age, really. <coughs> yeah, he was getting sent off in the tunnel at this phase, sure. Very passionate lover, you'd imagine. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny that he just went straight to the lover. Rather than the uh, the footballer. That's what we're all thinking. Right. Well, right what, 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 we, what, what have we been up to then? What's been going on? Um, I can't remember. When did you leave? What's going <laughs> on in Harry Potter? Um, oh, Ron and Ginny. Uh, not Ron and Ginny, they're brother and sister. Oh, Christ. my God. Um, <laughs> Ron, Ron and Hermione are getting jealous of each other. Teenage like hormones. Says, uh, Harry Potter, are you? Oh yeah. Well, because well, the two of them are both reading it at different stages now, so I get to do it twice every day, which is great. Oh, they're taking the lead anyway from a corner. Look at that terrible marking. I think I might be a jinx. I'm the new Phil Hay. <laughs> oh, they're all over us here. What's going on? This is Trezor Candle. Oh, there we go. Right. Where's Moscow? Is he still eating? Yeah, he's off the side, just just tropping away. Nearly done. I think I'm. Am I the first one who's joined on a mobile? Because I feel like I, I had a look earlier and everyone looked quite. I feel like I'm the first one sort of leaning in and gurning like a proper, like a nana trying to look at you on Skype. It's, Who's that? It's, it's not helping that we're playing a game with microscopic text. It's probably not. It, no, I can't. Can't see anything there, so you could be doing anything. We nearly had Andrew Hughes joining earlier, and we had to pretend we'd had him in the team. Uh, <laughs> but then he, he, he didn't have Skype, so it didn't happen. Right, oh, well, that's good to know. I'm going to say technology is keeping the footballers from us. I'm going to say I'm disappointed with all of them here because we should be beating Warsaw. Where are they? Oh, God, yeah, the 21st. Are we marking Candol? No need. Okay. Well, on your own head, yeah. I gouge someone in a minute or something. 
Do a bit, bit noisier there. <laughs> so how's it been? Are you like 12 hours in? Or yeah, we're about we're nearly halfway. Wow. How are you feeling? Yeah, it's all right. I've not, I've had, it's been quite relaxing in a way. How's the I've drinking? Just, uh, I've not started that. <laughs> Right. Maybe, cool. maybe, maybe I need to, but no, I've just had a, I've just had a text from one of my mates who's watching, and he says you're coughing a lot. Are you all right? And I think it's, yeah, I think it's just talking that's doing it. It's not the uh, it's not the lurgy, I don't think. Well, oh, it's, oh, it's, oh, we've just scored. I was just about to make some changes. Oh, there we go. Well, should I celebrate the drink? I suppose. I bring. I suppose you're past the point of celebrating now, aren't you? Yeah. Uh, I, you know, we're still celebrating as much as we can. I was just about to go for another drink, actually. I'll, uh, I'm just on my last my last dregs of this can. Are you in the uh, the dog and bastard there, John? I am live from the dog and bastard. Yeah, I've got some uh, I've got some sport on the telly just because you know he's got to have sport on him, even if it's old. I've watched a lot of retrospectives of players I don't really care about. <laughs> I've learned a lot about people I hated at the time and why they were successful. But well, that's the that's the famous Leeds United ones, isn't it? You've got on this is yeah. You want to see a bit more? There. Very nice. It's, I actually put this on. I wore it once when we were filming the sitcom and I'm wearing it for you now. I stopped wearing it after uh, a urination incident <laughs> where a onesie is not its not something to nip for a drunk way in a onesie. And, uh, you know, I, I cut myself in an area you can't put a plaster on, put it Ooh. that way. And I've done it since. But it's back tonight. Excellent. Nice. Are you, what, what work are you doing at the moment then? Just nothing? Oh, absolutely nothing, yeah. Um, the the real work of uh, pretending to be a decent husband and father, um, people seeing what you get up to during the day, you wouldn't usually be around when you're there. You know, the true work. I'm drinking to excess and uh, trying to avoid the news. And I haven't been off my driveway in two weeks except for a trip to uh, Tesco. You've not, you not been no. doing your little daily walks or anything? Not really, no. I, I wasn't really a big walker anyway. You know, I, I've been a fan of social distancing for about 15 years now so um i actually don't think we've gone far enough I, i'd like to see people distance from their families if possible um well that's what we've done today but, essentially i've been locked in a room yeah i don't know how you've swung this this is exceptional work really for the three that's... of you to be given a 24-hour pass well we've won we've won, we've won a... five one by the way since you've been away yeah that was a hell of a second half what happened? I, had a, I, I just had a word at half time Sorry, <laughs> I went in there I think it was Promes in particular, bollocked him. And he's got mm -hmm. a hat-trick. Look at this. Look at this right. second half. Dan Moylan, 12 hours in, still muting his microphone when he goes to cough off mic. I mean, that, that is a <laughs> level of professional you cannot buy. If Martin Tyler is watching, <laughs> you should be afraid because this is slick. I just want to... Uh... To, uh, the elbow as well, not into the hand, following the government advice. This is exceptional broadcasting. I have been uh, coughing into my hand for most of the day, but again, the friend who just said you've been coughing a lot said you need to do it into your elbow. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, it was a conscious choice. Well, well to, uh, to Joe Gamble, by the way, I'm glad you're looking out for me. And yeah, people asking the pizza does come recommended. <laughs> I hope... Uh, I hope you're eating as well, Joe. Someone said Moscow seems to be wearing a duvet set I remember having. This is a classic T-shirt from the uh, from the, the open top bus in 1992. Uh, kick sportswear. Yeah, absolutely. That's my email from the uh, club shop. Uh, they are on it this year, aren't they? The club shop. <laughs> that is whoever landed in that mail out. There's nothing like a defeat followed three minutes later by an email from the club shop. <laughs> Buy stuff. Yeah, but they um, they've got the lovely uh, Lukic goalkeeping jersey as a t-shirt. Have they? Which, they like the diamonds, yeah, the, the rainbow diamonds. The segments, yeah, yeah with the yeah. The, Suddenly, we're all interested. Yeah, well, I, every now and again, I have a look, and then I thought, yeah, I probably will buy that. I like I, I like the stuff they've done it's for the scenery, where they've put about fifteen designs into one thing. They've been like, we'll have a peacock on it. And a stripe across the middle, <laughs> and then it can say your boa on the back, and then it can say like and script. And it can say like uh, European Cup final 1975 on the front. It can have the scripts on it. They're just like, they're... and then we'll name it after David O'Leary. <laughs> but still, no blue and yellow kit. Uh, the basics. I thought you put it 
you put it perfectly there before we are oh, I'm going to buy that aren't I? and you know you don't yeah. want it yeah oh, we've got but this is the time though lockdown I'm wearing some uh, I'm wearing some old club kit that I haven't dusted off in a long time because you can't wear it out of the house so you know now is the time we've got you might see you probably can't see the squad list because you're on your phone either here, but just to I can see Mendy Just to drive home the ridiculousness of it. We've got Mendietta, Sir Mike Whitlow, and Marco Del Vecchio all next to each other on a squad list. <laughs> so. And you're still in their playoff places. Yeah, we're fourth in the league now. Let's have a look at the table. Um, Our goal scored is disgusting, isn't it? 71 goals. Carlisle are now wow. second. It was Swansea before, wasn't it? So uh, if we win our game in hand, I'll tell you what, we're still in touch with second. We can still do this. Oh, so you're properly you're properly on for like playoffs and everything. Uh, you're properly on for the full defeat experience. I'm, I'm hoping we're going to avoid it, but I mean, it'll be a three a.m. tears at Wembley, won't it? That's what's going to happen. <laughs> I'm not sure I'll be ready for it. Well, the last time I spoke to you, Michael, you were saying, "Oh, we might get a few a few seasons in," but now I think mm. you to this one, aren't you? Yeah, it's a lot slower when you're playing by committee. We've discovered, and then there's loads of people online just asking <laughs> for like. Where's Sol Bamba and things? So you end up you end up spending a lot of time looking players up. I think when I played it by myself, I worked out I thought we'd we'd get through a few seasons, but it's all right. If you just want to play on your own, and all the nice people who are watching this and donating to charity and have raised like four thousand pounds just want to oh, stop and take the money it's back. All about, if that's going to make you happy, it's all about charity, isn't it? What about me? <laughs> Did you see Berardi then? By the way, just absolutely smacked it out of touch. No one, near, no one near him. Just turned around and smacked it out. Uh, How are you like, uh, they get them so quickly? That's exceptional. Right. I can just see sort of moving shapes. <laughs> I can see tiny little versions of you. Hey, John, you managed to get loads of uh, lead stuff into the sitcom as well, which was good. Enjoyed I that. I did, yeah. Well, we, we, slightly awkwardly, the episode with Chris Kamara, we um, we did try and get a Leeds player in. We tried to get uh, Liam Cooper in. And... Uh, I don't know how far it got at the club because the production team dealt with it. And I sort of said to them, look, obviously, I'm not going to stop you giving me the chance to meet a Leeds player. But equally, if, if it gets as far as Bielsa and he says no, then that's it. Don't push. You know, I'm not I'm not having anyone taken out. And I don't even think it got anywhere near that far. I think there was a sort of laugh down the phone. All oh, right. <laughs> now, the players, the players don't see their families. They run and they eat what he tells them to eat. And then they <laughs> they're not going to do your shitty little sitcom at any point. And I was secretly <laughs> delighted that that was the answer. <laughs> Chris Camaro wasn't bad. Though. No, it was good. So is, is that finished right. now? Because I saw it was it episode number six this week. Six went out this week, yeah. So um, Is that the end of it, or is there, are there more after that? I mean, we hope so. You know, If anyone watching wants to email Dave and just say how much they enjoyed it and how much they'd like an episode where Bielsa plays a sort of father figure to me and we meet and embrace and, um, you know. I, I, well, I, re I really enjoyed it. Yeah, Thank you really very good. much. That's good really of you. Uh, congratulations on that. It was really good. How, how much of it was like... Well while we're doing this. Let's oh, all be nice for oh, Thank you. I was going to say, how much of it was, was real? Because for anybody who's not seen it, um, Meet the Richardsons, it was on Dave, wasn't it? Because like, yeah. there's bits of it where you go, that's real. But you can tell it's obviously like... Proof scored in the like, last minute. Up versions. Just oh, to, well. Yeah, you know. Uh, did Seth Johnson go up injured before? He did, yeah. And the no, Johnson. Oh. What, well, yeah, uh, I, I, I amped, sorry, amped up versions of yourselves because there's a lot of it that seemed kind of real banter. Yeah, all the all the couch bits and most of the conversations are, are real because I'm not an actor and um, you know most of, like it's our real neighbours and parents and things. So we sort of had an idea of what we wanted to happen and then we recorded it um, until it was funny, basically because I can't learn lines and I can't play anything other than myself. So um, yeah. The strengths of it were because of my weaknesses, put it that way. If it looked natural, it's because I'm shit at acting and I can't learn lines. Yeah, if you can get paid for being yourself, then why not? Absolutely, and uh, let's hope that continues at a point when uh, anything is in my diary again. I mean, if you were to say to me now, we're going to carry on playing this game for the next six months, are you free? <laughs> Absolutely, I'm in. So let's let's push through to modern day. Let's catch up. I was, uh, I was booked in to come and see you at... Martin Highwood's thing, but that's obviously as yes. as everything in the world being cancelled. I had an email about it being rearranged at some point. 
Yeah, well, the difficulty is when do you rearrange something for? Because the last thing you want to do is put another date in and then take it out again. So at the moment, we're, we've got a sort of provisional date with the theatre um, and we've got something else in for April the 9th so that there's something we can uh, release. I'm going to do something. I think Martin will uh, announce that at some point, but we'll do something that will be released on April the 9th that isn't a gig. Um, but yeah, I mean, what can you say? It's pointless feeling sorry for any individual at this point is there it's very rare you can be sort of i actually think leeds fans are a better place than anyone now to feel this sort of vague sense of disappointment and global catastrophe but it's very rare you can be down and say well it's happening to everyone on the planet so what are you gonna do mm. still i mean a gl global pandemic is very leeds though isn't it it is yeah at least we've handled it better than liverpool you know at least mm. we haven't taken government money yet um, to pay our players. Are and, Liverpool uh, doing that as well? They have announced today that, yeah, they're furloughing their staff. Oh, you might not have seen this. If no, I've not seen them. In 2007. But, yeah, they're, they're furloughing their staff and uh, taking government aid to uh, pay their staff, which is a controversial decision. And uh, I wish them all the best with the uh, backlash. <laughs> which has been substantial, hasn't it? It's been substantial today online, that one. Yeah, I've just seen yeah. some. I think... Um, yeah, I think that's a decision that needs needs another locker. In the midst of it all, though, Henry Winter has uh, retweeted that we're doing this. Has he? Oh, so he's way. he's very helpfully thrown that into the uh, um, the Liverpool backlash. <laughs> Good old hand. Where are we looking at uh, financially then? Because um, I've got I've got some booze on hand. So if you've got a target set and we get to it, I'm willing to do something vaguely embarrassing or um, that might make me sick. <laughs> We didn't, we didn't really set a target, did we? But it's about four grand we've done, I think. Yeah, something like that. Three yeah, four grand. amazing. We'll pass four grand. They did, uh, the trust were already past their target of 10 grand before we started, and they've since upped it to 20, as if they're like putting the pressure on. Right. It's, it felt like a little bit of a Bates moment where it's like, oh, here we'll go, dear 10. You can give us 20. Um, so we're dealing with that. So we can get to 20. Come on, how far off 20 are we? Uh, uh, so we'll have a look I'll, I'll, I'll totally, deal with this yeah. team talk. Okay. I'm going, I'm, I'm going to tell them I'm just under 17 at the minute. Just under 17. Wow, that's amazing. Well done. I'm going to tell them. I know um, you have to do is. Uh, I know your family's to a point where it's going to take you a matter of weeks to get over it. Uh, it's fine. We've been together a long time now. Very, very low expectations. Nearly done. And I saw Phil Hay when I joined in at tea time. Uh, he said he's going to come back on about two in the morning. So that'd be an experience. <laughs> so he, claims. So he he's says. Be asleep, isn't he? Yeah. He had a big tumbler of whiskey at that point. I don't know what's going on in the Hay household. It looked like a big tumbler to you, but that was just a wee dram to Phil. <laughs> yeah, that's a man who's had some athletic paid foreign visits cancelled in it. That's a man. <laughs> he was meant to, he was meant to be going to Rosario, was uh, Phil. So in some oh, ways, wow. he's the real victim of this whole thing. <laughs> well, We've now he's given it. Surely he can get the Elsa in Weatherby now. So um, they saved a bit of money oh, there. We just... Come on. We've been given a financial incentive, by the way. Adrian Sheehan said, uh, All right, lads, 50 quid if we go up automatically, 25 if we win the playoffs, and 100 if we lose to Donny at Wembley. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if that's possible. Uh, oh, yeah, Donny just outside the playoffs. Right, mm. that's on. It, it's on. Although eight points off eight points off Carlisle now, so we could still do it. Yes, yeah, Daniel Hurst is pointing out we had drunk Phil Hay was ranting about how oh, Seven Hearts would smash this squad. The man was gone. <laughs> I have a scarf for Phil Hay. Actually, I bought him a heart scarf because we were going to meet up in uh, Edinburgh when I was there at the festival last year, and I found in a charity shop an old heart scarf. Um, and I've kept the price on it so he knows that even at the highest moment, even at the peak of your club's achievement, you're about three years away from a scarf in a charity shop for three quid. It's <laughs> a lesson for us all to learn there. Do you mean Beckford hat trick in this game, by the way? Just to appreciate that. They've just. They've just why we, Danny uh, Glover scored. It's bloody Danny Glover. <laughs> Looks nothing like. He's getting too old for this, surely. Well, like, <laughs> he's gone ginger. That's a surprise. That's, this, is, this is more. Ever more stark than Michael Jackson's transformation. <laughs> Have you talked at any point about the uh, 
the pundit and the man that Jermaine Beckford has become because uh, we've not really no. I'm blown away by him. I think he's exceptional. I think he's one of the best pundits in the country at the moment. He's nice as well. He loves. He loves he's us, a lovely man. As well. He's clear and he's passionate and he's informed. I feel like I'm proud of Jermaine Beckford generally. I feel like from when he joined us and kind of what he did and what he went on to do and playing in the Premier League and stuff. I just sort of, I just kind of always think, good on him, well done. Yeah. Because it. I know. I know. Someone of his talent was probably always destined to not be just doing the old windscreens and stuff. But it, and this is your chance to praise him. What are we going to say? Beckford's drawing the plaudits. Oh. Should, should we knock him down now? So he needs to keep his feet on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, feet on the ground, Jermaine. Yeah, I think that's important. Well, he's done nothing at this point, has he? <laughs> Apart from score twenty-five goals in thirty games, which is is he is he the league top scorer? He surely is. Let's have a look. I know we are. We're absolutely destroying it goals wise. Player stats, yeah. Jermaine Beckford six ahead of everyone else. Amazing. Some big names in there as well: Danny Graham, Simon Cox, Ricky Lambert. He's ahead of all of them. Oh, here's some. Because uh, the of light in here, I can't see his name. Uh, Alex. He did. They did not cancel the baby scan, and they're having a little girl. Oh, that's nice. There we go. Good what a news. great time for bringing a child oh, into the world. You can call her, you can call her Jermaine. I think that'd be perfect. Uh, I'm doing a really good job of sort of looking vaguely at the screen as if I know what's going on. This is the greatest acting performance of my career. I can't see a single thing. People seem to be surprised that you're on this, uh, John. They seem to think you must have. They they? Seem to think you should have some other work or something. When was your tour meant to start? Absolutely amazed. Yeah, well, there's something about clearing an entire tour out of the diary <laughs> TV series that frees you up with some. Talent. When was it meant to be? Because yeah. you were I, for ages. I could only really see you doing charity stuff, and then you seemed to put a proper tour in as well, which I was quite relieved at. I was worried you were just going to be spending all your money. Yeah, well, I do. Uh, when I'm warming up for a tour, I do charity gigs so that people can't ask for refunds, basically. So at the point you're at your weakest, you make sure that uh, the money goes somewhere good so people are guilt tripped into laughing and enjoying themselves. Um, pressure gets to Berardi, never. We've never seen yeah, that. A leading former Leeds player who's not been willing to out himself, by the way, just a leading former Leeds player has voiced his concerns about Gaetano Berardi's maturity and whether he deserves to hold down a first team place at the club. It's going to be uh, Kevin Nichols, isn't it? <laughs> He's doing perfectly well. He's got average rating of seven point two. Well, it's not. Either. God, I think what what age is he there, Berardi? Then He's nineteen. Yeah. Early 20. nineteen. Nineteen. No, I'm, I'm not having this. We can. We're going to. I'm going to tell him <laughs> the press. I'm defending to the hill. Delighted with his recent form. And so who got to meet him and do the photos when you uh, had him on square ball all of us we all turned up because we yeah, all we all to see him and touch him a bit yeah can find that if you want i'm going to uh, i'm going to ask him if he can recommend anyone as well potential new signing bring him a mate in uh, okay he's going to have a think about it don matteo hales beckford where did he... Legend. Don Matteo was he was on his way somewhere shit a while ago. Where's he ended up? He's got a Grim he's got a Grimsby. Look at that. Doesn't deserve that, does he? I mean I might have a tour date to sell in Grimsby at some point. Oh. So you know, if, if this dust ever blows over, I'm gonna be very careful. If Grimsby Auditorium come knocking, <laughs> if the Grimsby Arena want me, I'll be there. Here's uh here's us interviewing. You can see me and Michael in yeah. there. Oh, and some guy in the background looking bored. Of course, he's just wearing a black t-shirt. What? Oh, he looks fantastic in it. Let's go. Where's the uh... Lee Brown took these photos, by the way. There's... Oh dear! Imagine that at nineteen. <laughs> are you? Are you nineteen or is he? Um, oh God, I'm not nineteen. No God, he either hated me at nineteen. There is. It's taken me another twenty years on that to build a level of sort of professional profile where he might even look twice at me in a room. Nineteen-year-old me, I can't imagine. I just piss my pants the minute he walks in the room and run away crying. Rod, uh, Rod Wallace, 
Rod Wallace Arnold suggests we make him captain. Right, yeah, I could do. Yeah. Who's current captain? Uh, it's oh, it's that psycho, Kito, isn't it? This he's a Brazilian def- central defensive midfielder. We signed. We we he looks like a bit of a nutter, so we quite like him. We made him captain. Cause... How many bookings is he on? Um, only thirteen for the season. That's not bad. But yeah, he's got like a lot of twenty aggression, nineteen teamwork, eighteen tackling, eighteen marking, sixteen stamina. So he's like a he's just a relentless kind of. I suppose he's like he's like a more dangerous Andy Hughes. Is what we thought. And how much are you cheating? Show the joy of going back to that era as you can identify the players you need. Are you, are you um, picking purely on your knowledge and funny names? Well, I mean, Robert Lewandowski was recommended to us. <laughs> <laughs> and he does seem to be doing it. But he can't get ahead of Beckford, though. So. No. No. Although he is keeping uh, Becchio out of the team. Oh, yeah, we've got Becchio on loan as well. But he's rubbish, so... That's a bit of a shame. Oh, I did. That, that is be that the, if, That's the worst thing about playing these online football games when you've got to sell. Yeah, if we... I have to get rid of Luke Hayling on FIFA this year. Oh. And, uh, it breaks my heart. It breaks my Pain. Painful. Well, we've still got Andy Hughes for that reason, really. He's, he's just in the team and Prutton as well to an extent. Because, I mean, Neil Kilkenny, we've not done anything with, have we? He's played once. He's not, he's not transfer <laughs> listed. He's not doing anything. Ah, oh, just leave him there. He seems happy enough, doesn't he? He's not even complained, doesn't kill Kenny. Not bothered. He's just, he, as long as he's got some stuff to point out, he's all right. Your memories of that era are astounding because I went back when I knew you were doing this. I, I reread that sort of season in recap and I was at games that season. I can't remember a bit of it. I, I just blanked it. Just blanked it all out. That that era of, I mean, in fairness, at the time I was living in Swindon and I was drinking quite a bit. <laughs> so it may be that. That's had an effect on my memory. But... You and Billy Painter. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Why are we living in Swindon? It's a, it's a question really for a sort of a combination of therapists and counsellors and some of my family members to get together and, and deal with. Um, <laughs> logistically, I went sort of full Alan Partridge and I lived somewhere that was equidistant between Bristol and basically where I was living at the right. time. <laughs> what, was, what, was in, very... what was in Bristol and uh, London? Well, I was living in Bristol at the time, so I'd been to uni there, dropped out of uni. Um, that was where I was for the uh, playoff final defeat to Watford. Mm. That was a low point. Um, and then, yeah, I moved to Swindon because it was near London, near Bristol. Could get to Birmingham through the A34 link, you know, the A417, A419. <laughs> uh, straight down the 34 and onto the M3 if I was gigging in uh, Southampton and Portsmouth, you know. L- the irony is that I, I know exactly where you mean as well because my in my in laws live just that off Basingstoke way. Lovely, a great neck of the woods, some great A roads around there. Really bail you out if you're stuck on the motorway. Great, great accessibility for London and the south coast. Absolutely, and then once you're off the motorway, you're saving money on petrol as well. So you live in the supermarket, you're filling up at Sainsbury's, you're getting extra points. I'm I. Anyone who's using <laughs> Junction 12 for uh, Amesbury's on the M4 is a friend of mine, Charles Atkinson's. Why are you going to feel services? I'm, I'm, I'm never going to any services, am I? Let's be honest. These, these two know how tight I am. No. no. Not. There's nothing. Like, I've, I've filled up three times in a day, and this is recently, because I refuse to fill a tank at a service station. So I'll put six quid in, thinking, well, this will get me to that Morrison's, I know. <laughs> uh, it's a bleak look you get in a service station going in for six quid. <laughs> you can't have a mark of no, 25p in a litre. Just you're off the motorway. You're taking the piss. What do you think I am? I'll Google, I'll Google the supermarket. I'll take the time. Look you're not, you're, not, you're, you're not even a Yorkshire. You're speaking like a Yorkshireman and you're, you're not even <laughs> Yorkshire, are you? I'll tell you how tight I am yesterday. And we've got food in. I, I've been to Tesco. I ate a pot noodle yesterday that expired June 2018. Uh, I've gone full range. There's nothing, there's, there's, nothing to, there's nothing to expire, though, is there? Because it's just cardboard well, noodles. Yeah, there's no food in there. So, um, you know. And, and at the time, I'm all right. I'm going to the toilet a lot, sure. Uh, what else is there to do? Schedule a few more toilets. Well, how are you doing on the toilet roll? Oh, we're all right. Well, luckily, I because um, I'm uh, what you'd class an eco-tosser, I... Um, I use a company called Who Gives a Crap I've seen him. who uh, make recycled toilet paper and they give their proceeds to uh, charity. And they only deliver by their pallet anyway. So uh, at any one point, we've got 300 toilet rolls. <laughs> um, 
And I'm you're happy to like, recommend their work now to the seven people watching. Um, you're like a Hebden Bridge crack dealer now in this day and age, aren't you then? Oh, gee, if people found out where I got my stash, I'd be in trouble. <sighs> Especially if it's sustainable, there'll be in the Calder Valley, there'll be a hemp toilet like roll. a shot. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's made of bamboo. <laughs> It'll be there. The softest of all materials. The best. I've got a box of about five hundred square balls that are a last resort for me in, in the bog roll. <laughs> the map paper stock is going to really see me through. I think. Oh, for fuck's sake, they're winning. Not. Not a picture of well, Berardi, though, no. would you? You couldn't do it. You'd have to draw a line. How are we going to turn this game around? playing badly as a defender, and we don't really have defenders. Uh, can Richard Keogh turn us around? Matt Heath is coming off for Richard Keogh. Oh, I feel like this is desperate. And Richard Darren Ambrose is coming out left back. Have we got any room for Lewandowski um, since we need goals? Oh, we just scored one. Huntington, I think. I, oh no, it was. It was. Uh, right, do you know what, I'll make these changes anyway. Fuck it. Let's see what happens. We've now got. We've now got an attacking midfielder at left back. But we'll see. You. Uh, you also need to resize uh, Moylan at some point. Again. He's shrunk. I've oh, gone big or small again. He's gone I'm small. I've, um, apparently, uh, um, apparently, who gives Dallas? a crap about a stock? So when Stuart Dallas about thirteen now, or is he? No, he's not on it, unfortunately. Option. No, yeah. it's not. Okay. We've come close to car trafficking in this, actually, looking at a few. Yeah, Luke Ayling's 14. Yeah. He is on it, though. Him right. and Kyle Batley are in the Arsenal under 18s team together, so that's that's nice. Oh, oh Beck, how's Beck for missed that? That was that. Bartley and Janssen, that's, that's, that's as happy as I've been as a Leeds fan for a long time. Oh. Sorry, it's getting tense now at the end. Yes, isn't it? Actual football. Last How minute. many oh, minutes left? Fuck's sake. Fuck's sake. Hang on. Remember Birmingham. Remember Birmingham. It could be 5 4. Four minutes of injury time. Come on, Leeds. Oh, Mendieta over the bar. Oh. For Christ's sake. This has happened so many times. Wow. I mean, did, was bringing Richard Keogh on a good idea? Did better than Matt Heath. Was leaving Lewandowski on the bench well, a good idea? Two's let us down there. Berardi, six. He's a child. <laughs> Don't you There's join a bit the... much tension between the three of you in terms of their management. You seem to be getting on well as a trio well. so far. A bit of sex sexual tension when Moscow stripped into <laughs> shorts and a T-shirt earlier. <laughs> Somebody uh, tweeted before saying, Michael, you missed this, you were away. But they... Uh, uh, so their friends pulled an all-nighter on Championship Manager 20 years ago were arguing about it yesterday. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Marina Promise got a somewhat controversial goal. What is your opinion? I'm going to say I think Brighton need to lighten up a bit. <laughs> That's... Uh... <laughs> just need to calm yeah. down, mate. If I was Matt Click, I'd just do the pouring of water down the back. You need to calm down, pal. <laughs> Anyways... Hey, John, you know with Lucy being from Hull, um, do you get yes. any mileage out of that from a football perspective? Get so we were, at the, um, we were at the home game together. I took her to Leeds Hull at home, um, which, as you can imagine, was a wonderful couple's day out. <laughs> and the away game I went to myself. Uh, she didn't She didn't come to the away game, but um, she's softening. Um, she's, she's turning. I shouldn't say this in case there's any Hull fan watching, but she is. she's up. Up for switching, I think. She's had a sniff of what it's like to join a proper club. A proper club. I've watched the uh, that Holloway game. It's the, it's the only game I've got left on my Sky Plus. I've watched it twice since we went into lockdown. <laughs> Just, it's the most recent memory I have of football being a, a going concern. Um, I can't, it feels like a year ago now. Yeah. Did she, uh, did she not miss? The uh, mold by the tigers dance is that the one thing that's keeping her? <laughs> no, Can't she's not let that go. I, I, I do that around the house a fair bit, uh, as you can imagine. And uh, yeah, she's not a massive fan. The atmosphere at that game was awful. That was uh, mm. for, for their fans. I felt for them. But once you've been in the shit as a fan, you, it's very difficult, unless you properly hate a club, to take joy in their um, demise. And that it was just. <laughs> 
<laughs> Seems that was one of the good parts, I thought. We are the epitome of. I always say you can sort of rate the way you hate a football team by how pleased you are to see kids crying with face paint on. And you know, if if the image of a, chi- a child in tears makes you laugh, you know. And, yeah. and we're the epitome. That lads, that lad is still ingrained in my mind. That the tears streaming down, and he's probably what fifty now. And that is still the defining image of Leeds' relegation. Whereas well, a Man U fan crying in the face paint, you just think, yeah. I mean, not so much now, actually, because if it's a, if it's a child, if oh, it's a child now, if, even in the oldest, if it was a kid, you think, yeah, you're glory hunting little bastard. You cry. You do cry. <laughs> yeah. There's worse to it come. It's quite nice, though. Though. The amount of Man United fans who've fallen out of love with football in recent years. Oh, is it? I've I've had this qualm with sort of Arsenal fans. There's a lot of comedian Arsenal fans who you know talk about their season as if it's a disaster because they're third. It's um, very difficult to feel. It's not that I'm upset because we're not winning anymore. I just don't think I just don't really like. I think football as a game is just not not as good as it used to be, and all that sort of stuff. No, but that's part of being a Leeds fan and going full circle in the insanity. I think I'm at that point now where I'm able to say. I actually think that what we've been through allows me to enjoy football more. You know, I think once you've seen that where you're at isn't as important as the game itself and interacting with mates, I mean, that is absolute bullshit. I don't believe that for a second, but I'm happy to say that to any mate. Well, you know, once you've been in League One, you appreciate it's the act of going to a game and being with your mates, you know. The reality is that that's all, bullshit, that is all you've got, you've got at that point. Yourself. So you just cling to it, don't you? Because you're like, well, at least we can still... Do this, I suppose. No, I, yeah, I think there's, there's, a... there's truth in it. No, there's truth in it because the Premier League's bollocks. And as you said the other yeah. day, Michael, we, I, I want to get promoted because the, <laughs> I want to get promoted. Not I asked about the Premier League when it's there. I'm sure we'll hate it because it's a dreadful product. But thank you. We need uh, to be there, don't we? Dead bloke on Twitter. It didn't take me long to scroll through his tweets. To find this glory from ten years ago. Right, someone has pointed yeah. out. Get get Ben between the sticks for his debut. This is uh, just John Few. This is Ben Imerson. We've signed. He's watching the stream now. Is Ben? He's uh, he was at Stock. Right. He was a young Stockport oh, wow. goalkeeper. He's on the. He's getting in the team ahead of Simon Mignolet, who we signed as well. He's also costing us a thousand pounds, isn't he? Wow. But this is so that um, he said that he'll give a tenner to. Uh, the charity yeah, this if is we definitely what we've been trying to get out of since the start it's we're still in it it's Ken Bates money though yeah. technically isn't yeah, it it's fine I would sacrifice everything I've achieved in my career to be a footballer on championship manager so fucking right starstruck welcome any other requests for uh, um, let's any other requests for game. a start in this game or shall I just pick some random players Well, if there's a chance of us going straight up, then, you know, take it fairly Oh, no, this is, this is FA Cup. So this is... Oh, OK. Yeah, give Whitlow uh, on the pitch. The keeper's a young lad. He's going to need some experience to guide him. So I think Very a true. knight of the realm will uh, we'll help him out. Can I just check? Uh, I think my screen is... Are you either not done anything from... Uh, is mine moving still? I'm looking at the Coca-Cola League One fixtures. Oh, yeah, so am I. Oh, all right. Okay. okay. I'm not doing that anymore. Let's try. I'm going to. Oh, here we go. Stop sharing. I'll come back. Well, it's now oh. see you two bigger. Boys. Uh, share. Oh, this is nice. I can see the full kits now. Right. Hello? Can you see it again now? Can you see uh, Robert Snodgrass? There we go. Yes. Okay. Yes. Right. Excellent. Cool. That's a relief. I'm going to go for a wee. Uh, is that all right? Is that allowed? That's all right, yeah. No. We've been Sit down. We've been ourselves the whole time, to be honest. <laughs> well, I, can, so. I can just go under the table. I'll be back. All right. I'm going to put... Apparently, where, are, uh... where, where are we in the league? I was just going to say, it doesn't look like it froze on the public stream. It yeah. was just for us on yeah. Skype. Ah, it's just no, the, the okay. screen share bit on Skype went a bit wrong. I think they're probably not quite used to them being run, having run for 12 hours. Although I've been, I've been in some terrible meetings at work over the years, but even they never never quite added up to that. We've had a, a tweet from Maka who's saying, bit pissed, did you ever realise you tried to sign the wrong Piatti? <laughs> no. 
Is that the one that Chilino ended up buying yeah. for uh, Cagliari? Well, which one should we have signed? <laughs> oh, right, just a different one. The other one. The other one. <laughs> the other one. <laughs> well, we didn't sign him anyway. We've managed to con Chilino into splashing some money out on someone useless. Hey, it's not even the right guy. Who is he? Why did they want him? Why did they... Hey, you. Why it's did they want you? not even Danny Glover. <laughs> oh, what's that noise? I don't know. It's not me. John's toilet. Has he got... Could be. Apparently, uh... <laughs> Apparently, they're through 17k on the food bank. 4.4 thousand from us. good. <laughs> oh, brilliant. I mean, we're 2-0 down here, but it doesn't really matter, does it? Let's just get out nah. of this stupid league. Get out of that gospel second for them. town. No one. I think it's getting late now. I read Heinz Muller as Helen Mirren in their net, which is... <laughs> Which is not right. <laughs> oh, well. An, an unlikely, an unlikely <laughs> keeper. Ah, oh, 3-0. I mean, we've got... I'm a bit embarrassed to be losing 3-0, to be honest. I thought... They've been... They've been, at the wrong time. They've been trying to jack our swag all game, haven't they? We oh. were in for a player they wanted in. We were in for a player they wanted in. 4-0 at half-time feels a little excessive. Yeah, and wow. Ben has pointed out that he's not having it's the best ben in of debuts. Of course it is. <laughs> oh, yeah. it's Ben. Yeah, all right, Ben, Should... you fucker. <laughs> this is costing us a thousand pounds. Oh, he's not playing as badly as Adriano. Oh, I don't know. Should just bollock all of them. I expect nothing yeah. less than a win. Embarrassed. Five games, Embarrassed. five goals. I want. <laughs> we scored four in the last one. Surely they'll they'll come back from this now. It's already caused to sack the keeper. Oh, he's let another one in, Ben, for fuck's sake. Uh, Are we going to find him? Can we haul him off? Uh, Put Whitlow in right, goal. Mignolet's going to get his debut. Why is Whitlow in goal? Can you get him to warm up first? Can you get him to warm up in front of the fans before he comes on? <laughs> And uh, where's, where do you want Whitlow to play, Moscow? It's your choice now. You want Whitlow goal. to play in goal? Yes, please. Put him up front. Put him up front. All, all right, yeah. Actually, all put right. him up front. Let's see if we'll get... Yeah. Lewandowski doesn't know what he's doing, does he? Uh, tackle Fred or someone. I'll put Berardi to left back. That'll do. That'll do. <laughs> that'll, are we at that point now? That'll do. Fucking hell. Well, five 0 down to Barnsley in the cup. I think that will do is appropriate at this point. It says, it says Ben Imerson oh, sadly died on the way back to his home planet. Did Whit Whitlow must have set this up? Kill Kenny for saucer. Beautiful. Right, fifteen minutes. Big fifteen minutes here, lads. Oh. What what, what do you think is going to happen at? 6-1 down. Uh, Brian Ferry scored. Yeah. For fuck's sake. Adam points out Barnsley are going to be selling DVDs at this game. <laughs> VHS down there, isn't We're it? We're going to buy so... them all and make Ben watch them. Should we, should we, should we release Ben on the free transfer after this? Yeah. Hey, yeah. Well, they, well, they do say if you love something, let it go. After He's apologising. He's apologising in the chat, but I suppose at least a tenor is going to some charity or something, isn't it? <laughs> hey, just, <laughs> they are feeding the hungry because of Ben's fuck Oh, Daryl Murphy scored at least. That's that's good. With low assist. Has he, has he stopped whinging yet, Daryl Murphy? Because he wanted to leave, didn't he? Yeah, he still wants to leave. To be fair, uh, we've got two different Bens. Ben, who is in goal is one, but then Ben, who is putting, he says he's now putting £15 in instead of 10 is a different Ben. I don't know if they're related. But to be clear, the, the, the real Ben who's playing in goal in this game is watching... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ben Imerson, he's apologised. Um, it's eccentric. It's not really in, good enough though, is it? <laughs> let's, let's get one final scouting, one final coach report on him, and then... Uh, 
Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, he's still saying he's got an unpredictable style of goalkeeping. Mike, Mike Whitlow has now played with him, so let's see what he says. Yeah. Yes. Seen him up close. It would be interesting to know if the real man is watching how he comes about an eccentricity rating of 16. Surely someone must have asked him. You know, yeah. like a Slugworth from Willy Wonka. Someone must have sidled up to him on the training ground and gone, do, do you do what you're told or he was a renegade? Yeah, Ben. Turn up in clown, clown trousers or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Let's have a little bit of uh, knowledge about your style of play, Ben. If you still um, have that. Do you think the has ever signed a play with an eccentricity of like three? Apart from inheriting Black like, Berardi and. Well, Casilla, to be fair. Yeah, I'm trying to think who had it at Chile and stuff. He's always, he must have had a few awkward customers over the years. Yeah. yeah. There's been a Twitter backlash as well. Um, Andy Greenway saying, 5-0, it's our keeper's fault. Rehash of the chant versus Huddersfield Town season. Do you remember <laughs> that one as well? And then um, Mindo saying, uh, Michael, DSB what? out. That's you, Michael. You specifically singly, singling you out here. Um, conceding six to Barnsley. I'm going to organise a protest for the next time. Right. On your shoulders, this one, boy. Right. Should we just release? I'm going to release Ben. I'm going to throw him right under the bus to save my own skin here. Oh. <laughs> You're not going to offer him to clubs, see if we get some money for him. He's unwilling to do that, so... Uh, right. Yes, you can see um, You're going to get 45 grand here. That's, That's a lot of good. money to earth. I would be 18. Good. I'm sure Ben would take that now. So he has to give that straight back to the food bank. Sure. Yeah, Ben, go on and give £45,000 to the yeah. food bank. <laughs> we just get, that's Ken Bates' money we've just given you there. So, I mean, I feel bad. I feel bad for Ben. He's like a Mansur Asumani, isn't he? Comes in one game, disaster, shipped out. <laughs> oh, poor Ben. We'll remember him. He will. What, what was his surname? Uh, Anderson. Current. A bit Current like Anderson, but everyone hates him. <laughs> <laughs> Did we look for Gilfie at any point? Sigurdsson. Is that Anderson? Gilfie Gilfie Anderson, there is. Oh, short hair. Speaking of, speaking of which, speaking of which, it's about him. Get a sore head from a hat. There we go. These are the struggles the people want to hear about. Michael Norman and thirteen hours in for charity. Oh. <laughs> Take hat off. His hair is falling out. It's all stuck in the hat. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put it back on. It might stick. In fact. In fact, I'll tell you what, I'm going to go and, uh, as I've just released Ben, I need to go and reassure some of the other young lads. So I'm just going to, uh, going to get, I'm going to get on that level. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you turned up at the local park, you'd be arrested. Hey kids. I'm here, I'm here to talk to you about exactly. the dangers of drugs. I've got my tape measure. I'm here to make sure you're two metres apart. <laughs> I've been sent by the government. Don't worry about that. <laughs> the, uh, the person asking what the hell it is I'm wearing. Classic Champions Championship 92 t-shirt. Tom. There you go. Look at that. My mum was right when she said I'd grow into it. <laughs> there was you're no chance there to be... Well. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I got my first ever lead shirt. It was a, a large one. It was when I sat my eleven plus. My mum got me the uh, the away strip. As a, it didn't matter whether I passed or not. She said Aww. she was proud of me for trying. And, and did <laughs> did you? Which shirt was it? Pizza Italia um, in uh, Lancaster. I did pass, as it turned out. Yeah, and um, set me on the path to some really unhappy times. <laughs> Just goes to show you can be uh, academically where you want to be, and uh, really. Why not did you drop out of uni, be. by the way? Which? Oh, I was crying a lot and watching the tweenies. Um, <laughs> shouldn't, it shouldn't, it shouldn't laugh. It did, I developed, developed a real fixation with the tweenies. When you've got a favourite tweenie at the age of nineteen, you've really got to ask if you're getting the best out of the education you're paying for. And um, which was yeah. your favourite tweenie? Uh, Jake. I remember Jake. Obviously. And I'm Jake. He used to sound like that, didn't he? Something like that. And I. Yeah. 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 Milo, Fizz, Bella, and Jake, of course. And uh, Doodles mm. the dog. And um, 
you know, I, I found some of them a bit full on. I admired the sort of naivety of Jake. You know, he, he committed to the games just just for the joy of being there. I always felt Milo was trying to get something out of it. You know, he knew it was a vehicle for him. Jake just there, you know. And I, I went on to to meet the person who did the voice for Milo, and um, was very starstruck. Bob, Bob Golding, Golding. Uh, did a show about uh, Eric Morecambe, one of the best shows I've seen live. Morecambe the play. He doesn't do it anymore, but it was exceptional at the time. And, which uh, uh, which Leeds show was it, by the way, John? Sorry. That would that have got... been the Thistle Hotel's Blue and Yellow Away, um, oh. which I have re-bought as an adult. And I'll tell you, I paid a fuck of a lot more for it as an adult than it would have been worth at the time. I think Dan's gone to retrieve one. Yes. There we are. Nice. Yes, that's the one. That's the one. I still have the... Um, I've still got the the one I bought at the time. I'll try it on now, see if it fits. Fits up on the wall there. So this is my original from that era. Um, So bear in mind, I've had this shirt since I was 11 years old. I'm not expecting it to fit the way it did then. I'll probably step off camera just to retain some dignity. It's probably a step to the side just to try it on. Oh, that's zip. that zipping nice. Well, that's the onesie coming down. Oh, <laughs> dear me. Theatre of the mind. I'm currently wearing as well, it has to be said, a beautiful referee's kit. <laughs> oh, no very thing. nice. The epaulette on the uh, Champions <laughs> League... I just absolutely fell in love with that, so I uh, bought a referee's kit. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Fairly happy with that as a fit. How's that? That's, that's good. That's, that's not good bad, stuff. isn't it? That's not a bad return on the 11 year old you. Eddie asks, good set of kits. Good set of kits, please. Have you still got the middle of the thistle? Eddie asks. Which is a good question. The, uh, it's no, the middle of the this, uh, classic floor. That went. You see, my, um, the edge of my bit there just starting to peel off near the thistle. Yeah, when you, well, as a kid, I would just pick at it. You know, I never knew what I was doing. So I would just pick at them. And once they came loose, I'd enjoy... They were sort of like spots. I'd just enjoy picking them off. <laughs> I know better now. What came before the Essex kits? Was it Admiral? Yes. Yeah, it's the vomit kit that I was wearing before. Because these, these felt like a, a leap forward. These ones, when we got these ASICS kits, I remember seeing that one that you've got on, John, and this one, the blue and yellow one, and going, oh, I love those. The fabric on that white one, there's no sublimated. It's just like real thick silk. Very exciting for next year as well, isn't it? I think we've got some good kits coming next year. It shouldn't matter when you're uh, when you're a grown-up, but it still does, doesn't it? Absolutely. Well, it's that thing we were saying earlier. When you see it, you think, oh, I'm going to get that. The, the grey and pink shirt this year, I knew the minute I saw it, I was going to buy it. And I hated myself for it instantly. And I held out until Christmas. And then I bought it. Uh, you see, I'm doing full Michael Norman today. I'm waiting for the end of season sale, if the yeah. end of the season ever comes. Some people who were uh, watching the game pointed out that Matt Heath has scored from another corner. Oh, Christ, there's a game going on. <laughs> So how many games left in the season before we get to playoffs or going up? I say we broadly have joined in for the last 15 minutes. After I'd r- I hours. would rather talk about kits, but I feel we have to acknowledge Matt Heath's. Yeah. Somebody says, John, did Rob Beckett really get your Pixar gig? Can you do the voice? I don't know what that means, but I'm asking. That's a reference to the uh, sitcom and... Um, Kangaroo? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I can't remember what I said now. They've taken the princess to Drexen Gap. Um, and, uh, well, you'll have to wait for Series 2, um, as will I. So, <laughs> And that'll be sometime in 2023 when things become viable again. But uh, thanks for asking and thanks for watching it to the mm. end. That was... It's all available on UK TV Player as well. I genuinely think, and this is um, 
the sort of thing I shouldn't reveal, but there was a rating spike for episode, I think it was five, which was the Chris Kamara one. And I said to Lucy, and I said, I think that is genuinely because that episode is largely about Leeds United. Yeah. A lot of Leeds United fans have watched that episode because it's got Chris Kamara in. So series two will be heavily Leeds United based because Dave have realised, put Leeds stuff in, you get some extra viewers. <laughs> some people are, it's being described as a cracking sitcom in the comments here. People also want to tell yeah. Michael that he's yeah, muted right. himself. <sighs> the prick. Uh, welcome hell. back. I was just been chatting away. I thought you were ignoring me. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I must be getting some shit as well. It's not Twitter. No, to be honest. Some abuse. Come um, on. Not really, to be honest. I haven't really, seen any your negative bastard. I'll find it because what'll happen is I'll leave you and I'll go to bed and I'll search the Twitter feed and I'll see it and then I'll have to log back on even more <laughs> pissed and take people on face to face. Well, there was somebody who, when we when we tweeted to say that you were on who did tweet back saying "fuck John Richardson." <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Somebody's saying they've watched episode five and none of the others. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the bike. Usually getting a dip to watch the other series, so I'll take it. I'm assuming that's the Chris Kamara one. I think so. I think it is, yeah. It's, it's the one where I do the penis dance, whichever. You surely don't get an awful lot of, of hate online, do you? I know everyone gets some, but... I don't get as much as I think I deserve... Um, have I got news for you? That's always yeah. the one. Um, you know, stuff is fairly uh, nondescript, but uh, there's a certain element of the left and right wing who. Uh, what's fascinating about it is you. I was trending on Twitter the last time I did have I got news for you, and it was simultaneously people on the right saying I was a whining liberal, and people on the left saying I was a uh, neo bloody right scumbag. <laughs> It's, it's always it's an exciting. Kind of, it's, it always goes that way on BBC debates, doesn't it? You get a number of people saying that it's like a, a liberal lefty club, and then a lot of other people saying it's basically the mouthpiece for the Conservatives. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. I quite like uh, Kevin has tweeted at me just to say, uh, Who's this John fella? Lovely. It's with an H as well. It's... And I would like, I'd like you to answer that question, Moscow, now. I'd like you to tell him who I am. In, uh, uh, I'll, just, I'll just say I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it seems nice. Sort of like, sort of guy who abandoned working man's club or something. <laughs> There's another message. Uh, somebody says, I think you're punching above your weight with Lucy, Simon thinks. And can I, just I don't know why they're tweeting at me to tell me this. I don't know. I've had quite enough of those messages. I'm very aware my wife is more attractive than I am. Okay. Um, Simon, he knows. Thing that allowed you to have a chance. I think so, yeah. I think that's what's held. <laughs> there it is. So, um, yeah. I've well, met a couple of men from Hull. So, yeah, you, you, you were... You... Wow. That, that's the start of a long story. That's the start of a long story. <laughs> we that. <laughs> that torrid yeah, night in the, the travel lodge. Just on the A63. <laughs> it, was, it, it was not what I was hoping for. <laughs> well, being tram, man. It's basically a subsidiary of Leeds, isn't it? I mean, I, I do love the city, and it's um, I've had some lovely times out there. But I noticed we've slipped down the table since um, we started talking. Are we fifth oh, now? I think that cup game might have mm. might have knocked us back. So we've got a game in hand on most people. This is why we were trying to get out yeah. of it earlier, wasn't it? So thirty-four. We've got how many games left? Ten or twelve? Yeah, something like that. We would. We had. We had the still had the yeah, fifteen thir- points. We thirteen games left. Probably. David says that his lass, who's been mad at him for watching this all day, has watched it since John came on. (laughs) Ah, welcome. Welcome. And uh, something I don't really understand is Taskmaster going will free up some budget, John. I trust your agent's (laughs) already on it. (laughs) Wow, that is that's some proper industry insider uh, knowledge there. Yeah, so Taskmaster was the highest grossing channel on Dave, uh, the show on Dave, and has recently moved to Channel Four. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, well, yeah. That could guarantee. There's people are asking Series 2. I think you said that before, that you want one. Uh, yeah, I think, Dean I, think was asking I think we're about there. You know, it's um, it's obviously a tense time to be asking a channel about the second series when uh, yeah. no work is happening anywhere on the planet other than emergency life-saving uh, work. So I'll put myself on the back burner for now. I'm not going to fire that email off just yet. Let the nurses and doctors do their work, and then it'll be time for us all to focus on John Richardson. 
And the, the, the worst bit about being on the cusp of a second series is you find yourself doing partridge, I presume, in your head. <laughs> Give me a second series, you shit. Smell my cheese, you mother. Um. <laughs> it, it, Forrest are running away with this division as well. So your mates with Matt Ford, aren't you? So uh, how much to see yes. hate leads, by the way? He'll be he pleased. Oh, massively, doesn't he? Because he got really chippy with us on Twitter after. Was it Roof who punched that ball in? The Roof handball, really. That was, that was ace. In a way that I still draw great pleasure from now. That absolutely boiled his piss. That handball. It was wonderful. But you look at you know the start of this season, how they didn't get battered, you know. Yeah, this yeah, season, this season last, we start, start the year with yeah. this season. I mean, we hammered him, and that became a sort of sign of things to come for those first sort of games when it didn't quite click and we were battering teams and not scoring. But um, yeah, he was very upset by the handball. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what it's all about, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, he barely brushed his hand. Yeah. It's still a light diversion. And he took to take the artistic, you know, he, he understood, I think, Kamar football as, a, as an entertainment medium. And yeah. Chose to provoke some debate. I still don't know why he left. You must know this. Have you asked Phil? Probably he, just mon money, so, I think, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, loads of money and chocolate. And he well, likes mayonnaise on chips. Because <laughs> they're paying Bamford like 30 odd grand a week, I presume, um, that Roof would have wanted parity with that. And he was somewhere below that. Because he was still on a Chilino contract, so they were never going to agree. So I think they I just think chose to cash in. Yeah. Oxford, did we? Yeah. When's the last time our top earner was our best player? I wonder. Mm. Oh, there's the question. Kiko yeah, now? No? Kiko, Bamford, it was Steve Morrison for years, wasn't it? It's, mm. it's basically Jesus always been a really. Like, a really un uh, uh, coming from <coughs> the Premier League, it must have been Gary Kelly, I guess, or Eric Backer or someone was earning that. Ian Rush must have been on a big wage because he came on a free transfer, didn't he? Yeah, sure. Robbie Fowler. We still paid his wages when he was at Man City, didn't we? Just to be to be kind. I've got that. Yeah, I'll Ian never forget oh, yeah. finding out the, the the day we stopped paying Terry Venables. I can't remember where I was when I heard that information, but I was a lot <laughs> older than I should have been. Aaron Moy is in the Bolton under 18s. That's surely not the same guy, is it? There can't be He's many Australian, isn't he? He is, yeah. Hmm. No. Are we signing him? The, he's okay. still going on about us being disappointed about our performance in the Johnson's Paint Trophy. For fuck's sake. Let it go. <laughs> Bait's all over, isn't it? Oh, oh. We could have used that paint to Massive repaint the East Ham. This is uh, This is huge for us. Let's just check it. Check it. I'm going to look at that. I'm going to, I'm going to remain silent while you play <sighs> possible for this. That squad yeah, I've got the is ridiculous. As well. Let's uh, pair that back a bit. Uh, so we've got a defensive midfield problem here. Um, but sick pot in here is our only other defensive midfielder. <sighs> Keep mm. it. And he's a right moody get, isn't he? Uh, everyone else is doing all right. Right. We win. Yeah, you see, I love John's all right. Like, oh, I better stay quiet and say how the decision making process. I have no idea what team you just fucking. <laughs> We're just trying to get through. <laughs> no, let's be honest. It's... Well, we also want to well, try and win the damn any, thing. Any say. I think it gives us our best chance of winning. The less involved you are. A few cans now. A few cans now. He's become a megalomaniac. It's like the late Brian Clough. I do still have the ability to take over his screen I'm at some point. Twat any fans who come and have a go at me here as well. I'm ready for it. But then what you have to have your the, uh, meet them later and kiss them. What is the plan regarding alcohol for the three of you now? Because it's a long yeah, night. Yeah, I'm not sure. Well, we started. So you'll finish. So, so we'll finish. I haven't had any any alcohol yet. I've just been on the softies so far. We're trying to go at a steady last. pace. Oh, we're taking the yeah. lead. Is that Matt? Is that Matt Heath in the corner? Matt Heath. Again. Look at this. It is as well. He scores uh, the same goal every single week. It's almost like uh, we've got these players exceptionally trained. They've got Andy Robinson playing. They've got uh, De Vries. Uh, Darren Prattley, we were linked with him for age as well, weren't we? 
Jason Scotland. Was he top scorer in that league? I Come mean, on. You build you build this up as a, my, a massive game, and then it's just like, did we ever get linked with Michael Prattley? Dan Marsham, <laughs> if this is where you're at, says, can we finally put his internal debate to rest? Ten duck-sized hockey days versus one Steve Evans-sized Steve Evans. Who wins? <laughs> Duck sized ten duck sized versus one Steve Evans sized Steve Evans. Steve Evans. I think you've got a back Steve Evans there, haven't you? He's just squashing, isn't yeah. he? <laughs> girth, isn't it? Pure girth. He's a man who's had a lot of Chinese. He's gonna see that crispy duck. He doesn't care if it's Dave Hockaday. And, uh... It's very hard, isn't it? I was at his first game and I <laughs> It's, it's an avenue of comedy that put it this way. I would try and avoid, but when you see him walk across a pitch, you can't have. What else is there to say? What else is there to say about the manager we've just taken on than the way he looks walking across the pitch in a tracksuit? I mean, and uh, well, he said oh. we hadn't won at home for months, had we? And he said, "No, I'm going to change that first thing I do." And it was when uh, Blackburn scored after 18 seconds, wasn't it? <laughs> and then got another one on eight minutes just for the we've just, just gone two up measure. by the way do I, shall I make us a bit more defensive we do keep throwing away leads don't we yeah somebody was saying before it's because we keep leaving tired players on so anybody under 70% yeah. needs coming off and if we don't have enough uh, substitutes I think we just hold them off everyone looks alright so far Okay. how do I go about sponsoring the people that have watched this for 20... There must be people who have watched a good 18 to 20 hours of this. Oh, Jason Scott, has gone. Uh, yeah, I don't know. What happens when you're if you've been watching this, if you... great, ta- great tactical move, well, Michael, by the way. Uh, yeah. Let's tighten right. things up and concede right. immediately. Right. Right. Oh, yes. Oh, hang on. That was Shut working. Yeah. Shut it. Yeah. Shut yeah. it, all you. <laughs> So we're back to where we were. No worse off. Yeah, well done, right. Michael. Beck. Beckford's in the air. Beautiful. Oh, I'm just... That's not waste. That's right. Was... Mendieta's not playing well. Oh, for... Right. Three. T- I feel like Michael Get is taking off. a of this emotionally more than you two. Get Goldburn off. Um, we've not really got anyone to take him off for. Richard Keogh. Richard Keogh. Anybody. He's knackered. Richard Keogh. If it must be. Oh, my God. I've got Richard Keogh playing at left-back. That's your call, Moscow. Anthony's saying, don't go too defensive. Keep it mid-range when you take a lead. Is it mid-range? Or have we got too much treble? I'll put it a bit more attacking. Cut the base. Lift the treble. (laughs) I don't know what that means. (laughs) Tweak the mid-range. What's wrong with you? (laughs) Could do it. Move What's the woofer. All right, we get it. Near the tweeter. So three, two. Ten minutes. How long left? Uh, about to equalise. This uh, always happens. You just stop being such a defeative bastard. Defeat. Mendes is not playing very well, and he's a bit tired. Let's uh, let's put Snoddy on instead. Defeatist. Defeatist well was the word well I'm looking for. That I could find. Very proud of you. <laughs> I've been sat, been sat here looking at your great. face for f- fucking 12 hours. <laughs> Tired. How are you finding uh, a defeat, Michael, that you can't financially <laughs> gain from? Um, <laughs> Who do you think's getting the money that's supposedly uh, going to this food bank? <laughs> I'm so, uh, uh, we've, we've done it, we've done it, we've yes. done it. We've yes. done it. Come on. Oh, boys. Right. So that puts us, well, we're 10 points behind them, but with a game in hand. Big win, though. Sensational, lads. Sensational. Yeah, we'll catch them. Not you, Keo. I feel like I should be here driving some sort of financial uh, you know, <laughs> food bank. Do you want to set a target and I'll do something? It feels like. Uh, what do you want to do? Uh, Let's have a look where we are now, yeah, then. Do, I'll have a look where we are. Where are we at financially? 17,000. I'll take a dare, you know, I'll take a challenge. If anyone's watching. Let's let's see if anyone's gonna uh if anyone's yeah, gonna if anybody in the in the chat suggests something that John will do and then what happens then? You get sponsored to do it. Let's set a target, where are we at? 
Set, we're at seventeen four at the minute. Oh, I see what you mean. Right. So if you want to hit a particular number, it's quite difficult, isn't it, to think of a challenge because you, we're, we're all social distancing, um, and you've presumably got a sleeping child inside your house. Uh, well, I've so I've, I've told I've told Lucy that I may feel unwell tomorrow. <laughs> But I'm also very aware it's a bad time to ask people for money, so I'm not. I don't want to set an unrealistic financial target because there's not a lot of money knocking about. Yeah, we, we should um, say as well. Yeah, if you are like worried about your own situation, don't feel the need to donate anything. Yeah, fuck that. Because yeah. you know this is we're not we're not losing anything here, are we? This is fine. We're just gonna have a big sleep and it'll all be fine. Yeah, I've been accused I've probably got half a pint of Baileys in the fridge and I will neck it at some point <laughs> if that bit is financially viable. <laughs> As you said, Michael, this is the most fun I've had in about two weeks. <laughs> Somebody says you should shave your head, eat a shoe, a dirty <laughs> pint, a pint of vodka. Uh, keeping it realistic. Head shave really or John. Vodka. Head shave or John is a bottle merchant. Only kidding. Oh, no, that's two different people. Um, 20 pounds, call Rob Beckett and tell him that Kemar Roof wants his number to discuss an, discuss an opportunity. Does he mean Rob Beckett or does he mean uh, he doesn't mean Rob Beckett, does he? I don't know. No, it Matt Ford, Ford he means. Can you ring Sean Locke and Jimmy Carr? I imagine you just do that every day, don't you? That's not a yeah, challenge. The idea that they would answer the phone if I rang. <laughs> That's why you ring them every day, isn't it? Still <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Just five, one day. Uh, one day. <laughs> five to down the Baileys. You must have a pool table that you can dance on. Change your name to Ken Bates by Deed Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Um, persuade, that. persuade Matt Ford to tweet his love for Kamal Roof. Um, <laughs> Who can you get on? Who can That's you get doable. on? That's doable. Who can you get on from your famous friends? Um, well, well, this is a very difficult challenge because we're at a time when the idea that people can say I've got something else on is gone. So if I ask <laughs> someone and they say no, we know it's not because they're busy. It's, it's purely a rejection of me as a person. <laughs> well, if it's easier, there's still 20 quid for a pint of Baileys. If you next that Baileys right now or took a tenner in, um, I mean, well, what about doing it for a pint of Bailey? <laughs> what about the... I'll pay thirty quid not to do it. A, a pint of Bailey's is about ten quid. I mean, you're actually losing money. <laughs> you always so looking about, at the financial angle. What about rejection live on the stream and breakdown live on the stream? <laughs> <laughs> Can you dress up as Lucas the cop cap? <laughs> I'll start a Twitter feud with someone. Was quite good. <laughs> start a Twitter feud. I mean, I'm on my mobile, so I can't sort of do uh... anything on the. Coming R- ring Dave, ask them for a second series in the most partridge-esque way. This is a qu- <laughs> quite an, uh, an open-ended one. Somebody just says, what's Lucy doing? Um, okay. can, you get, can you get Chris Kamara on? <laughs> Text Rachel Riley and call her a scummer for a quid. Burn a cardigan. Change your middle name to Watermelon. Drape yourself in that Leeds flag and nothing else when we get promoted out of League One. Okay. It's, well, it's gone that. up. It's gone up to seventy pound while you're deciding. So let's. Um, uh, how many games left? I don't want to be until four o'clock in the morning with all. Well, this is it. If we don't go up this season, then you're stuck. I'm going to start playing the reserves. To be honest, to keep you here. If we. Uh, <laughs> That'll be your punishment. <laughs> if we come out of League One, I'll wear nothing but that scarf and I'll down whatever Bailey's is in the fridge. It always felt like you were leaning towards a drinking challenge because you're trying to get drunk. <laughs> yeah. Isn't it pathetic? Someone's, People... uh, someone's put a quid for every Leeds top scorer since 2000. I feel like we could do that as well. Sing Caught by the Fuzz in full. Shave your head for a tenner. £50 to start a TikTok account with me. <laughs> what is TikTok? I uh, see. The education involves. Message Wyoming. TikTok to me is the uh, robot character from Return to Oz. So. Right, we've got a game. Uh, Dan, we've got a game against Huddersfield here. Dance on the Back table. On, guys. We're getting our heads on or what? We've got a game. <laughs> I think uh, you've lost the dressing room here, Michael. <laughs> oh, I don't <laughs> cough into his elbow. Christ, I need him, don't I? I'm done. <laughs> We, Down the shot for every goal between now and the end of the season. Matt Heath's unhappy but, because he's, he thinks he should be a first-team regular. He's playing every game. He's, he's an idiot. 
He's played, stopped being he's about played, food bank and more about trying to kill me. He's played 26 games and he's moaning about stuff. What an idiot. I'm just going to ring the old um, bell because I'm going to name drop now because I did do a, th- a dreadful thing for radio with um, Rachel Riley about bloody saving energy in the home once and my opening line to her was you're a scummer aren't you and I did that for free <laughs> what did she say she went I am yes I guess you don't want to talk to me now I went no go on then I will do and there you go that's she my story she's a proper to be fair to her she's a proper fan she's um, the family connection which I can't you know I can, I can never deny the family connection because that's why I'm Leeds so yeah because you're not um, are you from Lan- is it Lancaster I am from Lancaster yeah but my dad's Leeds so um he was my first ever game. They took me to once you walk up to Ellen Road, you never go back there. So um, yeah, I can't deny the family connection. What's hers? Is it like some third? third dad, dad's or massively into it, isn't he? My dad's no, massively okay. into it. That's mainly may, maybe I'd acceptable. Love, uh, somebody uh, King as well. Somebody's just offered us a fiver to close FM and restart. Oh God! Oh, I just feel they're taking the lead as well. For fuck, oh, for fuck's sake! Free kick as well. Oh, can... Robbie Williams. Mm. John, phone Robbie Williams and call him a knobhead. <laughs> <laughs> if I had Robbie Williams' number, I would do it. It is Robbie Williams as well. Go on, Beckford. <sighs> Why aren't they playing old virgin boy? It's old virgin <laughs> boy? <laughs> yes, you can, be, you can be an old virgin. There's nothing wrong with that. Is that what you mean? Alex Smithies? Smithies, that's what his name is, yeah. Not even on the bench. Gareth Gareth Armshaw. Not who with that. I've got a mate who's a Gareth with two A's actually. It's a Gareth. It's, G- G- R- it's an A. Gareth. Yeah. Not who with that. Uh, a, a tenor to see Michael's internet history. Fucking hell no. <laughs> <laughs> I think my face says it all. <laughs> We've equalised, by the way. Oh, good. good. That's a handy distraction, isn't it? There's Beckford. Somebody says to ring Angus Kinnear. <laughs> Ooh, do I have his number? We did interview him once, didn't we? I think. Yeah, I think yeah this is true. Oh, I don't have it. We, uh, oh. I might have it on an email somewhere. I think if we're going to ring Angus, it'd be better to do it at 4 a.m., surely. <laughs> <laughs> it's what he'd want, isn't it? It's what he'd want. Just tell him, tell him Victor Alter's burnt down or something. Ring him in the night. Victor Alter burnt down a 5G yeah. mast. <laughs> Ask him what his advice is for a team that is still pissing about with the playoffs. Because that's about where you're going. Right, I'm gonna... Apparently, this Robbie Williams is from Ponty. Is he? What a tra- so he says. A so, uh, immovable object tells us. Uh, he is as well. There you go. From Ponty, he's a Barnsley fan as well. What an idiot. Going up a diet of Harry Bow and Harry Bow. <laughs> and licorice. Yeah. Right, we're gonna have disappointment to all of them. You live, you live near the licorice trees, don't you? Me? Oh yeah, My, not as near as I used to. I used to live at the other side of Ponty, which was like you could smell it from, you could smell the tangfastics from in the field. From my house. Yeah. yeah, it was nice. Yeah. You still get the the spores just blow into your garden and, and plant, don't they? Yeah, like a little <laughs> yeah, nice. a stickiness over everything the whole time. It's nice. Sometimes my teeth just rot <laughs> oh, for no reason. Oh. Beckford, come on, get in yes. there. Who come won? on. They beat us at their place as well, didn't they? Everyone's playing all right. Sick pot, not so good. I tell you what, let's get sick pot off. For a couple of times. Adam, I've not had a break properly, but I've eaten a pizza, so a word you'll be happy to see we're beating. I just feel now. Four a.m. call to Angus to celebrate a playoff win. <laughs> Do you, want, do you want to know the best irony of all? Um, I've just looked at the date, and this Huddersfield game has once again fallen on the weekend of Crofts. That's it. <laughs> Tremendous. Yeah. Three one. So it was the first Three, week one. in March. That's like a little um, that little pass around the edge of the wall. That was nicely worked, wasn't it? For a free kick routine. Beautiful, and then a lob over the keeper. We do love a lob. Goldburn scored. Ooh. Crikey! Oh, this is this is all right. I think. The, uh, the Huddersfield fans will be leaving in droves to uh, make the way down to Croftstown or wherever they hold it. Is it the NEC in Birmingham? I 
think it is recently, yeah. It's a big photocopier shop. John, somebody's asking where they can get the onesie from. Jimmy's asking on Twitter. I don't know. I bought it through the official uh, the official lines, the Leeds United shop. We were probably looking at four to five years ago. Wore it pretty heavily for a year. Caught the uh, caught the old man in it. Put it away for a couple of years, and um, it's back out of the cupboard. But um, still, yeah, is there still a bit of DNA in the zip. <laughs> oh, just a bit. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I've never had an injury down there before. It's it's not an area of my body that I've, I've particularly used over the years. But um, yeah, I've never had a. It was a real tear. It was um, oh something for the physio to have a look at, and a rough cut as well. You're looking at you know another sharp, not a sharp area. It was a real. Is it a, is it a metal zip or is it a plastic one? Yeah, no, it's proper. Uh, oh no, it's plastic. Oh, it could have. Well, it's a metal. I think it's plastic, uh, plastic grabbers mm. and like a metal clasp. Yeah, it could have been worse. It could have been worse. Yeah. It could have been, worse, and I'm very grateful for that. And it will be worse later. But <laughs> again, Jesus, we're what actually close. We're close. About? Sorry, go on. Go on. No, no, what you're right. I was just going to say about the football, but forget it. The, the... Martin is suggesting you auction the onesie. This is Martin Highwood. Oh, yes, Martin's watching. Hello, Martin. He says yeah. you should auction the onesie. If I thought it would raise any money, I would do. If anyone wants my onesie, um, match worn. Are you, wearing, uh, are you wearing pants under it right now? I am, yes. Okay. I'm, wearing, uh, I'm wearing the Thistle Hotels and a pair of uh, boxer shorts and some socks and shoes. But you um, could, uh, I can not be. If, if that will raise more money, I'm willing to yeah. do that. Thoughts Negotiable on. period of time, sans pants. It sort of begs what it would look like if I coquettishly removed from boxer shorts from inside the onesie. We have well, hit uh, five thousand pounds now, according to the trust. Right? Um, yeah. So it seems like just talking about what we might make you do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But we're now we're we're up to twenty pounds for the onesie already. Amazing. Right. Nine pounds five p. <laughs> oh, someone someone uh, suggested we reply to GFH's DM on Twitter with a play recommendation. Sorry for the late reply. Derek, it's the squareball.net slash food bank. £21 now, Alex says, for the onesie. Right. And uh, the bidding stops. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mean, at £21, I will absolutely bag it and send it as well. I will do. <laughs> Beckford's, Beckford's morale's always poor. I'm worried about him. He scored loads of goals this year. He scored 29 in 34 and his morale's poor. What's his character type? Can you have a look at that? Perhaps he thinks he could be scoring outside of League One. Uh, maybe. It was uh, £25 for the onesie and his shoes. Oh, bless him. We've seen him. His, his concerns. He's worried he won't live up to, oh. he's worried he won't live up to people's expectations. There's a fifty pound for a signed onesie, sixty pound if it's not signed. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Johnny. <laughs> oh, we owe these fuckers, don't we? Swindon. Yeah, Billy. P- Did they beat yeah. us? Yeah. Oh, they've got Bus Wanker playing from, haven't they? Who's Billy Painter? Just seen him. I've just seen him uh, nearly scoring for them. So I remember the the away game that year. I'd been gigging and I drove back through Swindon, and I think we'd had a fair number of arrests. I think that year, the away game against Swindon. It was a real lesson in like, oh, even in League One against a team fucking miles away. To be fair, that we don't have a particular grievance with, there will always be arrests. I think that was the thing of going down to League One when you hear Yeovil fans singing about hating Leeds scum and stuff, and you think, "Yeah, no, you, no, you don't." It's uh, it is being pointed out that this is the John Richardson derby. Yes, oh, and De- wow. Declan's offering seventy quid for the onesie if it's signed by the wife. <laughs> I can do that. Yeah, she absolutely. Make her wear it for a for a week. <laughs> <laughs> That Swindon shirt, the uh, it's a Lotto shirt. I've got a, a Panama shirt, which is like that. It's the, that same design, but it's white and blue. So it's nice. Is that on your? Is that available on your no, default no, account? No, it's not. I'm keeping that one. 
I think it's I think it's fake. Not when you keep it. So that's why I can't, I can't really sell it. Uh, oh, Beckford's not having a great game. Oh, that's a sh- well, you know, he needs encouraging, doesn't he? Mm-hmm. No, faith in his ability. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to tell That's what he needs. Disappointed. Why? Is that harsh? What would Eddie Gray... Eddie, yeah, right, Eddie Gray says to encourage him. The, Eddie the winning, you idiot. Him. I'm going to tell Beckford I'm disappointed. <laughs> Here no, we are. No. The... Beckford needs an, he needs yeah, an arm round him. We want him. We want him to stay, don't we? We need to really... I suppose maybe if he's worried about... Um, Living up to people's expectations. If you just like lower your expectations, you're basically you become like yeah. a controlling husband telling his wife that she'll never do better than him. Contract. If you leave me, if you leave me, you'll you'll never we're do gonna, any better we're than offer me. Him a, push a little hundred pound a week contract in front of him after this game and be like, well, if you think you can do better, then in fact we're going to take him off as well. Or Mend- Mendieta's injured. Coquito <laughs> uh, can come on. So. Somebody says I would bid for John Swansea, but I don't have any kids it would fit. <laughs> <laughs> nice, well done. <coughs> oh, it's a fucking penalty. Mikulik's giving it away in the last minute. What an idiot. Oh, saved! Saved it! He saved it! Jeffrey, big Jeff, <sighs> stood up. He's, he's not fallen for it, has he? He's giving him the eyes and he's stood, he's stood strong. Tom's asking if uh, the booze baton could take us to the dog and bastard. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. Where is it at the moment, the booze baton? Oh, I can't even remember. It's still in Madrid. I think, I think so. I think the original. I think the... not the sort of not that sort of destination you're really encouraged to visit much at the minute. No, no. But they'll need a boost, won't they, when this is over with? So, some Leeds fans going over. If it's an option between going to Madrid or 200 people turning up at John's house, do we have a... Is the domestic one at Crystal Palace as well? Domestic one at Crystal Palace, is that right? It could be. Uh, Um, There is a uh, Comedians 5 side game goes on every week at Crystal Palace at the uh, sports Mm -hmm. centre there. If you want to see some of Britain's most (laughs) out-of-shape comedians... (laughs) Oh, Daniel Kilton there, Andy Zaltzman there regularly. Uh, Lee Mack used to come in the good old days. Very greedy player. A lot of the best comedians, very greedy footballers. Have you got some? Have you got some strobe Lee lighting Mack going on? Loves a shot. I've oh, got okay. the telly on. I'll turn it. I was fine. I was just. <laughs> <laughs> Turning into a rave. Yeah. A bit of atmosphere there. Yeah, it's like a nightclub. It's like having friends, isn't it? Uh, Did you know it's in the, uh, <laughs> the, uh... in the league, by the way? Carlisle just beat Forest, which isn't what we wanted, which is a bit annoying. Oh, bollocks. But we're still. Somebody says rotate your players ending matches under 75% for the love <laughs> of God. <laughs> Uh, if we want a bidding update, uh, Declan checked out at seventy pounds. Jake right. Hodges, who I think wanted your wife to wear it, was eighty pounds. Johnny Dent was a rival at eighty. He said he never loses an auction. Um, and then <laughs> Sam, strange boast. Sam has a. I pay. In- I always pay over the odds for everything. <laughs> Sam has an inquiry as to whether it still has willy blood on it because he might pay extra if so. <laughs> Like you said you want if you commit to this, if you commit to this, John, you'd put more on it. You'd put more on it. I can show you the the zip itself there. I don't think there's any obvious residue. Um, but <laughs> if it's DNA you're after, if you want to build an even smaller meat in a lab, um, <laughs> there's probably enough on there. So it's there. It's between Jake and Johnny. I think have both bid eighty pounds with certain conditions. Um, and yeah, Derek, they're just giving pages correct. And then it's whether Sam is worried about Willy Blood and wants to make a late bid. Eighty pound is the is to be. It's a, it's, I mean, it's, it's bid a win-win win as well because you, you're helping not only the, the the food bank market but the kink market as well. <laughs> Do you remember when uh, Neville Southall? He's quite good on Twitter, as Neville Southall. But he did he lets yes. people do takeovers on it, and it's generally quite worthy things like mental health things. <laughs> did you see one? There was one night when he was he was doing an adult baby. 
takeover, and it was it was a woman who <laughs> it was basically a prostitute because people were like, no, she's on all these like websites. You can't do this, Neville. And he was like, no, it's a mental health thing. It helps some people. It really helps them. It's like. No, she's an adult baby fetish woman. Like, don't, don't let, her, don't give her your airtime. This isn't a good idea. So, it, I mean, maybe there's a market yeah. for that. I'm sure she would have behaved herself absolutely fine. Sam says, "If there's uh, no blood, no bid." <laughs> <laughs> Open a vein. Open a vein. You, you, um, on a serious note, this this coronavirus lockdown has been devastating for comedians to learn that. People in the country are funnier than they are. It's absolutely <laughs> devastating. I'll, I'll guarantee you that every comedian is racking their brains. How do I do what I do online? And the truth is you don't because there are people funnier than you and quicker than you absolutely everywhere. So um, congratulations. Johnny, uh, no blood, no bid. If that's the hashtag, then so be it. <laughs> Johnny Dent is up to £100. <laughs> Holy and shit. says he has an original Wembley seat to prove his drunken bidding lunacy. <laughs> so I think I think Johnny Dent could be the one. And uh, did anyone and buy? Apparently, when we when we took the standing out of the cop, I, I imagine this. But could you buy lumps of concrete in the for, for a time? Lumps of like. I know they put, wow. I, but I know they put seats in, so I'm not sure. I, what that, I think from. that was uh, that was the Ber- that was the Berlin Wall, mate. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah, yeah, fair enough. Did they, they probably did sell bits of the Berlin Wall, didn't they? That's a... Yeah, they did, yes. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Says it all, really, doesn't it? Uh, 50 quid for John to be on the podcast full-time. <laughs> it's, a big commi- it's a big commitment for uh, pounds. <laughs> I, I would have to deflect that one onto my agent, who might have, uh, might have a word or two to say. And you'd come out with, what, 25 quid maybe of that? <laughs> 30 quid or 30 quid doing all right out of it might be the best offer you get give it a time i would say <laughs> well i mean at the moment you are literally the best offer i've had for the next 12 months with an entire tour cancelled you are my leading bid what, what days was it meant to run <laughs> oh i mean most days from september to december so um uh, is it, is it yeah. still got a chance I don't think so. You know, I'm not a government expert, but then neither are the government experts. So um, I, I yeah. would be surprised if, given the Edinburgh Festival has been cancelled, if the world's leading arts festival isn't happening on August the 30th, I would be surprised if my gig in Chester on September the 8th is uh, rock solid. Mm. I hope so. I would love to believe that the virus is uh, absolutely done and dusted by then. And if the people of Chester are watching, I'll, I'll have a tank full of fuel and I'll be ready to go there'll be no show because I can't preview it so I'll be absolutely dog shit but I'll be there <laughs> and uh, the onesie I'll be wearing is in the post so I'll be bollock naked <laughs> but apart from that what a show you've got right The um, we've got uh, a wacko forum are also offering 100 quid and then they'll use it to try and raise more money as a prize on the forum that's, that's, um, that's very speculative people buying Second hand ones. Sounds like a pyramid, <laughs> yeah. pyramid scheme, doesn't it? Someone else, uh, Mind LUFC, asks how much to join the comedians five aside. Oh, I don't know. I, I haven't played for a long time, as is clear from how much I'm filling out this onesie. Okay. Yeah. There's a pound on offer if you wake up your entire house. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, that could not put all the money in the world. That could have on a similar tip. We've got a request that Sam Sam's asking how much do we need to donate for a private tour around the dog and bastard? Private tour? Oh, um, I mean, I guess it depends where you live and whether or not you're a bell end. So um, uh, Nottingham. Nottingham. Nottingham's doable. Um, I'd need, you know, sort of, I'd need some references. Uh, <laughs> Background checks. No, I will. Uh, I'll play darts with the right person. Um, we've also got oh, just on the football side of things. Katie, uh, Rich, and Katie have uh, they, they share a Twitter account, which I'm very suspicious about. But anyway, Katie has uh, tears in her eyes about Beckford and how mean you're being to him. Was it was it Rich or was it Katie that that insisted upon it? That's what I want to know. Give, well, it, it was either Katie tweeting about herself in the third person, which again is doubly sinister, or it was probably Rich. <laughs> no, I mean who insisted upon the the Twitter account being joint? Well, obviously, obviously Katie. Someone is, yeah, she's. She's come across some stuff, hasn't she, at some point? And been like, yeah, from now on, it's a joint account. 
Yeah. He's still, he's gone through the in both of them, hasn't he? Obviously, hasn't obviously Rich hasn't learned there about the old uh, incognito mode of uh, of Google. Well, we've got um, another game, by the way. Just to let you know, we're uh... oh, it's bloody Carl! I'll keep winning. Seven points off automatic, aren't we? Nine games to go. Oh, it's looking a bit tough. John, we're up against John what Sheridan was, next. What was the final game against uh, score against Bristol? Two 0 There you go, Alan. Two 0 I think. Forty pounds says I can walk John at any pub games he has in his own pub. Right. Uh, can you reach your dartboard? The bu- can you reach the dartboard to retrieve your darts? <laughs> I've met John and I didn't find him to be small at all. Is what I'll say. <laughs> I found him to be a good height. Yeah, you're not a tall man yourself. Yeah, I'm though. about five yeah. foot sixteen. You're six three, aren't you? I thought from looking at you, I think. You look a good six three, six four to me. I mean, you, yeah, it's, it, you're a big man, Michael, for Lilliput. <laughs> it's mainly head as well. If I didn't, have, if I didn't have such a large head, I'd be about a foot shorter. Look at the size of this. There's some, <laughs> There's some uh, claim with uh, Katie and Rich that Katie is saying Rich is a dirty red. Uh, what? And they're and they're sharing an account. Bloody hell! Oh, that's confusing, isn't it? Maybe there's, these are sex people or something. I don't know. <laughs> I'm basically managing this team by myself now, aren't I? I've realised. I'm just. You always have been. Well, to be honest. we're trying to raise some money for charity here. Uh, well, yeah, we're, we're doing God's work. You're just showing off. <laughs> well, I'm just playing the same team. There's uh, anyway that onesie. You're gonna have to kiss it goodbye for about hundred quid. Hundred. Well, what? Um, how many games? Is this a league game now? Yeah. Yeah. So we've got, what, six six league games left after this? Nine, nine in total, including this one, I think. Oh, nine, all right. Well, that's, what what time is it in real life? What even is Ten real past life? 11. Is it? Holy shit, Christ. We were going to get through six seasons on this. That's bedtime, isn't it, when you've got a little one? Well, yeah, I said to Lucy earlier, you know, I might, I might not feel very well in the morning, is that all right? And uh, she, she didn't give a concrete response either way, so... Um, I guess they have to be do in some, bed at some do point. Some, do some if big coughing. Really not, coughing so that's what you need to do. If I could self-isolate out here, I mean, that that was the dream for years. There's uh, there's an offer for your, uh, your Hobbit audition tapes for a few quid. The Hobbit audition tapes, Christ. I mean, if I had those, I would pay double what you have to see them destroyed. That was did, you, did you audition to be a Hobbit? I did audition for the uh, role of, uh, yeah... Um, what was your te- what was your uh, how did you do it fucking badly um, <laughs> examples for example I got to the end of I'll give you a bit of it but I got to the end of the uh, there was basically a speech I did it I did it once and traditionally if you do a read through badly they'll, they'll give you a note they'll say like oh you know he's he's from this area or she said to me at the end of the first read through she went could you do it again but um could you just do it again? <laughs> it was absolutely. I did a sort of generic. I knew they'd commission a sort of generic posh because I'd seen the first one. The only line I remember is, uh, "I want to see mountains and rivers and lakes." And uh, you know, I think I could have done a job. I really think I could have. <laughs> <laughs> what happens with comedians? This happens quite a lot. They get comedians in for read-throughs. And what they'll say to you is, do it once, and then they'll say sort of ad lib around it. And what they mean is, write us some free dialogue for the film, and then when we commission Martin Freeman to do it. So I once got asked to audition for The Matrix, whatever the last one was, the sort of modern one. And the role was like, guy at laptop. And there was about three lines, but they said, oh, can you uh, self-tape the three lines? And then when you've done that, could you do it again three or four times, but just sort of riff around the character? And what that means is Steve Buscemi is going to do this role, but if you can write as a line for free as a Hollywood conglomerate, then we'll take the free line and tell you that you were within a sniff. But um, So I've stopped doing auditions now. I don't, um, don't play anyone but myself. It's authentic. But, it's authentic anyway. It's the role I was born to play. Sounds yeah, like a fright, it sounds like a, fr- a frightful business, to be honest. 
I mean, you know, I'm not going to complain. But in terms of, I, I learned early on when you think you're going to get a role, you aren't. Just, you know, it's worth seeing people just to, to get a tip on it. Like when you see Martin Freeman in it, you think, I don't think it was down to me or Martin Freeman for that role. <laughs> I, I don't really think it was me or him. I think he probably had that sewn up. But he's still doing phone adverts and I'm not, so maybe he didn't pay what I thought it was. <laughs> Do you think it's a, how much of it do you think it's down to luck, people like Martin Freeman? Because if he'd never been in the office, he probably wouldn't be all that famous now, would he? Yeah, well, I think straight men roles are always the funniest. You know, when your role in the thing is to look normal and be the normal person, then I think that's the one that everyone looks at and thinks, oh, I could fucking have done that. But maybe you couldn't. I I've certainly you, uh, Could you check the uh, Carlisle score? Carlisle score, uh, yeah, people want the live score. It's been pointed out Sean Gregan can see the penalty. Oh, drawn, point drawn. drawn. That's so good that news. Us, uh, oh, and, uh, five points away from automatic. Oh. Jay's pointing out that you could have been the Paul Ocon of Hobbits. Yeah, do it. Do it. <laughs> Does a job. We, we still got Carlisle to play as well, haven't we? I think. Yeah, it's two games ahead somewhere. Uh, yes. Adam, I, I haven't taken a break, but I ate a pizza. Oh, cool. So, okay. You all disappeared for a second then. Are you, yeah. are you all back? Uh, I'm back. I can see I can you. I can't see, see Dan or John. Oh, I think we might admit, I think. I can see my... Have we lost John? The, no, they're both back. Ah, yeah. oh, John's back. I could hear them. There we go. John's back. Well, is that a lightning strike? <laughs> question is, are we still online? There is a question. No, I think, I think it was a, I think it was a uh, Skype glitch rather than the rest of it. Uh, right. I think so. We'll see. We can check. Someone check. We won't know for a minute or two because of the delay, but there you go. I kind of thought in my head when we arranged this, I was like, oh, I'll have another laptop here, I can look at stuff, but obviously I'm like, clicking a mouse all day, aren't I, so I can't do anything. Yeah, we're still online. Oh, good, good. Right, so Carlisle next. This is it, really. comes down to this. Win this and it's all. Do on. or die time, isn't it? Do or die. It's going to be a very tough call for me if we win this game, what I do. <laughs> It's very hard to explain to a, a tired three-year-old and your wife that you stayed up late to watch a simulation <laughs> of a season from 12 years ago. Well, what would Johnny Lund do? Hmm? <laughs> Join a band, I think. Right. It's not, we'll, get, we'll, we'll be quick, John. We'll be quick. Just 10 more minutes. It'll be 10 more minutes. Oh, uh, you've, got, you've got the Carlisle game. That's in the bank. The question is, if we beat Carlisle, do I stay to watch us go up? Yeah, uh, aren't you supposed to be dancing naked on the table? Well, if we go up, I'm supposed to be draped in the flag, I believe. Someone rightly saying so you, you need to ne- save your game. You need to neck the Baileys. Save, save your game. Neck the Baileys as well first. I'll yeah, save the game. I'll pour the Baileys out. We'll get a bid for the Baileys. I'll There's been a lot of people. Up. All I'll the be people back. who've been saying uh, it should be uh, down in the Baileys. I'll pour the Baileys out. I was meant to have a Bailey. This is what he's come here to do, isn't it? He's, he's been wanting to get rid of this Bailey for ages, you can tell. Uh, I might have another beer as well, you know. I'm going to grab one. How, uh, how are you doing for, for beers, Moscow? I've still got plenty left. Yeah. I think I've had four. Mm, one, two, three. Yeah, I've taken it quite easy. A little slight headache. Yeah. I've gone for uh, contact lenses yet, as well. Me. I've gone for seven so far. <laughs> Jars. And you're the one we need to keep awake. Some of them are bottles though. They're not all they're not all pints. Oh, they don't count, do they? No. Right. We don't we don't John don't want to miss the Carlisle game, so I'll get a drink as well. I feel like I'm I'm letting the side down by not having one, so I go on then I'm going to get one. Alright, we're all on a drinks break. We'll won't we'll on. <laughs>
Where's everyone gone? Oh, suits on, boys, important match. Right. Oh, I appear to be running this on my own now, do I? How exciting. Welcome to the square ball. <laughs> there we go with Brooke of the Seal on the beer. Cheers. Oh, we Guinness. didn't think we'd abandon you, John. Well done. That's a remarkable. Uh, Abstemious. I've had a message to say that John is good value. Keep him on as long as you can. Is, is uh, money coming in though, or is this just? Um, yeah, we've um, yeah. <coughs> we've passed something ridiculous. Leeds fans are incredible, aren't they? It's ridiculous. But... Yeah, the, uh, when we auctioned off that centenary shirt, we thought we'd make a few hundred quid. And what was it, 32 grand or something, or 23 grand? Unbelievable. And we basically bought an entire kid's ward full of uh, like furniture for the next 20 years, or however long it lasts. Well, we haven't, but the people who donated money did. We didn't. Well, no, you should take your credit. You should absolutely take your credit. And, All we yeah, did was um, steal a shirt off of Berardi, and uh, and that's it. Easy. I mean, if you steal a shirt from Berardi, you deserve every penny you've got. This is true. What the fuck? <laughs> 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 Do we have to raise money to keep John on? Um <laughs> Well, I'm going to pour the Baileys out. So I've brought the... This is the vegan Baileys. And I've Someone says out. there'll be a quid for every five minutes John stays. Oh, that's a lot of Baileys. Right. And, um, yeah, a lot of people said... That they basically donate various amounts if the Baileys gets downed. You seem so that, to have been very desperate to, to dispose of this Baileys, so I feel like... Well, it's um, been knocking around for a couple of Christmases now. Where are we at financially? Hold on. Pour no drink, can't be dealing with the food bank right now. <laughs> Building up some tension. Let's have a look. Uh, Just have a look ooh. at the figures. The food bank target is at £17,923. Okay, well, at 18000 I'll down the Baileys. Okay, 18000 is downing the Baileys. Did everybody hear that over strings for Yasmin? Yep. It's nice, it's nice, it's going up. Right, someone's pointed out, I look, and now I really like Danny Mills. <laughs> you need to spit out some shite opinions as well. Just just generic opinions, that's what he does now, isn't it? Right, we keep winning games, don't we? So let's just keep this team. Thanks for not looking at the fixtures when I asked you to. Big game. Oh, what are you moaning at now? Fixtures, right. There you go, we can look at them now. Yeah, yeah six. I think we've got we've got Forest afterwards as well, away. Forest away. Yeah, we're going oh, Millwall fine. at home on the last day as well. That's got, That's a spoiler. Tinder box. Right. Can win this game, lads. Come on. Beckford, even you, you poor old sod. Come on. Don't sit down on yourself. But... Stop bullying I'm him. Not, I'm saying I've got faith in him. <laughs> I just occasionally. You've already had Katie, Katie in tears on Katie and Rich's just, sinister joint just Twitter account. Sometimes... Oh, and by the way, that big financial challenge, we passed it. 18 grand, just like that. Already? Yeah, that was on. Oh, shit. I should have gone bigger. <laughs> But so, uh, how's that happened? Did somebody just put in a load of money? I'll have a look at the last bits. Yeah, Alex. Alex has just stuck a hundred quid straight in. Wow. The mad, the madman. I mean, Can where's I the fun in that, time, Alex? <laughs> Alex has ruined it. This Carlisle kit's absolutely oh, dreadful, by the way. I remember it, and it was all—it's horrible. They should have changed that, Ellen Rod, shouldn't they? But, Thank you, Alex. Oh, getting... You're Thank not you. really brave. Beckford's gone. Oh, Beckford's a bit injured. That's not good. 
Oh, no, he's, he's not. Oh, yeah, he's 50%. Right, we'll get Beckford off. Expect a before. Ah, uh, he can make the difference. That's what I'm saying to, to Bobby. The rest of them... Uh, oh, God, we've got Lewandowski. Lewandowski, is it? Hmm? Yeah. This is actual Lewandowski. Yeah, proper one. And how did, you, how did you get him? He was just cheap. He was at... Uh, where was he at? He was at Znik Pruskov. 110 right. grand paid for him. Come on, Bobby. I have eaten, Toby. Thank you. I had a big old pizza from uh, from Harpo's. Calvin Special. They should really have given you it for free, given the amount of press you're giving him on this. Yeah. And Calvin's more more division. Oh, Bobby's put it over for him. Come on. This is tense, isn't it? Oh, Huntington misses. Oh, offside. Oh, no, foul. Oh, it's a foul. Bloody hell. Oh, everyone, everyone's playing pretty well, though. We've got, we've got this. We're going to score. Do you reckon? Yeah. We're going to go extended highlights. Oh, hang on. They've got a corner. Break. Break Alex, away. Alex says, fucking score. And I agree with him. I very much enjoyed what was the podcast, Dan, where your, your view of the game was just get it done, you pricks. It was about promotion, I think, that one, wasn't it? It wasn't just yeah. a game, but it was just get it done, you pricks, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh it's nil-nil. Oh, who was the ref? Was it Clattenburg, somebody yeah. said? Two to slow goals. Look at that. One shot, one shot they've had. They've come for that and they've got it. I'll, I'll and then Clattenburg's that, given them it. The, um, the tension around promotion has completely gone now. I think when we come back, I might even enjoy it a bit. I don't know. You know, assuming we get there, because it was absolutely chewing me up. I've really calmed down about Which it. Which promotion now. are you talking about? It is very much like that. In real life, in real life promotion. I like that you're, um, you're more relaxed not about... Go out has made just having food in the fridge seem... If you open the fridge and there's like bread and sausages, it's just the best thing in the world. And it's going to be like that about Leeds. You can think, why was I not enjoying being top of the league and having Bielsa in charge? What, what was wrong with it? I love, uh, it's the best uh, thing ever, isn't it? It's I just love, unreal. I'm loving Dan's attitude where it's like, oh, Leeds going up, this is the tensest thing ever. Global pandemic, thousands dying. Whew, I can relax a bit now. <laughs> <laughs> the pressure's off. Honestly, I want the pandemic thing to work out and have as minimal impact as possible. That's obviously a given. I mean, in the context purely of Leeds is that because it's provided a bit of perspective, a lot of perspective, to be honest. Kyle, um, uh, Kyle yeah. Brooks has a big question for John. Yeah, uh, you you put you put bread in the fridge. Uh, no, no, and that's a, that's a great question. And quick off the mark, okay. um, there is some in the freezer. Um, I have been known to keep bread in the fridge in the hope that it will keep it longer. If you're mainly toasting it, I don't think that's a massive issue. Um, <laughs> but it's a good point, well made. And I'm amazed that at this late at night, people are still that quick. That's that's right. <laughs> and I should think carefully about. I did think about doing this. I thought, what if I have a few beers with mates beforehand on Zoom and then I come on here and I end my career? <laughs> I didn't think the statement that would lead to that was putting bread in the fridge. Somebody so. does say your hard drive needs checking uh, <laughs> as, a, as a consequence of this. No, so, so do I have to drink this now because of Alex? Bread, bread, in, fridge, a war crime. bread in fridge is a war crime. <laughs> Bottle the big game, son's crying. Although Carlisle have just dropped points, by the way. They've just drawn. So we're back in it. We're at um, <laughs> eighteen two five five. So I think there's some calls for this Bailey's to happen. Alex Ash, gave yeah. that. Some Ash says uh, if John does the Bailey's, we're on the pitch. He did twenty right. quid anonymous, I mean, twenty pound for JR to down the Bailey's. There was that hundred quid before for the Bailey's. It's all about the Bailey's, baby. Uh, Callum, it's down the Bailey's. Down says down Jacob. It's not my wedding suit, by the way, Callum. Just to just to say, do you need some? Do you want some more tension? Some more tension? Music tension? Tension from music? Let's have a look. Yeah, some Leeds music will help. Uh, <laughs> just <laughs> bread in the fridge. But that doesn't mean after down it in thirty seconds, right? Or you get what about uh, this? This is kind of hype. We'll we'll go for hype music. Hang on. So bread in the fridge, right next to the dead bodies. <laughs> There we go. Oh. Down in about 16 seconds. Also, cold bread. He only eats oh, cold bread. 
I presume. I presume that's the job. Pumping it up. Johnny <laughs> throwing up. How was it? Right. I, I mean, it makes me look like a very bad person if I say that was actually quite nice and I do that again. I'd love some <laughs> I've got a full it bottle was, in the it kitchen. Was fine. Maybe that. Oh, oh my nice. God. How much? How much? It's not vegan Baileys. I'm putting 100 quid it's in now. It's not vegan Baileys. <laughs> John's not having it. You are. Doesn't have to be oh, for you. I've got to stay awake. I'm in control of the mouse. <laughs> I can't class. We can't really say it's a completed challenge if I'm asleep, can we? I'm steadily doing it through the beers. I think I'm doing a good job. I'm pacing myself. That's what, that's what athletes do, isn't it? Right. What's this about our defence? Six games to go. Bomb through eleven points. Bomb coming to town. Ah. Uh, we won't be underestimating Bournemouth. Yeah, that's right. Some people want to know about vegan Baileys. What's the verdict? It's delicious. It's a yeah. that sort of almond flavour to it. I, um, I, I'm not saying it's best downed half a glass at a time, but um, <laughs> I got no complaints. Which it's the way Mr. Christmas 2019. It's aged well. Yeah. What's the um, drink aware? Isn't it the uh, thing we should be promoting? Drink aware. <laughs> yeah. Aware. Yeah, yeah. If you in these troubled you know, times, uh, if you if you do find yourself regularly downing pints of Baileys while playing football manager, yeah, remote, then remote. Then at least get at least get seventy eight pence for a food bank or whatever, whatever that raised. Ralph says that he uh, he punched the sofa for the disallowed goal. Oh, it's unbelievable. Isn't it? <laughs> Still, I mean, I put my, I, um, I'm, the, I'm all, I'm, I've got this bloody tie on and it's. I've worn nothing but elasticated clothes for ages to, to all of a sudden have a suit and tie on. Well, I say suit and tie. The trousers <laughs> are um, letting it down somewhat. I've got like a baggy jogging bottoms on. I've got a Yorkshire cricket tie on as well. The costume changes have been remarkable. I must admit, you've you've carried this 24 hours like a Madonna gig so far. <laughs> I, had, I had the suit for a cup final or a playoff final, really, but... Yeah, yeah, I've got. Uh, we might get to one of those early. soon. Promotion account. I've got so me. Uh, finish nine a.m. tomorrow or ten a.m. Well, tomorrow? about about <coughs> half ten actually, because we got started a bit late. Oh, that's a nice shirt, Moscow. I've not seen that one before. This is my possibly uh, Leeds reserve circa nineteen ninety. It's got a number sewn on so the back. Dylan Kerr. I don't think it's his. He would have insisted on three, but yeah, it's basically that um, Everton away kit or Everton home kit. In Leeds colours, and I think the reserves wore it in nineteen ninety one. Nice, thirty pound out of uh, some weird eBay bin. That's not bad actually. I just figured, even if it's not real, it's a beautiful Umbro shirt with the Leeds. No pattern. one's making fakes of that, are they? Surely that's very niche. Yeah, that's what I thought. So, and I've seen some photos where it looks looks legit. Where's the sombrero? Asks Jay Carter. <laughs> that's Steve Evans <laughs> style. I have got one somewhere. Not an ear, I don't think. <laughs> Someone says, can we get down a COVID test of the mask? <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully, I'm only coughing over my own family. They'll be fine. Right. Oh, penalty. Come on, Bonanotto. Golden boy, there he is. There we go. So let's see how Carlisle are doing. Oh, I wait, Yeovil. Nil-nil so far. I do kind of feel like we might do it, which I know is a... It does stop like we're going up, doesn't it? That's a dangerous feeling. <laughs> you're the most pessimistic person in the world. I know, but I, don't know, I just got a feeling now. Because you're full of beer, innit? <laughs> I've been drunk and pessimistic loads of times. Michael, uh, someone says you look like you should be on The Apprentice and you, you're talking like it as well. <laughs> no. Got a good feeling about it. talking to a phone on, on uh... <laughs> That's how you do it, isn't it? Please, Lord Sugar. Please, Lord Bates. <laughs> We've not heard from Ken for a while. How's he no, handling the, uh, uh, well, the tension we'll of the running? We'll ask him for something in a bit. We'll ask him to, oh, that's a dangerous we'll ask him to upgrade game. the training facilities or something. I don't oh, think we should. I think we should just maybe just do an impression because we don't want him to sack us at this stage. <laughs> oh, well, that's nice. Oh, Beckford's a bit injured again. Right. 
Bobby's coming on at half time again. We've not poked Warnock for a bit either. That's very true, actually. We're very seeing nice. the first injuries here based around uh, mental wellness. You know, this is the first time a player has been able to say this constant bullying is starting to get to I me. Just, I've, I've tried to be supportive of him in the main. Dry oh, Harry. Christ. Max Gradle's played oh, the ball. Bloody Beckford. All right, lads. Tell him to sort his head out. The chump. <laughs> Ship's never had any problem with his confidence, did he? Andy Booth. Ship's, you mean Neil Ship? Do you mean Shipley there? I Are do. we going to talk about Neil Shipley at all? No. <laughs> okay. Although it is quite a confident move. <laughs> Are you aware of Neil Shipp Neil Shipley's uh, actions, John? I'm aware of Neil Shipley uh, Wimbledon. Um, it was Palace uh, mainly. Yeah. I don't know if he was at Wimbledon for a Palace, bit. Palace, yes. Um, Ball striker. He's uh, what was he done? Was it was he wanking in a van? Oh, or something. I, I would yeah. suggest whatever yeah. it is that you get this right. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, he was done yeah. for wanking somewhere. Yeah. Let's just say. The actions of an unwell if it was a If it was a car or a van, I don't think it matters. Yeah. We're confident now. I think he was trying to reinvent the genre of white man man. Trying to um, take it in a different direction. They get, a, they get a bad name for the driving, but what about this? Yeah. Hey, I've got yeah. it for you. In, in December 2019, he was found guilty of masturbating in front of a mother and her 16-year-old daughter and was given a 12-month community order, ordered to complete 120 hours unpaid work and pay a £90 victim surcharge and £200 in compensation. And uh, what's the second um, the Carlisle score? Sorry. Um, they've drawn. Oh, my God. Again? Oh, my God, they're bottling bastards. Look oh. at this. Four points and a game in hand. If we win, if we win, then we go above them just on goal difference. No, no, they're they're. Uh, oh no, that's Swansea. Swansea. They are bollocks. Four, but a game in hand though. Our goal difference is great though. I'll tell you what. Who else are we going to get? In the, who are we going to get in the playoffs if it goes to that? Oh, Donny, Donny absolutely it, it, battles it, that it, time, it, didn't they? Once you start, once you start yeah, that's true. The we're not we're not dicking around with the playoffs. Or not. Jim says to congratulate John on his persistence staying with us when everyone else who's been on with us binned us off after about an hour. Have I done more than an hour? Jesus. I think thing. so. You've done, you've done two, John. Have I done two hours? Holy shit. <laughs> well, I think I'm. I, I think the divorce papers are probably in the post anyway. So um, I've probably well, that... about it here now. So. As long as you can get whatever the uh, the bidding for the onesie is off. Uh, just, all right, I know you're going to divorce me. Can you just wear this for a couple of hours first so I can sell it to somebody on the internet? <laughs> yeah, so is that, um, is that confirmed, that, that she has it's to wear the It's not. Uh, Johnny, no. I think that person got outbid. Uh, Johnny was asking for an update. Johnny Dent, uh, the mad uh, gambling auctioneer, yeah. um, he was the first to bid 100, and then Wacko came in. The forum saying if they bid a hundred, they might auction, like offer it as a prize on the forum. So it's uh, it's between those two. Well, it's a sort of vanity on my part to imply that it might earn more. What if if I said if it got to one hundred and fifty, I will okay. I'll match it and I'll post it out. Right there you go. If somebody bids one hundred and fifty quid for the the onesie, that will be matched and it will be posted to the person. Smash hit sitcom, uh, make the Richardsons. Someone did also say that um, what Neil Shipley did wasn't as bad as bread in the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> Which is fair, I think. Do you know what? Should we, we, I just realised we've not looked in on the, I've just seen all these uh, Premier League teams in the Champions League. We've not looked in on that, have we? Should we see how... Uh, Do we care? Well, should we see how it's getting on? No. no. Oh, scum are winning it. Sake. Right, Johnny's right there, 150 quid. Johnny Dent, the guy who bought the Wembley seat. All right. How well, does, what's the best way for him to contact you? Uh, well, if he sends you his address, okay. Can, I'll post it out and uh, I'll match that bid as well. So thank you, Johnny. Good right, there we well go. Done, Johnny. Well done, yeah, Johnny, Johnny DM oh, the square on. ball. Johnny, on Johnny never loses an auction. I bid a grand. 
really don't. <laughs> Going once. No, no, Going no I think Johnny's uh, Johnny's won this one. <laughs> well, well done, Johnny. Yeah, email. Um, I don't know. Who does you want to email? If you DM Twitter, just DM we, us that comes through to our. It comes through to an email address for us, doesn't yeah. it? So we'll we'll sort it out. Or as Chris Moore says, uh, John, can it go through your agent? <laughs> if you want to lose fifteen percent of your bid, then yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and uh, and the congratulations are try starting to uh, twickle in. A twickle in. One person has basically said, "Good man for matching that bid." Ah, uh, well. Fine. Does he and uh, uh, Andy asks, does he get a well chilled loaf thrown in? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe. I mean, it, it could have been worse, but the idea that because I will guarantee that the next time I turn up to a game at Ellen Road, someone will shout cold bread at me or <laughs> I'll cold your bread. Cold bread, one thing. <laughs> well, there's your, there's your, there's a new bit for the tour that you've not um, for the show that you've not written yet. Yes, the cold bread bit. Yeah, I'll stick it in. Somebody says uh, uh, this is going to be. Oh, the food bank say great work, John. So there we go. Good. Um, what, 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 apparently, work. apparently this Eight, is a big game. Eighteen and a half yeah, grand. They're top, they're top um, of the league. Total overall. Yep, they are top of the league. Right. Beckford's not. Beckford has stopped Stop. scoring a bit since I've. Uh, I did that thing to him. Uh, I did not see a video of Edmondson in his full flow, Jake. Anthony has good advice. Five, about five and a half grand from this uh, this marathon, by the way. So that's right, isn't it? Exceptional. Well done. Amazing. That's a lot of food for uh, some people who need it. So well, well done. Taking the lead. Get in there. Fucking well, hell. Guggen sends it into his own net. Oh, it's a deflection. Oh, that's what I like to hear. So if you win this game, I'll stay to the end of the season. And uh, if not, then I'm off. <laughs> then there you go. What, what, Anthony Ted is very tense. Which result are you hoping for? <laughs> You'd have to ask my three-year-old daughter who has to cope with me at breakfast. Three-year-olds are dickheads. I think, I think you, you deserve to get your own back. <laughs> I'll take a day. <laughs> Andy Tibbs is saying, don't fuck this up, Michael. Mid-range for this one. Don't go too attacking. Jack says, Michael, don't fuck this. Why I... Al says, sub, sub men get I... off at half-time. His conditioning is gash. Very very important <laughs> that everyone's directing this all at it's you, Michael. Oh, it's <laughs> oh, offside. In your face, Commons. Uh, there we go. Bill says, uh, 40 loaves or 50 loaves. John, his bread is cold. <laughs> uh, just Chris John's not taking these bread jokes very well why is he so sour though that's quite good Jesus take a pot Christmas cracker yes 2-0 <coughs> oh shit oh shit not too attacking <laughs> <laughs> unlucky John yeah okay alright then 22 minutes oh half an hour even what Back happened through. oh saved Tyson and Commons are pace. Sit deep. Look, I'm loving the coaching. The people, the people. This is like, this is what's like being a manager. You can hear the crowd shouting stuff in your ear. You've just got to, you've got to trust in what you've doing in the training ground all week. Michael, sit deep. Oh. Get them forward. Be more defensive. What you do? Get get attacking them. Yell stuff. I was like, work the channels. Just work the channels. But basically heckling, isn't it? I don't. Goal. Look, has anyone else got us to this position in the league? No. I'm sorry, but they need to they need to give me some space, these people. Have some faith. I'm gonna show uh, I'm gonna be thrilled. No, I'll be pleased. Are we all agreed? Give Beckford some yeah, love. Yeah, Beck- Give Beckford a bit oh, more love. Go on, I'm delighted. And uh, I've got faith in you as yes. well. My golden boy. Look at him. There he is. More faith look than at, George look Michael. Look at these stats, by the way. 28 assists. <laughs> How much right. did we pay play, for it? Play the, play the game. About 600 grand or something. Worth every penny. What's the Carlisle score? Good point. 
not playing. Cowards. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie Stolbart's organised like a, a blockade. He's not letting them out the uh, out the town. Oh, three nil. Fucking hell. Going up, aren't we? These guys are these guys are running away with the lead. Anthony Tibbs says change to more defensive, trust me. Yeah, fair enough, yeah. So at this rate I'm still gonna be here when Phil Hay comes back in. Absolutely. <laughs> get back. Phil's not coming, but Phil if Phil comes in now, I think we should reject him because he's he's not just oh, he's, <laughs> Swan in he's not just coming in for the glory. It, it's been pointed out, uh Carlisle aren't playing because this is our game in hand. Swansea are winning, so they are second. Ah, uh, okay. It's amazing how much attention people are playing. Loads of people saying that this is the game in hand. They're like, can Cheers. Fucking Leeds is like a disease, isn't it? How many people are watching now? Do we know? Oh, I can have a look. Because it's quite late. Yeah, the, the real fear was we'll get to like 3 a.m. There's nobody there. And we wonder what we're doing with our lives. Well. What did you What did you do during the lockdown, Grandad? Three hundred and ninety-one on YouTube has increased since whenever it was last time I checked. Yeah, and uh, five hundred and eighty-four on Twitter. Wow, <laughs> was that like a thousand people? <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's good going, isn't it? But then you um, get you're uh, getting the uh, nils old. <coughs> you, know, you get late enough. Oh yeah, you guys will tune in. And uh, we're we're past eighteen hundred, eighteen thousand five hundred on the the money. Amazing, amazing. That's what six grand, isn't it? I think, or thereabouts. It's Mark Fletcher says, "Well, he says five hundred and eighty-three people disagreeing about bread in a fridge." <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anyone's dis- the only person disagreeing is John, who thinks it's perfectly reasonable. Everyone else is unanimous. Talk to me about the difference between a fridge and a bread bin. Well, yeah. A few people want to know where you're keeping your ketchup. What do you think? Fridge. Fridge. It's in the fridge. Of course it is. How big's your fridge? Should be, the ketchup should be in the fridge. I agree with that. Yeah. It says on the bottle. 58 bottles of ketchup, 400 loaves. That's it. <laughs> it does say on a bottle of ketchup to keep it in the fridge. So people who don't... What a win, by the way. I, I, we've just beaten top of the league 3-0. We're not even bothered. Look at that. Sensational. Let's have a look at the league table after this. Can we, can we find out what, what does Ken say about this? Surely he's got some comments. I was going to say, Declan says uh, he's resorted to Red Bull and he's expecting Rob Ball Holland to come back on a pill. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, I'm going to go to the boardroom before Ken says anything. No, don't don't ask for no, anything. No, just make a request. No, yeah, don't. Yeah, it's just for, um, it's just to expand the stadium. No. No, 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 no. Improve, no, no, no. improve <laughs> training facilities. This is Ken Bates. This is Ken Bates. There's nothing wrong with that. Can't you just slag off Warnock and be happy? What, what's Ken said here then? The, the, um, the club's training facilities are amongst the best in the league. I don't know require people at all. I, just the other year I put in that rabbit proof fence, which has kept a lot of the little blighters out, and some of the local people have still come in looking for, uh, looking for a, little, a little bit of some autographs and things, but I think once they electrify it, it'll keep them out for good. With a bit of luck, and um, of course, once I put the flats on there, the luxury flats. Me and Sean, we're gonna get in there, but Sean doesn't want to live there. He wants to live in um, his underground lair because he's this way really better suited. And as for me, um, I'm going to be in Monaco for some of the time. And um, when Susanna comes over, she when she does sometimes, she says she says, Ken, why don't you stay in Leeds? It might be better for you to be there working on the business. And I say, um, I say, well, well, no, but Susanna, I can't. I want to be here with you. And she says, well, Ken, I wish you fucking would stay there and work, and work on your hotel. You got to live your dreams, haven't you? And, and so that's what that's what I think I'll do. And she said, she said, that nightclub under the east end, it, it won't build itself, will it? And I said, no, I suppose it probably won't. Um, I've I've given some of the space under the east end to Robert Bailey in recent recent weeks, and he's gone under there with his lights. And he says he's he's 
he's turned the whole thing into um into a farm. He's self sufficient, you see. Um he's he's selling all of the produce. He's making millions. Uh so so that's that's all very good. That's all going in Simon's pot. Let's have a look at the finances. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> What's the league table? Right. There's only so much I can say. Someone says, point, uh, John, John, you need to... Uh, Jacob says, John, can you ring Matt Ford and brag about that result? <laughs> what, what was the result? 3-0. We that beat uh, three nil away? Forest 3-0. Three nil. Also, uh, Rich out of Rich and Katie says the reason for the account was the initial fear of Twitter. Um, he then says he's a supporter of the proper United, but we seem like nice blokes and we're entertaining his missus and raising money for a great cause. Well, there you go. Mm-hmm. Don't let some money, you yeah. scum bastard. Oh, yes. she, told, she told him to put that. Yeah. Oh, Luke, Luke Murphy's deal to Barrow has been cancelled. That's a shame. Murphy, fucking hell, you forget about these days. That would have been a dream move for him as well. Have you ever been to Barrow? Oh, uh, Pete said said he used to be a baker and uh, uh, bread should not be kept in the fridge uh, for scientific... You said bridge then, but we'll ignore that. Yeah, bridge should never be kept in the fridge for scientific reasons. you used to be a baker, mate, because you've not kept up with the modern game and uh, modern bread. You know, I'm sure in your day... Don't keep reading the, the fridge, new, but things have some changed. Some of the new yeast they're doing. Move on. Oh, cracking. You keep a modern bread in the fridge. Christ. It's like nothing you've ever experienced. Do you still get? So what were you going to say about you going to say about Barrow, John? Yes, I played Barrow Forum on the uh, on the last tour, and I have to say it was an absolute highlight. Um, cracking gig. And, um, growing up in uh, Lancaster and Morecambe, looking across the bay to Barrow, I had it down as... Um, uh, uh, an area that I might want to not visit on a tour, but I was there. I loved it, and I'll be back sometime in 2026. <laughs> so, book those tickets well, now. Well done for engaging your professional brain there, because you were going to call it a shithole, weren't you, a minute ago? Barrow's a troubled area. I've been on nights out in Barrow, <laughs> and uh, it's an area that has been ignored. It's an area that is, um, you know, perhaps off the beaten track and uh, needs some help. It doesn't get. I'm not going to say that as a comedian I'm an envoy there and, you know, providing service. But um, I'll tell you what as well, just down the road from Ballow, Millam, Millam Art Centre, cracking gig. Absolute pissheads, but one of the best gigs you'll ever play. Is that so, Millam? Um, Is that a place? Millam, yeah. That's what a place. There's some places you go as a comedian, you feel like you're in a theatre and they've come to you. And Millam's one of those places you are very aware that you've gone to the place that they were coming to drink anyway. <laughs> And you happen to be there, and you have to justify your position there. But what a gig! Absolutely cracking. Yeah, I used to play for a really bad Leeds United supporters team. For some reason, we were in the same league as Barrow, and it was like a three and a half hour drive to play Sunday League football. It was so, it was it felt like <laughs> such a waste of time. Oh, it's a proper Gillingham have scored. Oh, classic Leeds. Fucking Gillingham. All this all this momentum we built up. Gillingham, where are they? Bottom of the fucking league. Leeds I can't have this. Bottom of the league. This is classic. To distract Leeds. people from this, uh, somebody did say Ken Bates keeps his bread in a cage. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> his name's scrolled off, but I enjoyed that. I'm going I'm to be angry at all of them. Uh, I'm going to question their passion. Is there a cat and nine tails option for breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> Tell him I'm angry. Give him... No, 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 no. Angry. No, no don't make him angry. Angry. He's, he's just recovering his... <laughs> angry. I'm angry everywhere. <laughs> I. I know it's become an I. Well, you can't do a team talk. I thought we scored. Was that this loud? Or did I imagine? Yeah. No, we've not scored. Okay. Ah, oh. oh, we're all over them, but... This is... This is we're totally leading this in, aren't yeah. we? But aren't you all secretly delighted? This is how it is written. What is that? That's what half time looked like. (laughs) I don't even know what I'm doing now. Right, time to make some changes. 
Where does Neil go next? Because he's not finished, is he? He's going to come back. Get Mendy Esther off. He's at um, Southampton on this game. He had Crystal Palace bottom of the championship and he moved to 16th place Southampton. We've been slagging him off every chance we get. Very canny. He'll be back though, Ian, in football. He's not done yet. In real life. Oh, in real life, yeah. Oh, in real life. Well, come on, Eric. This delay's doing him no favours, is it? I mean, he's not getting any younger. He was probably... I think I think the Plymouth job is the one he's always wanting because he's very near his I'd areas. be amazed if he was on a cruise. He struck me as a man who was absolutely on a cruise when this broke. Oh, come on, Leeds. Bloody hell. Yes, Bobby Lewandowski. Get right, it. Come on, we can still win this. Seven minutes. What's the uh, Carlisle score? Carlisle so, and Swansea, Swansea, what are they are doing? Winning. Carlisle are drawing. Okay. I imagine what Alan Road will do if we win this. Oh. Oh. Wild shot. Come on, Leeds. Come on, you fuckers. It's getting tense, isn't it? Oh! Oh! Shit. The bad point. I can't say I'm not disappointed with him. Yeah, we've got standards have been higher than this. It wasn't good enough. Dealing with the bottom of the league. They need to know, don't they? Let's look at the stats. That's your yeah. cliff when they had this one... down for the uh, 60 minute DVD. They've had one... That cliff and that die from Michael there and Dan with his hands on his head. That's They've it. had one shot on target in 90 minutes. For fuck's sake. But that's exactly what Leeds to us this season, wasn't it? Swansea. A lot of mm. fucking teams didn't have a shot. They scored. Oh, Bell. Oh. So where does that put us? We're still, we're still within a win of second. We're, we're guaranteed the playoffs by the looks of it. Yeah, that's true. So that's that's good, isn't it? We'd be joint top or top if we'd got the 15 points. Oh, Ken, why did you do it? <coughs> oh, I'm unhappy. That, oh, do, oh, we got a band before, didn't we? Should we just not talk about it? Yeah. 15 points, who gives a fuck? This cold fucking loaf has turned to bad luck. First tie. Uh, should, we, should we just say they think the referee was right? Try and get him on, on side? Yeah, this is all on the players. Don't give them any no hiding place. Fair enough. Do what, Bill? Oh, Nick Owen has sacked someone as, as Luton chairman. That is the, that is the <laughs> Nick Owen, isn't it? I think. Do you think yeah, he gets Anne Diamond to do it? I think it's him. You can't face it. It is him. bright like and diamond. And Joe Miller was the guy who was the killer <laughs> in the ITV thing. Uh, what was the big? What was the? What was it called? Broadchurch. Uh, Broadchurch. Joe Miller. He was. Yeah. A, he was the killer in that. And he's Nick Owen has said. And Nick Owen did Crime Watch, didn't he? Did he? Spoiler. Spoiler alert. There. Yeah. Don't have nightmares. Yeah. Anyway, Peter Shreves is uh, <laughs> is in in the mix, which is good news. Ronnie Jepson as well. Jeppo. Jeppo. Oh, oh, let's let's slag Warnock off again. Actually, hey, they've got to give it. They've got to give the job to Jeppo. I mean, he's uh, he's earned a crack at a big a big time job like Lou. And Jeppo's a good yeah. lad. He'll be uh, he can handle a job like that. I'll be sad to leave, see him leaving my side. But if if you love somebody, you've got to let them go, though, haven't you? And sometimes Luton's where they've got to go and find themselves. He's got Southampton up to sixth in the Championship, by the way, as as Warnock. So, well, what's his right? Check check his um, transfers. Who's he bought? I bet he's spent an absolute fortune, hasn't he? None of the players that Hockaday was working with in the youth team, of course he's got Quasi on loan. Oh, he's cancelled it. That's it? That's all he's done? Transfer transfer history. Well, just slag him off and get on with it, Christ. Oh, here we go. Yeah, this, here we go. Uh, Cameron Jerome, that's a good... That's a, Mark Schwarzer. Of course, of and course. And this guy, I presume he's got, he's got an agent that he knows. Blerim Zemali. I mean, he's not, he's never heard of him. Seven caps for Switzerland, of course. Come on, crack on! All right. 
We've got 12 <laughs> hours. I don't know what your problem is. We've not even <laughs> slagged him off yet. Oh, we haven't, have we? Right, bloody hell. Distract him. Into him. Right. Manager interaction. What should we say? Uh, Tell him he smells. Should we say... Tell him he smells and we We're know. not his biggest fan. Or, should we just say... Tell him he uh, smells and we can let's taste say we're it. we're unsure about him again. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just not sure about him. That guy. <laughs> <laughs> so he's, uh, he's never wanted to condemn a man from hearsay, but mm. so out of the on this occasion, as as any of you ever in your real life outside of the podcast and a football, felt sorry for um, Neil Warnock. No, I didn't used to no. until he was our manager. I actually didn't mind him as much. He annoyed me more when he was at Leeds than he did prior to that. I always used to think, oh, maybe he's all right, really, like because I think he's. When you don't actually analyse his his analysis mm. of a game, it sort of comes across all right when it's like, oh, we're a bit unlucky, you know, with, with these decisions. And you sort of, when you've not watched it, you can think, okay, maybe he's right. But when you've watched us be absolutely shit for ninety minutes and lose three nil, and he's complaining about a throw in after fifteen minutes, and you just think, like, <laughs> well, no, you, you're not getting away with that, I'm afraid. So I had I a find, when, I, find uh, him, when I find him difficult to believe any of it. So well, fake. I they called him Colin on Match of the Day. That's when I had a, <laughs> I had a little wobble. Then I have to say that was when, that was when even as a, you know, just as a bloke, you have to think. That's when he knows it's global. That's when he knows it's nationwide. That's ex-players. That's fans. That's everyone calling him Colin. He's not well loved, is but, he? Yeah, but you know, he's not he's... a well loved man. But you know, maybe it took him. He had a moment and paused and had a bit. Of... Self reflection and thought, why are they all calling me wanker? Why are they all calling me wanker? It's because I'm great, isn't it? They're all jealous. They're all jealous of me promotions. As Waltz points out, Warnock sold Becky L. That's all you need to know. That's it. Oh, Becky End of story. Speaking right. of villains, Sarah Morris says Michael TSB has gone and ruined Broadchurch for me now, too, for fuck's sake. <laughs> yeah, sorry, it was. Uh, it, it wasn't. It was Neil Shipley, did it? In the end. Right, who are we away to? Hartley Pool. Beatable at the moment. Hartley Pools. Oh. Beat them and so the monkey. When you know you've got the whole Sky Sports News audience against you because you're against Jeff. Right, let's have a look at the score. It's Jeff, is it? Do you know Jeff? I've met him. I've met him once. Um, I don't want to disgrace the man, but he's smaller than me, <laughs> and um, that's all I can say. He's more than me, but I absolutely love him, man. He was doing his walk for the uh, prostate cancer charity and he happened to call through. We did a <laughs> countdown and I had the privilege of a beer with uh, Rachel and uh, Jeff Stilling. He's a fucking legend, Jeff Stilling, right? Surely, surely we're able to say that. I think he seems like a good sort, I have to say. He's a good man. He's a good man. I'm thinking, by the way, of dropping Beckford. He's not scored in ages. Do you remember earlier in the season? He was tracking a goal a game, more or less. Now, 45 appearances, 31 goals. He's not scored in ages. You just think you're Simon Grayson, don't well, you? he can come back as captain. <laughs> you'll, be having a crack, you'll be having a crack at the secretary next. <laughs> <laughs> Who is the uh, secretary? Shit, uh, yeah. It'll be Sean Harvey. <laughs> That information is not available. It's Jim McGuinness and Yvonne Todd are directors, but... Incidentally, levisolicitors.co.uk forward slash square ball. Is that for Michael's wife's benefit? Have you dropped him yeah, or what? What are you stopped. doing? Fuck no. Uh, Good yeah. Controversial. He's, he's not been doing it, hasn't been. Are Come, it's not to say he's out for it's not out for good, but he needs a rest. Oh, one nil after a minute. There we go. That's pointing at Beckford on the bench now. <laughs> Just to build his confidence back up, poor soul. <laughs> No yawning. No, no ten hours of this. <laughs> it's you when you're boring football. 
is there is there an overnight plan with uh, Tank Fastix or Red Bull or? No, I've not got anything. <sighs> no, I've got some um, pita bread and hummus. What I laid in. It's a very panic board and this have morning. Have you agreed like uh, a nap rotation system, or are you all on for the time? Uh, nap rotation system. Michael is not allowed to fucking sleep. I know that much. <laughs> Don't want to. I want to sleep. Oh, well, there'll come a time about. About four or five in the morning when you feel really you and tired. And this... Michael has been going on for the last couple of days, but he wanted to start at like eight or nine so we could finish at eight or nine tomorrow morning so we can get early to sleep. But I bet you we'll get to 10 o'clock tomorrow. And I was convincing why we needed to be on screen at some point in the morning after people, so people can wake up and see we're still doing it. There's no point in us knocking off before everybody's awake. I bet you it'll get to 10 o'clock when we're due to finish. And Michael, we just like, Oh, we're so close to being promoted. Though. I'm just going to play this. I'm dropping Beckford for this one. <laughs> just another half hour. We can go. We can keep going. We'll be doing this till Monday morning. Well, but if people like it, I mean, it can be something to something to do every night, can't it? That's what I'm thinking. Someone wants you to move the mouse. Imagine Why? if you keep this up for lockdown. I don't know. But I'm they said please. There we go. It must have been out the, in the way. If we could funnel all that money to us instead of the oh. charity every week, we'd never have to work again. <laughs> That's fine, isn't it? Just work, work for one day a week. <laughs> this, is, this is how most big charities get into trouble, isn't it? Where you find out the executive has had the exact same thought. Oh, if, if I just paid myself half a million of this money <laughs> that's going in, then, you know, they're still getting a lot of money. So I, I just have a much easier life. I think I feel like oh Bobby Bobby's letting us down here as well, isn't he? Get yeah, uh, gonna... Sassy Sassy, not only is she furious with you for ruining uh that television program I've forgotten the name of, don't you fucking dare drop Beckford were her exact words. Oh <laughs> Well I'm, I'm, if it might make Phil Beck feel a bit better that I'm getting angry at, at Bobby. No, it won't, he'll just feel bad for him as well. Funny. Yeah, one nil is uh, not a comfortable scoreline mm. here, is it? He's full of empathy. Not with Leeds United. Oh. Right, let's look at some changes. Right, check. Look at the bench conditions. Okay. Lewandowski, get him right, off. Beckford, come on. This is your, this is your, come this on, is your chance. Jermaine. Come on, Jermaine. Slots yours to win back. Richie Humphreys nearly, nearly scored then, Jermaine, for sure. Christ's sake. Go. Let's look at all the scores. Carlisle are winning. Swansea are winning. Bloody hell. Got to win this one then. I mean, we're winning, to be fair. You could forget that. So far. Oh, for fu Fucking stupid thing to say. You spoke, <laughs> didn't you, you fucker. So, right, yeah. we've got 12 minutes. Take that. What can Take we do? Win. Score That's a good goal. idea. Right, we've got Snoddy on the bench. Oh. For right, Bring Snoddy on. on for Mendieta. Buena Notte can move back. Yeah, yeah. Mendieta tires, doesn't he? We're a bit starstruck with Mendieta, I feel. <laughs> Shit, isn't he? <laughs> Come on. Ah. Two minutes. Come on. Yes! Oh, it's offside! Victoria. It's offside. Get oh, oh. Bollocks. That's fucking bollocks. Oh, you fucker. Who's the ref? Kevin Wright. I don't know who he is, but I hate him. Kevin oh, one wrong. shot on target again from them, and it's gone in. We were blaming Anchor Grin for this earlier in the season. What? Is I'm blaming you. Anchor Grin. <sighs> They're 21st in the league, for fuck's sake. We're losing, that's uh, five points, Gillingham. Who five points of drift now with three games to play. It's gone, hasn't it? No. We've still got the playoffs, if nothing else. Oh, I think he's right, yeah, fair play to him. Dickhead. No. No, no, he's right. He's right. <laughs> they don't... Sarcasm doesn't it was, work. No, it's right. It's good. It's a good decision. 
<laughs> Nobody can hear the inflection in your in your voice. Unbelievable. Meanwhile, uh, Victoria has done a, sc a screenshot. Apparently, her screen has frozen since watching since ten twenty on uh, me holding Neil Warnock's face to the camera. She's got an absolutely hideous. You have actually now uh, frozen shot. Me, Moscow. I have to say. Hmm. Oh really? I can still hear. You. Okay. You, I mean, that might John's be frozen best. too. Oh, hang on. I think John's gone. Have you fucked this uh, up? Yeah, Is Dan Dan's moving? Oh, John, John's coming back. It's just you. Dan. Oh. How do we fix do that? Do then? Leave or do we? Bring you back in. <laughs> do I trust you? Uh... Well done. Can anyone, let's just check if uh, can everyone can anyone else see Moscow moving? Hold on, I'll turn video off and turn it on again. Yeah, it's a good idea. Michael, we've got people calling for your head here, say that you're blowing it. Fuck's it. I'm trying my best here. I'm getting no support. I'll tell you what, I bet if I do this, there'll be no credit. Are oh, you back? You're moving. There we go. Just had a moment. Moylan's window keeps resizing itself as well. Just for no reason. Eddie Gray, caretaker role. <laughs> Should we just put it on manager? Play the kids. Put it on manager holiday mode and just watch it. No. Our recent show. Yes. <laughs> we'll hammer Northampton. Yes. We'll hammer Northampton. Go on. Go on, ho go on holiday. Who have um... unleash unleash Luciano? Right. Who have Swansea got to play? No. Swansea got to play Carlisle or anything? No. Stephen Adcock is, also, Adcock is also saying, when you're making a sub, for fuck's sake, pause the game. Valuable minutes pass. <laughs> Fair play. This is key expertise. You've got to take this. Right, are we dropping... Uh, are we putting Beckford back in? Do you think he's learned his lesson? <laughs> yep. There's been yeah. some uh, confusion as well about why uh, Lee Mack appears to have joined us. But it's, they've worked out it's John. I'll take that. I'm in the most gifted comic of our generation, I think, Lee Mack. What? Oh. Right, do we need to make... Can we rile changes? the troops? The the message is, can you rile the troops? <laughs> Not rally. No. We've got... Just call Alan Sheehan a prick, just for the sake of it. <laughs> just terminate his load now. <laughs> is he on loan at them? Alan, Alan Sheehan's on loan from Leicester. Oh, to us? Yeah. From our basis? Yes. <laughs> okay. So, like Whitlow. 40 years old. I'm going to ask, I'm going to ask Mike <laughs> if he can recommend a signing. To save us. His son, surely, will be 23 at this age. <laughs> oh, if we could sign Whitlow's son. Yeah, Anthony's right. We need a serious team meeting. I'm going to tell them. I expect them to win this. Right, a few of them can have a little bit of a uh, Beckford. I expect a performance from you, uh, Alex. You've just been called a bald fraud bottle job. Who? <laughs> Who's saying this? <laughs> Alex is calling you a bald fraud bottle job. Says get me and Whitlow in. I know. I felt McDermott felt now. <laughs> He's a myth. So two wins is the only People option. liked him. But, well, not always. Paul Huntington. There we go. Doing the Matt Heath. The Matt Heath dance. Did I, we've got to overturn uh, five points in two games. Um, yeah, we'll do it. Three games, I think. You know, yeah, three, three games. games. What, it is this, yeah. what are the latest scores? Two up mind. That's oh, good news. Well, yeah, we're winning this. Let's score this one. Problem is, it looked offside there, surely. Don't tell him. Oh well. Um, David David Thornton saying, "Can you assure my other half, uh, other half, Sarah, that you are funny? She doesn't get it and is thoroughly confused by what I'm watching." <laughs> Just trade her in. As a comedian, John, do you do you find you often have to convince people that you're funny? There's a lot of requests, so we had a. A Be funny. Person, a certain person tweeted the other night to say they'd enjoyed our series, who has some profile, and we got a reply from someone saying, "I oh, watched the first one, I didn't like it." And there's a real temptation to reply and say, "Thanks for taking the time." 
Um, <laughs> couldn't give a flying fuck, but uh, you know. But you know, if she's if she's not into it, your girlfriend, she's not into it. You know, let her go. Just accept <laughs> that you, you don't share similar interests, you don't share a, a similar future, and that's probably the end of it. You know. Fair enough. So, the thin end of the wedge. She's not enjoying watching the square ball guys play champ man for 24 hours. You're probably not destined to be together. So get rid. Move on. For Paul, for Paul's benefit, it is the Jamie McMaster in their team, yes. Yes, it is, yeah. He was there earlier. What are the latest scores elsewhere? I think we've got this this game now. We are Carlisle winning. Forrest are winning. Mendy has is tired. Let's get him off. What are Swansea doing? Well, so you've, you've not paused the game to these subs, have you? No, it's only a casual substitution. It's not a You're game just not changing. listening. Um, Where's Swansea? Swansea drawing. We could make up some valuable ground. So, oh no, Swansea must be winning now. Bastards. Well, it's going to be the playoffs, isn't it? There's nothing ever goes wrong in the playoffs. But imagine winning the playoffs. Fucking hell. Oh, I'm just scenes. I'm just wondering whether I'll be able to get away with going upstairs and getting my suit out of the wardrobe when my wife's asleep. <laughs> <laughs> so it's going to be, as it as it stands, it's looking like Donny in the playoffs <laughs> in the semi. And they battered us Shit. in that league game. That's what did we, what was in the other league game? Uh, let's have a look. The start of the season, um, we lost one nil at home. Oh, it's the last thing we need. Oh no! <laughs> Anthony says, "My Maybe girlfriend." I'll... Anthony's girlfriend has told him, "I cannot believe the time you've dedicated to this today." <laughs> <laughs> but on, apparently, well, apparently, we're up to seven hundred on Twitter. Bloody hell. Ask her when what you know you place you to be doing with your time. But then also, as uh, it's Maximum Entertainment has just been pointed out, LH, 103 goals we've scored, and we're only in the playoffs. If we don't go up this year, we'll, we'll piss it next year, won't we? That's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> just looking at the positives. We'll, we'll give it another... 90, 98 points now if we haven't had that 15 off. Exactly. Ken. Oh. I mean, there are I people that. watching this now online who are fucking hating themselves. There are people now saying, why can I not just sign off and go to bed? Just go to bed now. You're one of them. Go and see how they've got on. <laughs> Don't but project your own feelings, son. It's not the same, is it? You've got to be here now. Yeah? As has been pointed out, uh, this summer we do risk Bates selling all our best players. So I said, I blame Ben Imerson. That's fair enough. If you did miss that earlier on, Ben was watching the stream and told us that he was in the game as a under 18s goalkeeper for Stockport and he would donate if we signed him. So he did and he was terrible. He conceded dog shit. Well, he conceded six? Yep. I think, I think maybe five, actually. I think we maybe subbed him at 5 0. Uh, he wanted, a, uh, he wanted a, a, a small appearance bonus. So Michael put him on a grand a match. And then paid him, and then paid him 45 <laughs> grand to leave. Great deal. <laughs> If Ben's still watching, um, <laughs> let, us, let us know what you did with the money. Could have bought him some, put, put down a good deposit on a house. Could have got him something, something quite nice, probably. Oh. You can hear hey, him do was... donuts outside your house. <laughs> 18 years old in Leeds with 45 grand. He's not bloody putting a deposit down on a house, is he, you idiot? So that's what I'd have done. That's what I'd have done with it. Something sensible. <laughs> He's blown it all on coke and hookers, hasn't he? Uh, be pleased, John, after, uh, yeah. After your advice, David says she's packing her bags. Oh, she's packing my bags as we speak. Yeah. Someone's pointed out it was six two that we no, lost yeah. when uh, when Ben was in net. But still, he didn't score the two. Ben, did he? If she is if she is packing his bags on the plus side, who hasn't really wanted a nice compact flat to live in on your own? Could be worse. Yeah, true enough. There's a- Making a lot of decisions this, uh, this time. Save the game. Save the game. Save the game. Save the game. Okay. Yeah, and then, the and then we can quit and go back into it when we're losing the playoff final. Exactly. Yes. Cheat, 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 cheat. I think it's fine. We need to cheat in the playoffs. Well, this is this is Southend who we could 
facing the playoffs potentially. I feel like this this team's done as done as well for ages, but everyone's fit good. That can just be played. Oh, I can't watch. I mean this this game's almost almost meaningless now, in fairness. We're not It's remarkable how uh joyless it's become the games, hasn't it? <laughs> it's so realistic. When you know you've blown it. Yeah. I mean we're not catching Carlisle. We need Carlisle and Swansea to slip up really badly. They're not they're not both losing their last two games, are they? For fuck's sake. Is Matt Heath injured? No, he's just dropped. He was playing badly. Why? He was playing badly, so it's not. He's going to score. I suppose Huntington scored one, didn't he? Look at that. With our fifteen, with our fifteen, the, uh, our fifteen points back on, we'd be top of the league right now. That's annoying, isn't it? Look at it. You can see it. Is it mm. back top of the league on goal difference? Ken's continuing the legal challenge, though, right? Well, we we can still see, can't we? I vaguely remember at some away game singing to the tune of Dad's Army. Who do you think you are kidding, Swansea City? <laughs> But the, but they had won the league, and we never got anything back. Now we lost. That's what's going to happen now. Just to brace everyone, go to bed, go to bed, people. In real life, we're going back to the Premier League, and that's not. We're going back to the Premier League with Marcelo Bielsa as manager, and you can forget that. Important in these times to remember that we've got the best manager in the world and the best human being on the planet. Yeah, I wish he was in charge of more stuff. Truth be told. Oh. Daniel Hurst says uh, Beckford's, Beckford's morale needs sorting out somehow. He's been very poor all year. I don't know what to do with him. He scored 31 goals. Oh, his morale has, yeah. Don't keep knocking him, Michael. No. How does that grab you? He's doing really yeah. well. He's, doing, he's been doing really well all season and he's always had poor morale. I think it's because he's, he's scared of letting people down. He needs an arm round him. He needs carrot and stick. <laughs> what he needs is Daryl Murphy bringing on for him. <laughs> right. <laughs> Come on, Daryl. Show us what a proper striker can do. He, what you wanted to leave. <laughs> oh, South End out of 10. That's good news. John, there's a question uh-huh. from Ellen Brewery. Uh, when all this flu bro- blows over, would you like to come and brew your own beer for the dog and bastard at the Ellen Brewery? I'm drinking from an Ellen Brewery glass right now. I love okay. Beer. I love your beer. Well, there... Have a, uh commitment in with a, a local brewer here to brew a, a, a charity brew ah, I see. get in touch and um, if I can brew two beers in one year then I will do is this, there we go Is it? I'm interested to know so with the celebrity beers is it like when you see like Holly Willoughby's got a, a range of duvet covers or something and you think she's just it's, her entire role has been to look at one and go yeah that's fine <laughs> It's yeah, it's very similar. I've been uh, been offered a number of vagina scented candle deals this year, and I've had to turn them all down for obvious reasons. Um, because they just didn't smell authentic. They couldn't capture it. Whatever it is, whatever is the smell of my vagina, they couldn't quite. There's a <laughs> there's a sourness to it, but it's not an unpleasant sourness. It's it's um it's like citrus fruit. It's a pleasant <laughs> sourness, and they couldn't get it. And I said to them, if you get it, then of course we'll release it. But um, so for now, I'm dealing mainly with breweries. Playoff okay. lads. It's the playoff playoffs, isn't it? I'm going to sympathise with them because I feel bad too. A brewery is better at capturing the aroma. Just whilst John was talking about his, vag- his vagina there, we, were, we missed loads of chances in injury time. Know, but it didn't matter anyway, does yeah. it? I mean, Somebody was singing uh, Hot Dog Car- Jumping Car- Frog, Carlisle Carol was. Murphy. <laughs> oh, we could have... Uh, we could have been within two points. Oh, it was poetry so to you all now being so tired and, and you've been here so long and it ends in the playoffs. <clears throat> and you're clearly so much better. And it's all for charity. There's something so poetic about the pureness of this intention <laughs> and you're going to lose in the playoffs. I think K Dobbo's... At 3am, you're going to have to face the choice of another season in League One that you're not going to finish. <laughs> <laughs> it's so... Pure. I'm not Kate Tarbo's tweet saying I can't handle how true to life it's all going, so I'm off to bed. Oh. <laughs> I know how that feels. <sighs> Fucking hell. 
Yeah, it's just been pointed out we haven't tweaked training in ages. There could be up to all sorts. Uh, I don't know, training is boring, isn't it? <laughs> I'm very much in the Neil Warnock school. Oh, we've got all these new players, actually. Right. Do you think that'll be Bielsa's attitude? Right, full back. Full back. What if Bielsa comes back after all this and is a changed person? Uh, it's like, I can't be bothered uh, now. We've got that. I've got, I've got into films. Fuck it. We've got this new yeah, striker. I've just... In all, the, in all this time in isolation, I've been looking at the games back and I've realised Jack Harrison can't finish. There's a reason he hits the post and not the goal, and I've changed my mind. <laughs> CW I'll says... i myself now. I think he's fucking brilliant, but... Just CW... in case he gets replayed when I'm sober. Uh, we're leaving Lewandowski and Del Vecchio out of the team and wondering why we're in the playoffs. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a fair point. <laughs> <laughs> well, because everyone's half the people have been too precious about Beckford. Well, we might as well play the reserves in this next one. Yeah, I suppose we should really, shouldn't we? Yeah, There's nothing, we we can't really move in the league. In fact, let's, let's, the just go on, go on holiday until the playoffs. <laughs> I put on my special playoff losing shirt as well. Excellent. Uh, Bizarre. Uh, yeah. I'd look for that today, the red kite kit. Not a lot of them about. So I got bought this for my uh, for my thirtieth birthday, and it's signed by all the players who lost in the playoff final. It's a glorious memento. Oh god! I'm gonna have genuinely a kudos to you for doing that. I've genuinely blocked this period out. I can't. Um... It may be the personal thing, but fucking miserable era. See, Norman's in send on the fans now. Wheels are coming off. <laughs> it's been pointed out as well that our viewers are actually increasing after midnight. Yes, there are more, more people tuning right, in. Millwall at home. And we're, uh, for people tuning in, we're less than 300 short of 19,000 at the squareball.net slash food bank. So donate if you're uh, getting something out <laughs> of this. Are we going full reserves for this? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, okay. Becchio's debut. Uh, he's played in the cup, I think. Right, Richie. He's been woefully underused. Richie Keogh can play it right back. Oh, Matt Heath's injured. That's why he's not been playing. Just do us a favour. Just go to Richie Keogh's profile just to lighten the mood a bit. <laughs> Look at that. Look he's at he's that. got to a point as well. That's unusual, isn't it? He's a vampire. <laughs> Uh, do you know what, actually? Berardi can have a, have a game in this. Uh, left back. Give Sheehan a go. Midfield, Andy Hughes and Prutton. In fact, Kilkenny's done quite well when he's played. Seb Saucer on the right. Bradley Johnson on the left. Johnny House in the middle. There we go. And up front. Let's give Daryl Murphy a go, because he might be our answer for the playoffs. To Sam in Australia. It's 9 30 a.m. in Australia and oh, Sam's tuned shall in. Shall I put Mike Whitlow in the team instead of Sheehan? I should, shouldn't I, really? Yes. Welcome, Australia. And, uh... Neil Kilkenny fans. Tony DeRigo fans. Here they all come. Kenny Jackets, Millwall. We did give Ben his debut and we told him off when we were 5 0 down and sold him. To Robbie, he was asking. Oh, look at look at the morale in this team. Jesus, you can tell it's the reserves. <laughs> <laughs> Neil Kilkenny just doesn't give a fuck, though. We've we've paid him absolutely no Kilkenny's attention played whatsoever. Two games in, so it's, and he's happy as Larry. Not doesn't give a shit. Yeah, <laughs> and this it's not even very good. It's yeah. just good. Oh yeah, and where's Matt? Where's Matt Click? Oh shit, well, he's not playing in this game. Yeah, oh, yeah he's, playing, he's, in, he's in the squad. Yeah. Oh. He keeps getting injured though. It's not like real life. We played him twice. He got injured twice. But didn't Phil Hayes' uh, interview with his family and out in Poland say he was basically a felon until just before he signed? For <laughs> I think I think that's exactly that was the quote from his mum. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It was a decker. <laughs> at least, uh, at least my 
My parents have not texted me since to say stop drinking. <laughs> They're just disappointed in you, that's all. I was getting told to. No, I think my dad must have been. His dad says you're on your fourth or fifth beer. Slow down and eat some food or you'll be sick on air. <laughs> not funny. Kiss, kiss. Oh, that's lovely. What went wrong? You being sick would be funny. Murphy, on, Murphy, that's it. Oh, so so Mike Whitlow taking the free kick, by the way. Go on, son. 40 year old Whitlow closing out the season for us. Dribble the ball and assist. Moss goes up. Clutching his, like it's a picture of the Pope that he keeps in his house or something. <laughs> sound pleased well done lads oh Brad has been booked that's good he could get himself suspended for the playoffs there if he tries it's very realistic isn't it oh, so Mike Whitlow's being a bit oh who cares there's a flat atmosphere around yeah, everyone's just today. waiting for the they're all waiting for the playoff game, aren't they? We're doing a lap of honour at the end of it. No. I suppose we... No, we'll do it after the playoff match, don't you? It's North East Lower. Say again, John. Is this yeah. last game of the season? Yeah. Thank oh, God. Neil Harris has come on as well, the little fucking rodent. Cardiff legend. Can we injure him? He's already Get been booked to uh, Let's go for it. Uh, Do it anyway. It's worth it. Joke, uh, player instructions. Brody. Get Adriano on him as well. Can we just get everybody just fucking hammering him? <laughs> Brady closing closing down all over the pitch as well. Uh. Yeah, and then get Adriano to do it as well, and Richard Keel, do it. and Andy Hughes. Yeah, you know, for the playoffs, do you want to put it in the lap of the gods and just go on holiday? No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. Right, so we've got three people man marking it and hard tackling Neil Harris at the moment. If he doesn't go off injured. <laughs> if he makes it through, he's alive. He's probably going to score, isn't he? Uh, That's the way this works. He just tried to, yeah. To uh, out of context footballer ask him, this is 2007 away, so we're, it's the minus 15 season. Oh, he's yeah, fucking scored as well. Three men marking him. Fucking oh, yeah. hell. <sighs> look at this. I mean, look at him. Clustered around him. We are weak at the back. Who have we got in centre half? I mean, this is a this is a bit of a a daft state. We've got Adriano and Richard Keogh. As um as Rod Wallace matter, Arnold. To be fair, to be fair, it doesn't matter. Yes, yeah, as, as Rod Wallace Arnold. <laughs> really, I, I love Rod Wallace Arnold as a username. Uh, does ask how with all the comings and goings, Seb Saucer has made it through to play it's in the last game. Question. So you, you can tell. These are not the. Uh, these are not the key. Harris is Snap him! Again. It's Harris. Snap him! I blame Hang you on. for this, Michael. It wasn't just me telling everyone to man mark him. I wanted four players man marking him, and you only put on three. Anger! All of you get into anger. Unbelievable! <laughs> In the, the meaningless final game. There's something so impotent about a man flicking a mouse and saying, right, I'm going to dress you like that. Mm, oh, God, come on. <laughs> Quick shout out for Kev, who's, um, who's soliciting for one like a needy teenage girl. Hiya, Kev, you're right. There you go. Have we got any needy teenage girls on? Okay. No. <laughs> it's not really our audience, is it? <laughs> It was satisfied teenage girls. That's that's our audience. <laughs> please, please stop. 
Please, please stop. I think you could draw a picture of everyone who's watching now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they all basically fall into the categories of the people already on screen, don't they? Oh, God. There we go. That's who's watching. <laughs> right, so it's playoffs then. Yeah, so we need to be uh, serious about this, don't we? I mean, it's not inconceivable that Warnock's watching. I mean, what the fuck is anyone else doing? I mean, they could be sleeping. No, no one's sleeping. They can't sleep now. That was a deadly pandemic. I bet Neil Warnock isn't social distancing at all. I bet he's had the... Sharon's had the kids round and everything, haven't they? Aren't you? He'll be he'll be out burning down five G yeah. masks, won't he? Yeah. Right, so who have we got then? Semi final. Someone someone saying we're allowed to have David Daniels. Phil bit cruel given that we've, we've how many just go to the table for me, the final many, table, so we can have a look at Someone that. look up how many yeah. see how we finish. How many points do we get in oh, point. this table? Someone look that up. Shall have a look. Matt, 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 Screen, Matt screenshot Matt the uh, table as well. Yes. Oh, that's going to be a big comeback. Be good to compare now this table to the real table yeah. end of the season. So let's have I mean, a look. We'd have, we'd have in so real we'd life, been, we... uh, I mean, we wouldn't have won it in fairness. But you know, uh, yeah, Forest have been. Uh, we'd, this, we'd, have, we'd have been so easily promoted here. So annoying. We'd so scored... in real. It, in real life, let me read out what we got. We played 46, won 27, drew 10, lost 9, uh, scored 72, conceded 38 uh, with a plus 34 goal difference and got 76 points, which would have been obviously, what, 91 with um, mm. with the 15 back, which would have taken yeah. us up. We scored 104 Four goals. goals amazing. Have you screenshot uh, this, do. Michael? I'll get it if you want. I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay. Move that window. Right. Got it. Right. I'll, um, I'll tweet. I'll tweet. Going to have to get another drink before the playoffs. Yeah, yeah. Way ahead if you want that score. So it's Donny in the playoffs as well. They're the one team that have actually played us off the park twice this year. This is We've a... got Matt Heath back though. That's great news. Right, I've just tweeted that out now. And uh, someone said if we'd won both those games against Dondi, we would have gone up. <sighs> Don't make it worse. But we outperformed Gary McAllister by eight points. I think that's a different season. No, it's this season. Yeah, it was this season, yeah. Yeah. Right, we're having Jeff. Mark's, in, uh... Mark's, Mark's getting really angry with you. He's saying, make earlier subs. Mike Whitlow was fucked in that last game and zero subs. <laughs> in fact, it didn't, it didn't matter, though, did it, that last uh, That last one, I was letting Whitlow have his... He was having his moment, wasn't he? I think Whitlow was fucked at kickoff, wasn't he? 40-year-old <laughs> man chugging around on that pitch. Right, Matt Heath. Oh, he's, Matt Heath's not fit enough. Right, Huntington and Michalik can play. Sick pop on the bench. Into midfield, what a notche there. Promo's on the left. Kikito, defensive mid. I mean, Johnny Housen's done pretty well when he's played. He is, uh, he is one for a playoff semi final, isn't he? He can go on the bench. <laughs> That's big oh, of actually, you. no. Mendieta's injured. Do we put Housen in? It could be his big moment, couldn't it? The local oh, hero. Then you've I got think you... to back Johnny Housen now. Blade you... come on. You should decide here, Michael, so we can blame you when it goes wrong. <laughs> it's very big of you. Thank you. I'm firing up the bus, just getting ready to throw you thank under you it. Put, thank you for putting that on <laughs> me. Anthony Tibbs is saying increased training. Lee says put the players with the best ratings in. That's what I'm doing. I've got it organised by rating here. So that's why Housen's okay. figuring in this. And uh, oh. and you're gonna you're gonna play Beckford against your uh, against your will, are you? Well. And yeah, there's a lot of support for playing Johnny House. Right. For God's sake, get promoted. Look at what they're doing. Oh, oh actually, Michael, 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 stop, stop, stop. 
delete Warnock's name out of the search bar. It's like having a fucking the name of a witch written there. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Right. What are you saying? Good luck. Good luck for this one, I reckon. They can win this. They can win it. Can they can win, win, it. win it. Tell them win they can win it. it. Yes. All about belief. Doesn't matter about the last two games. Should we They're tell Bedford no, no pressure gone. on him? Yeah. yeah. Uh, when... There's loads of pressure on him, though. There's so much pressure on him. Yeah. Tell House and that, too. Can you say I love you? <laughs> you can. <laughs> I love you, Jermaine. Sure. There's people now already <laughs> talking about that disallowed goal against Gillingham in injury time. Is it too late? <laughs> He's done it, Beckford. Oh, yes, oh my God. Is, is it too late to there sack Michael before the playoffs yeah, start? Not yeah. now, we can't. You want to sack me now, dear? Two, two minutes in and we're leading. <laughs> You're full McCarthy, you, aren't you? Fucking up your ass. Oh, it's going to come back to bite me as well. I know it is. They're better than us. Oh, God. Oh, Come no, on, big no, Jeff. We no, need no, a performance. Me and Jermaine are, me and Jermaine are, are peas in a pod here. We're both racked with indecision and self-doubt. Who we've backs got the this one. We've, we've, we've got this, lads. We've nah. got it. Sit on the ball for 60 minutes. Should we go ultra-defensive now? Nah, or? it's too early, surely. Beckford. Oh, yes! No! Yeah! Get in. Look at this shot saved as well, initially. And do you know who's in net for them? Spironi, who we tried to sign earlier oh. in the season. It's absolutely is he the one who, as well. Is he the one who always used to wear tracksuit bottoms, Spironi? Uh, Maybe. I think he was at Palace, wasn't he, Spironi? Yeah. Someone, they, weren't, uh, Gabo, they weren't like these, though, were they? Him and Gabo Kirai, the uh, Charlton keeper, he, was, he used to wear them, didn't he? Right. And that guy at um, Chelsea. Oh, Dimitri Karin. Yeah. Yeah, oh, there we go. Three. Who did the uh, spider kick over his own head? Uh, oh, um, yeah. Big eater. Rene, he... yeah. But the ball was already uh, out of play, wasn't it? But yeah, it's just yeah. showing off. It's been disallowed, and I think yeah. it was onside. That's annoying. Howard Webb is the referee, if you want to take it up with him. We don't need a touchline ban for the final. Nothing. Say, Say nothing. nothing. Say nothing. nothing. <laughs> Say nothing. Nothing. Keep your mouth shut. Right. <laughs> Anthony so says uh, change to defensive. Do you reckon? Not yet. Not yet. Anthony not yet. says. We've got another the goal in his ear, boys. It won't be Anthony that gets blamed, will it? Yeah, not be you. Up, you change nothing, surely. Oh. Yes. Oh. Come on, Heath. Let's have a look. Everyone's fairly fit. Johnny Housen's a bit tired. Should we get Johnny Housen off? Yeah. No risks. Yeah, it's no risks on. in this game. Pause, pause the fucking game. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> How many hey, times man, have you been look, told? You're a manager. You can't just say, oh, I'm not. Just wait. Just deciding what I'm doing. Right. Two okay. away goals, boy. Shop, 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 shop now. Important yeah, information. Oh, for yeah. fuck's oh, sake. Yeah. What did I just say? Shut up shop now. Shut up shop. We've got two away goals. Don't wait, do we? It's now a good time to mention that he greeted it a scorpion kick, not a spider kick. What is a spider kick? Scorpion kick is right. Right. Murphy's coming on. Promo isn't doing well. Uh, do we go more defensive? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Get out of like, this. Just like neutrally, yeah. neutral play. Yeah. Closing down let's more as well. We got, yeah, we're doing that let's anyway. Put, let's put time. Can you click a button that says score five goals? <laughs> yeah, that's a good button. Can't believe Paul Heffern and fucking hell. Get into it. Haters coming on, that's great news. I'm about to pull the laptop off because of the yeah. headphones. Oh, oh, then they scored again. Jesus. Five minutes? Where's he got that from? Yes. Howard Webb is still a win. Still a win. (sighs) Delighted with the win. Well done, lads. Beckford in particular. Yeah. Delighted with his role. I mean, I was telling everyone else we were delighted anyway, but you in particular, Jermaine, I'm really delighted. You're such a nigger. You're really, like, horrible to someone and they're nice. It's such a fucking U-turn. 
I, I, look, I knew he just needed. This is what happened, though. This is what happened. Jermaine needed leaving out, didn't he, for a time? You're, you're erratic, can't you, Mike? He didn't need slagging off, though, did he? Uh, yeah, bonnet. Constantly. Right, two days' time in the playoff. Oh, I'm going to have to get another beer. Chesterfield is trying to buy Rohubka. What <laughs> absolute idiots. Look at him. That's a manager, not a player, isn't it? <laughs> Certainly not a goalkeeper. Oh, Has he got God. his tash? <laughs> Where did we lose our five games? Well, two of them were against Donny, Alan, so that's why these playoff semis are so, such a worry. I mean, for the... Somebody's saying that no, no team who's won the first leg away from home has oh. failed to go to the final. <laughs> <laughs> That's not actually true. Leeds United, uh, etc. We'll do it in a few years' time. Right. In the future. Yeah, the timelines are very confused here, aren't they? So, is everyone fit? How are you all feeling, boys? Johnny Housen's a bit tired. Oh, Shit, come on. 92% though. He's, yeah. oh, he's all right. He's all right. Yeah, he'll be fine. He'll be fine. As long as we've got mm. Whitlow on the bench to, uh, to sub for him. Given Whitlow's not played in weeks, he's only 93% fit. He's an old he's man. He's 40 years old. He's 40 years old. All right, same team then, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, keep faith. Keep faith with them. It's a big team talk. It's okay, a big here we team go. talk is this. Well, did we tell them last time? Belief, belief, belief. So look and do do one, one against encouragement. In, encouragement. encouragement. Yeah, oh, encouragement. What about, what about we expect them to progress to the final? No, 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 no. no. Encouragement. Beckford. Yes. yes. Faith and his ability. We encouragement. Got faith in. Yeah, faith is good. Not faith. Is there a button for suck them Have some off? faith. <laughs> I will afterwards. Every any one of them. Okay. For the final. Get strings for Yasmin on. Ah, oh, shall I hang on? Oh, Mikulik's injured. Ah, oh, oh. shitpot's on then. Come on, sitpot. Oh, it started, bloody hell. Oh. Yeah, we've started and we've got a play. Uh, Mikulik's already off. Jeff, big Jeff. Jesus, this is horrible. Oh, good key to Get one in there. Oh, two, two feet. He's only got... Oh, no. He's only oh. got a yellow for going in with two feet. Oh. Where we, we, knew, we, knew that we, we always knew it was a risk with mm. Kikito. And house is people yes. for diving? Yes! <laughs> Promise. Right, come on, let's just get this done. If we get one more, I reckon we then we go. Shush, um, shush, shush! Oh no! Uh, That's you talking about us scoring another. Get no, Springs for Yasmin back on. Different scenarios. Although some, somebody in the comments says this is Yasmin, and I do not grant you permission to play my Springs. <laughs> Sozzy asked me. Jesus. This is fucking unbearable, this. Packed outside. It's pathetic how much it matters, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Phil says pitch is cutting up. Go along. <laughs> oh, Gilbert. Oh, we haven't got anybody. If we had any right backs, I might change him. I'll just tell him I'm disappointed. P no, don't. Is, no, no. Pitch is cutting up, lads. Go along. Hit the big lad up front. I'm show him encouragement, but I'm going to criticise. Back them all. Back no, them no. all. Back no, it, back them all. Criticism. <laughs> you're, playing with, you're playing with fire, Michael. You're playing with fire. <laughs> you're, you're probably bringing up their fucking exam results at this point, aren't you? <laughs> they need criticism. You've disappointed your parents. Come on. Yes! Yes! Right. Get it! Can we go to more defences now? Sick yeah, pot. Yeah. Sick pot has come on down. and scored. Shut it right. down. Don't invite the pressure. Don't invite the pressure. Defensive. Plenty of time wasting. Oh, sick pot, the man. What 
do we do if they score? Fuck. Fucking exhausted. cry. I'm just gonna cry. Smash everything up. I'm gonna change highlight mode to key because I want to watch as little of this as possible. Right, <laughs> subs, 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 subs. Pause, now, pause, pause the game, pause the game. game. Pause the game. Pause the game. No, pause. Pause the fucking game. Right. What are you doing? Pause, pause. What? What? Why can I hear Michael saying pause the game, pause the game? <laughs> it's not voice command. Right. Yeah. You've been you've been pressing the mouse for twelve hours. And all of a start just going. Win everything. Go to the Premier League. Score a goal. Right. Okay. Uh, so we've got some for Housen. Um, who else is injured? Uh, Kakitas. If I look up and see you just headbutting the keyboard, I will not be happy. Another defensive midfielder for Kakita, so I think we might have to leave him on. Can we bring Let's Whitlow? Get, on? Whitlow's not on the bench. Ah. Uh, right. Paul was going to say, you can come on and do the Cooper diagonal to the corners. i tell you what, lads. Lads. We've done it. Wembley! 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 Wembley. Oh, you do brilliantly hell. to reach the final, lads. Apart from you, Cat Parker and Gilbert. I'm disappointed. Right, let me just get a screenshot of this so we can uh, bring up the... Uh, um... <sighs> Top up for the final. Yep. Okay. I don't know whether to go with a suit or if it should be just a is it a track suit final? Oh Christ! This club. When uh, when Michael comes back, save the game. That's what everybody's saying now. Save the game. Save the game. Well, it'll pick a team and just launch it. The fucking reckless idiot. <laughs> won't it? Oh man! Is that John's Is that noise? toilet? Is John, <laughs> John must have a chemical toilet there. Who are even playing in the final? Another team. I don't know. Right then. So what's the full 90 minutes? <laughs> I feel like because win or lose, I'm out of here after this. And I don't want you to play another seven hours <laughs> with a night in League One. No, we definitely need with that. We need that morale boost. This, we need, this matters now. This really matters. We need that Wasik to save the game, first of all. Yeah. We've been asked if we'll play the final at a slower speed so we can feel the pain even more. <laughs> <laughs> well, somebody wants the full 90. <laughs> you couldn't have written, the, uh... I mean, you couldn't have written this. You're in the well, you, probably could, you probably could. <laughs> yeah. You could have exactly. <laughs> I can't believe if we'd have got if we'd have got Donny in the um, in the final, that would have been something else. Here he comes, noisy bastard. That's his knees cracking there, not the dog. <laughs> right, when's his phones around? Save the game, save the game, save the game, save the game, save the game. I've actually found an out-of-date beer in my fridge. Oh, yeah! <laughs> See, everybody's too tense for that. People are talking about um, slowing the game right down. Some Not people right are saying we, sh we should have a, a full 90. No. Jesus Christ, we're doing this. Oh... Are we having the national anthem before oh, the game? Be who have we got in the final? Do we know who have we got in the final? It's fortunate to beat Doncaster. Yeah. Who even cares? 
uh, Brighton, it looks like. Ooh. Oh, shit. Oh, How did shit. we do against Brighton this season? I think... Can we cheat? <laughs> so it's a live stream. <laughs> any spares? Any spares for Wembley? People asking. Apparently, there's, <laughs> there's, up, there's up to eight hundred watching this on Twitter now. Uh, and can you? Um, this is it. Delete this Warnock's name. Oh. Delete Warnock's name out of the search bar. Trying to get my centenary scar. Eddie, Eddie. A lot of people very unhappy Eddie, about now that. Now is not the time to come to me <laughs> talking about Seb Saucer's happiness. I don't give a fuck about Seb Saucer. Right, Seb Saucer <laughs> can go in the under 18s and stay out of my face for the next few the next few weeks. Got a playoff final for Christ's sake. Here we go. I've got for good luck. I've got this. I don't think I don't think you can see it on webcam. What is it? Wembley '96. Well, that's not good. Wembley '96 flag. That was a that's great a good, yeah. yeah. Nor is this white shirt that I'm wearing, but there you go. Yeah, I've got this though. That's nice. 1972 FA Cup final winners. Oh, Stuttgart are playing Palermo in the Euro Cup. Oh, they've. Oh well, good. Stuttgart have lost. That's a shame from. Are we gonna uh, Are we gonna boo Lord Mahiney before? It's my off? birthday, by the way. Just. No, well, it, it, it oh, was happy anyway. Birthday, mate. 14th there you go. May, there it is. Uh, no, it's, it's fine. <laughs> I, I've got other. We've got bigger things to do, haven't we? Why is math? Joe and Nico be nice to each other. Just saying. <laughs> I'm trying to cut a little bit of uh, controversy out in the oh, comments. Right. Why is it getting a bit It's that Joe Gamble and uh, Nico Franks are accusing each other of being glory supporters. <laughs> This is what happens. But there's such a, a rush for tickets. <laughs> Someone's the show. I hate. I hate Leeds on Leeds. Leeds on Leeds is never good. Alex Bentley uh, warning: if if we don't win, he's going to come and stand outside my house chanting. Oh, uh, somebody's made a very good point that while we've got 850 people watching, it's the squareball.net slash uh, food bank. Yep. Yeah, we're, we're doing this for nine, charity. Nine, Nineteen thousand pounds in, in total there for the charity. We've raised that's about Let's six get and a half thousand. Yeah, we're not doing this. For, we're certainly not doing it for the good of our health. It's probably drink here during the FA Cup. Yeah, there was yeah. there was about there was about um, twelve and a half grand in the in the pot beforehand, and it's now eighteen eight. So it's about uh, what's that six and six, six and a half, I think something we, like that. We've got to smash twenty thousand on this. Twenty. If we go up. Oh. And even if we don't, I just want to remove a little bit of the pressure on us. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's just do twenty thousand for charity anyway. It's the right thing to do. I don't want I don't want a computer game to mean that people don't actually get to eat. Uh, Richard Keogh's had a stub toe, which is fairly mild. Just in case anyone's joining this afresh, there's Richard Keogh. Yes, we've signed him. On his clutch. Why is a twenty-one-year-old man got a comb over? <laughs> It's a strange choice. <laughs> it was suggested it looked like a young Hitler earlier on, wasn't it? It, it looks like he's got um, eyebrows yeah. underneath his eyes as well as over them. <laughs> it's like a, it's like an almost perfect ring of hair around each eye. <laughs> oh dear! Any any wise words of wisdom then, John? Before we head off down to London for the final? Yeah, just enjoy it. Just, um, you know, football's about the experience of being with your friends and raising money for a good cause. And, um, oh, my God, are we about to lose all our, lead, all our just, players before the player final? Just let it be said that win or lose, I'm fucking out of here and you're around <laughs> for another seven to eight hours. So, um, <coughs> good, luck, good luck to the three of you, because <laughs> fucking hell. Con- yeah, this isn't the end. end. I'm a bit concerned. Anybody who... Uh, Loads of loan players. It says their deals are ending in a few days, and the playoff final is on in the on the weekend. Mm, it'll be a few re- days. What does that mean? Twenty sixth of the fifth. Is that is that when the playoff final is? Yes, oh, it's the day after. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. okay. I mean, and I just to, uh... to to get to the playoff final, have half of your team not available. Just to be clear, so everybody knows, this is not the last game. John might be uh, leaving, but we're going until 10am. 
so there's no reason to regard this as an excuse to go to bed. And you stay up and you keep bedding? We, we're keeping going. John Downs and the Baileys if we win, is what I'm seeing. <laughs> well. I'll down something else. What other boots have you got? Oh, you don't want to fuck it now. You name a drink, I've got it in here. Have you got any Kahlua? Oh. Uh, I've got Kahlua, that's a nice yeah. One, uh... Grenadine. I know that you've gone instantly for the caffeine based uh, alcohol. <laughs> How much grenadine have you got? Thick fucker. Right. Um, we've got no. Uh, we've got injury problems here. Do we put Matt Heath back in? Okay. Yes. Yes. Fred has been there for a lot of the season, hasn't he? Yeah. Yeah, he's been he's been steady away. That's not ideal, though, is it? For having to change, make two changes to defence. Uh, Mendieta's fit again. Oh, but it kind of worked in the semis. Yeah, we, as Liam says, did we really just do a don't go to bed just yet? <laughs> David Williams asks if you've got John John. Oh, no, John I think I've got oh. some amaretto knocking about. Or, um... Oh, amaretto. Absinthe, asks Mark. Oh, I've got some absinthe, yeah. And Pete's, Pete says limoncello. Oh, a pint of down in like no, a pint of limoncello would be hard. Absinthe is in the house. Absinthe in the house. Are we making Beckford captain? No, I think we let's not mess it up. Sure. Okay. You're so fucking mean to Beckford. <laughs> Talk he's him up. He's the best player we've got, surely. He's a bit unhappy. Oh, he's, he's, he's a goal he's still maker. worried. Because you hate him. Still... Timothy, Leth... Timothy Lethbridge says, John, can you set him up with Rasheen Conaty? Um, I can have a go. Okay. We've lady. You Darren send me says, a CV. Send me a picture and a CV and we'll see what I can do. Possibly CV. more pressing, Darren says that you've unticked left side, so we possibly weren't looking at all, all our right, options. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> fucking imbecile. <laughs> Wembley final and you... <laughs> <laughs> it's going out with a team of right-wingers. <laughs> Well, Andy Hughes is going to have to play left back. <laughs> right. So we're going to we're going to go with this team that Johnny Housen's not played all season, and now he's playing in the playoffs. He's our hero, isn't he? Fucking right. Leeds Give lad. this a go, yeah. Give this a go. Is that the best you can know? <laughs> you can offer. Snodgrass. I mean, it's definitely a team. Snodgrass, Murphy, Mendy, has a sick pot, and Mignolet on the bench. There's options there, aren't there? Somebody did point out Mendieta is a big game player. What's his fitness like? Mm, I think it's all right again now because he's had a bit of time out of the team. It's oh, between no, him and Housen, isn't it? Mendieta, so he's, he's all right for the bench. All right. I'll start with Housen. Right then. <coughs> Let's go for it then. Here we go, boys. Come on. Stand up for the, uh, the pre match dignitaries. Shaking it's more winning, isn't it? Doing the handshaking. Fuck off, more winning. Mm. And rest in peace. Off, rest in peace as well, because he's dead now. Oh, well, he was. He's not here though, is he? So we can say what we like. That's true. Who, who have Brighton got? Can't libel the dead either, can you? Is that corrupt bastard? Be careful. Well, <laughs> anyway, you can libel their families. In fairness, Ken Bates, who is still alive, uh, probably did deserve it. <laughs> So what we're we gonna say? Right, they can win this game. Yeah, Beckford. Yeah. Tell Come get on. Beckford. Beckford at last has got okay Faith. morale. He's been poor all week. All... Put no pressure, no pressure on him, no pressure on him. Beckford's got no a pressure. Yeah, no question. No pressure. Tackle Fred. I've got yeah. faith in you. Buena noche. I've had faith in you all season. You've always been my favourite. You know, you've had you've had every Monday off. What we're saying to Housen, who's come in so late in the season? What we're saying, faith, pressure. No pressure. Okay. Faith. 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 Right. Let's relax. Right, relax, everybody. Yeah, Matt Heath. Okay. Faith in him as well. On the corners. Yeah, he's been brilliant. Come on, boys. Right. Here we highlight, go. Highlight Slow it down a bit. Now, yeah. Extended. Yeah. Who's who's playing for Brighton? Ah. Who are we up against here? Um. Oh, Lord, no hopers. Oh, it's 
Yeah, it's not a classic Brighton side, is it? Come on, Glenn. We got a chance. Glenn Morris on the bench. Who's Glenn their Murray's manager? Got hair. Who's their uh, manager? It is Dean Wilkins. No you remember idea. Dean Wilkins? Wilkie? No. Wilco? Oh, Wilk Dog. Wilk, yeah. Glenn Murray's very young, isn't he? Look at that. Right. Right, we've got 920 viewers on Twitter and uh, 472. Oh, so there's nearly 1,500. There's go nearly 1,500 go people up. behind us here. Look at that. Is that from range? Look at that. Oh, my God. It's a classic Wembley goal. 35 yards. This is Wembley, yep. isn't it? Just checking. Send the speed down a bit. Jeff. Oh, Beckford. Jeff with a brilliant parry. Oh, now we're in front, it's, I just want it over. Beckford's still got the... you in his head. Beckford's got you in his head. Come on, boys. We need a second here. Harrison plays Beckford through. Go on, Beckford. Oh, go, on. Go, on. go on. Go on, Beckford. Weak. Oh, Beckford. Fuck, fuck me, Beckford. Oh, oh. Snatched out there, didn't he? Snatched out. Michael, just lay off him. <laughs> he can hear. He's, he's, he'll be looking over at the. He'll be looking over at the bench, and you will just see your face, and he'll be like, "He's also, oh, no. he's also genuine, like one of my favourite Leeds players ever is Jermaine Beckford. I don't know why I'm being horrible to him. I Oof. loved him when he played for us. I, and I love him now. People saying, get it in the corners. Get it in the fucking corners. The clock down. Whistling. Oh, Christ. Oh, Should we start time wasting? Doing. Yes. We're talking to. That's all right. Go on, Jay. Oh, oh, that's an, it's, it's, it's it's an ambitious, terrible effort. <laughs> he said it was an, an ambitious <laughs> bicycle kick from like 30 yards. <laughs> From the edge of his own box, thinking, thinking he might score. I told you he's a good player, though, didn't I? Somebody's pointing out that their number 10 Thompson is always in space. Is there anything we can do? Always oh, been booked. Is he the, the Scouts fella, Thompson? Or is it a different one? Uh, don't know. Beckford? Oh. Penalty! Penalty? It is? Oh my god, I'm a shit, 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 shit. Oh, it's, it's good. It's 2-0. Oh, my God. We're going up, boys. We're going up. <laughs> ben White watching in tears, age three. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. How long left? Still more than a half. <laughs> Too long. <laughs> it's 33 minutes in. Come on. Do we, oh, so we, do we make changes already? Fans. Oh. No, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Big Jeff with another save. Jeff's been uh, doing well. To think Phil Hay wanted us to stick with Anker Grin. <laughs> <sighs> Corner. Matt Heath. Come on, Matt Heath. It's your moment. This is it. This is it. Oh. Second ball. Right, I'm delighted Second that they're throwing, to be honest. Just think, yes, get it out. <laughs> All right, half time. Everyone's playing well. Okay. Everyone's playing... I don't like it when everyone's this playing is, well. Uh, you need someone to get a bollock. A Say half nothing. time. Say nothing. Nothing, do you reckon? I'm nothing. Kind of... They know what to do. They know what this is all about. There's nothing you can say at this point. We can say the squareball.net slash food bank. Food bank, um, yeah. While everybody's with us. Donate money to that, oh, please. Well, well in, Jeff. Well said, Oof. Jeff. Yeah. What's happening? Why have they got a player called McFowl? It's like a, a, a obscene version of McFowl. <laughs> We've still never looked at McPhail up, have we? We're under pressure here, boys. <laughs> Should we do it now? It's not the time, I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> Just pause the game and start making some signings. 
<laughs> relive the first two hours of the game when we didn't no. fucking do anything. <laughs> oh, it's over the bar. Oh, bloody hell. Right, have a look on the bench. Bench, bench, bench. It bench. skims Pause the, the top of the bar. Everyone's right. fit. Everyone's playing well. Everyone's fine. Okay. A thousand people watching. If all you thousand people just go and donate a quid, uh, squareball.net slash food bank, it's 1 a.m. and a thousand people are watching this. <laughs> Uh, let this let some good come from this. The food bank. Go please. up, I'll do a shot of absinthe as well. <laughs> <laughs> and then go straight to bed. Fucking right. In the garden. <laughs> right out. Just keep it in the corner now. Right. Uh, do we start do we need to change it? Do we want to go do we want to go a bit more then? defensive or maybe at least turn turn time wasted on? Yeah. Tiredness could be a problem. Somebody said time. earlier. Somebody said earlier that when we go for time wasting, it makes the strikers snatch at chances. Does it? And hmm. apparently, it's one of the people who really sounded like they knew how to play the game, as opposed hmm. to us. Yes. I'll put it to medium then. Medium time wasting. Yeah. What's the? Well, um... Two 0 up. Yeah. Two 0 up in the playoff final. Surely. Don't say that, John. Fucking hell. Surely. Offside. Offside, thank God for that. Brighton aren't playing well. I don't think they really... Uh... Don't talk about it. Don't Fucking say anything. Fucking Murray. Oh, goal bond. Oh, my God. Leeds Defensive mid-range. Leeds are going up. Stop it, John. <laughs> Just put it to like that. I'm already done. Can you also We're check gone. the size of Dan's head, please? Uh, it's, it's <laughs> fine. It's fine. Okay, okay. Uh, right, everyone's everyone's reasonably fit. Yeah, Sam's Sam's still with us. Been watching since ten a.m. Wow, <laughs> good lad. Oh, sorry, He's been Sam. chipping in with a lot as well. Sam's been an right. absolute bench, trooper. Bench, bench, bench after this as well. Oh, Scott's bench. injured. Scott's injured someone. Don't get sent off. He's in trouble. Oh, he's getting yellow. Uh, yeah, somebody's saying house and for Mangiata. Right. Our both whites are in the house. House of Mendieta. Oh, we want uh there's a lot of people want the attendance too. Right, put put Mendieta back into midfield, Buenos. Eighty nine thousand, nine hundred and ninety four. Colin Webster for Ian. Come on, late. Somebody said start making subs one at a time. How many did we make then? Just one. Come back, Fred. Do something. Oh, okay. And uh, when's Whitlow coming on? <laughs> oh, Whitlow has to be on for the final <laughs> minute. Don't encourage Unfortunately, him. he's not on the bench. Come on, come on. Just get one more. Keep. Oh. Right. After, after this corner, make a sub. Oh, it's good! Yes, we're going up! <laughs> Hinchelwood, he scored an own goal. He's this year's Brian Gale. Let's sign him. Right. <laughs> calm down, calm down. Heads on. Right. Sorry. We're going to go defensive. <laughs> right, are we going to just go ultra defensive? It's 10 minutes left with three goals up. Oh, fuck it. Keep going. We're 3 0 up. We're playing Not the right way. Not ultra, Change yeah. Just, just a bit defensive. Slightly more, yeah. yeah. Go, go all out attack. Fuck it. Oh, my God. Right. Um, do we need to make a... Do we need to make a sub? Let's get, let's get Snoddy on. Who's... For, uh, Snoddy on for Ambrose. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> it matters so much, doesn't it? <laughs> Over the bar. Ah! Over the bar. <laughs> We found out in the Bristol Rovers game that after the second goal, uh, Michael Doyle was crying on the oh, pitch with no, half an no. hour left. I know how that feels. Just pull one back. Fine, it's fine. Okay. Keep it in the corner. Oh, yeah, let's score! score. Yes! <laughs> Beckford! Shit, we're going up. 
We've done it. We've broken the curse. Oh, they've got. Oh, it's Hinshelwood again. He's he's committing fouls now. He's an idiot. Yes. And he's got a yellow card. Oh. Oh. We've done it. Let's bring some. Let's make another sub. A, a vanity let's sub. Bring, uh, let's bring Murphy on. This is why Whitlow should have right, been on the bench. Let's Beckford for the round of applause. I'm doing this to be kind to him. He's going to... Oh, it's gone out of play as well. Right. That's good. Beckford can come off. Gets his round of applause. <laughs> so We've done it! Up. We've fucking done it! <laughs> yeah. Come on! We've fucking done it! We've done it! Oh, God. That was sensational. It was sensational. Or do I say, why can't you perform like this every match? God, I hope it doesn't crash now. Save Would that it. Be harsh to say, ask the squad why they can't perform like this in every match? No, no, you're right, an idiot. It was sensational. It was sensational. What's Moss got here? Oh, he's got the. Guess... <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Just need a good summer off now. Yeah. So, so I'm going to be seeing, seeing Moscow clumsily trying to open a bottle of <laughs> Prosecco or whatever he's got. It's Carver. <laughs> Spray it all over your face. Just go into the game, Michael. Go into the game. Save it. No, go into it, the game itself. Oh, oh, I'm just saving it. I'm just saving it. Oh. Just well, go into the game. Go right. into the game. The game? I'm in the game. What are you on about? No, the, the, the game itself. Oh, like, so oh, the, like the, yeah. Let me just get a screen grab of that. Oh. So you realise now you've set yourself a challenge to get Leeds into Premier League? I think it's only a matter of time. To have overcome Here this. he comes. Lila, come in, come in and join the party. Should have been in bed ages ago. Here we go, rocking all over the world. Oh. Well done to all of you. Oh, Christ. Rocking <laughs> all over the world. Well, turn it off. We don't want to get taken down for copyright. Oh, fair enough. Fates out. Fates out. Fates dead. I feel so happy. I feel so fine. The Allen Road lads are miles of my heart. Lads, we've won a playoff final. Okay, what a feeling. Imagine. A lot of happy footballers you will see. You will see. The pride of the director, Don Reeve. Don Reeve. It's the Leeds United Calypso. Bates <coughs> out. Bates dead. Ah, oh, well. Promoted. I'm, I'm honoured to have been here for that. Well. <laughs> and it's very good of you to sign on for another... Four, hour, four hours job. <laughs> <laughs> it's 20 past one in the morning, for Christ's sake. So you um, you message yeah. me when you're Champions League, and I'll, I'll be back in there. Are you getting on the uh, the absinthe and ready for a summer of exciting transfer moves? Ah, oh. absolutely. In spirit, I'll be here. <laughs> Apparently, five hundred logged off at full time. 
<laughs> I don't blame him really. Should have dragged it out right. So what what do I owe we... for the uh, for the ones it was that 150? Uh yes. And it's 150. Oh, yeah, geez. Josh is uh not Josh, John. Johnny Dent has been in touch with us. He sent us a DM. Uh, so and we're about th- we're we're, uh, we're three hundred quid off twenty grand as well on the charity. That's pretty good. Fuck it. Well done. <laughs> That's <is> good. <laughs> now Tom says, "Go again. Stop fucking about." <laughs> <laughs> Whoever said Normanson was a bold fraud is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to admit, I was saving this for dawn. Not a woman called Dawn, but for see when the sun came up, but the uh, the occasion overtaken. Oh, well, what times? You've just won the playoff final, boys. You should be very proud of yourself. This is all you people who are going to bed. You're going to miss promotion to the Premier League. You're going to miss the real one with the virus, and you're going to miss this with sleep. Don Matteo's declared that he'd not <laughs> expected the club to be promoted this season, but he was pleasantly surprised. Ah. Oh. Yeah, we didn't expect him to go on loan to Grimms, people. You know, Mike Daniels should be very, very happens, proud of the job he's done at Ellen Road. But what's Bates saying about it? <sighs> Where is he? Oh, oh, that's the point. We need to really shove this up Warnock's ass. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Go and tell him what we think of him. In fact, he's, he was um, <laughs> he had Southampton in the playoffs, didn't he? Let's see where they do. Adam Hennessy oh, finished tenth. Adam uh, Adam says, been with you since half ten. This promotion is better than the birth of my children. <laughs> <laughs> it's taken about as long as the birth of a child as well, hasn't it? It's a long process. <laughs> With probably, uh, probably more people involved. He's basically gone to Southampton to try and get them in the playoffs and he's finished tenth with them. So should we just say that we think he's done a good job at Southampton? Um, no, don't know. Your sarcasm doesn't work. Just tell him we hate him. Oh, no, him. it's fine. It, we'll, we'll, uh... Why have you praised no, him? He's, he's sarcastic. He, he... It, the sarcasm doesn't work on the internet. It's like 10 years on Twitter and I've told you this. I love how, yeah, we that playoff final brought us together, but now we're just at each other's throats again, you fucking tip. <laughs> <laughs> well, my, it's my golden boy, by the way. Uh, Brighton Hove Albion boss who, Oh, my, my golden boy. My well, golden boy. I'm the one who been praising him hell. every week, aren't I? Unbelievable. Me, 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 me. <sighs> Fucking idiot. Right. I'm retiring. You're legends, all of you. Um, thanks. Thanks a million. Thank you, John. For, your, for your fine work and your fine onesie. I'll match the, uh, the onesie bid, so send me that. And, um, we'll sort it out. I'll, I'll check in again in the morning. I'll see you in the Premier League. Hang on, hang on. Someone has pointed out, John. Do you have to wear now? Now wear nothing but the Leeds flag. You did say that earlier. Ah, yes, you did. Oh, if you got promoted. Mm. Yeah, I do. okay. So fair enough. <laughs> yeah, I called it. Okay. I'm gonna have to rip cool. off the ceiling, so you'll have to give me a minute. <laughs> can we? Uh, can we make sure we get screenshots of this squad? By the way. We need the. Um, I'm not sure. This it'll take a few screenshots. That's all right. We need the uh, the records. I'll tell you what, we'll uh, we'll, get, we'll list it by appearances. I'll tell you what, the the free transfers have done as well here. I know we used to slag them off on debates, but Promes and Coquito both for both for free. Am I capture? Tell me when to capture. And yeah, I'll do it, it now. Uh, yeah, got Scroll that one. It down to the bottom. There you go. And do it again. Yep. Right. Oh. What a what I, a day. What I fancy a, night. a summer off. <laughs> <laughs> um, Matt Abbott's still awake, by the way. If you want to bring him back. Oh, we'll ask him if he wants to fancy, uh, fancy to return, yeah. He's just tweeted an excellent screenshot. <laughs> of what? Um, full time. I'm, I've got a bottle of Carver. In my car. <laughs> look at the uh, look at the bank account, by the way. Since this has been going, started it, we had two million quid at the start of the season. In the bank over five million pounds now. We've got Bates out of a right hole here. We give hundred thousand pounds. <laughs> Sorry. And uh, I'm just watching a, a video of the Inghams watching this on a huge telly and celebrating at full time. <laughs> 
Oh, I feel I feel sad. I have to say goodbye to some of these loan signings. Leighton Orient have offered one hundred and ten thousand pounds for Robert Lewandowski. Fuck off. <laughs> oh, you see, Beckford's not won the top goal scorer award. He was miles clear at one point, wasn't he? What are you going to do? Hang find on, him. He's got. Oh, it's because he's played fewer games. He, he's matched him. He's thirty-two goals each. What? That... Did you drop him? <sighs> No, no, it's, no! I should have yes. dropped him sooner. He'd have won True. then if I'd have dropped him because he's it's because he played too many games, not scoring. Oh, Calderwood was manager of the year, does he? We're runner up, right? Okay. <laughs> How quickly we become bitter. No, it's fine. I'm, I'm not here for the awards. To be honest, it's not, it's not a big thing. I'm not here in a suit just for some awards. We've broken twenty thousand, apparently. Have we? That is good. Ah, oh, get in. And the day it started off on what twelve about twelve and a half, wasn't it, before we kicked off? Yeah. John, John's back. <laughs> I like how he's covering his tits. That's a nice move. <laughs> free, the free, free the nipple. <laughs> free the nipple, John. Oh, oh. No, no. You gotta pay more for that. You gotta pay more. I'm off. Thank you. Well done, guys. You've um, done Cheers, John. You've done, you've done far Thank more than you the night, John. Well done. Good night, all. Good night.